that, is that back tire going to fall off? We got this. Welcome to my place. Mike Tix here. Enjoy what you see. Here from Hastings, Minnesota at uh, my casa, my beautiful little place that I, I call home. I quit counting because I got more than what my hand and my feet can go at. So uh, I think I'm up to about 31, maybe plus a lot more. I got into this because of a, a high school teacher at, a, at Vocational uh, told me that if I got my crap together, stayed in school, stayed out of trouble, he'd let me build my first derby car for the Dakota County Fair in class. And uh, that's what he did. And now here it is 20 plus years later, he's my best friend and, and uh, an amazing role model. Reason I'm still doing it is part of uh, just addiction, passion, drive, focus, motivation, and just pure craziness. Yeah, I am married uh, to a beautiful woman named Billy Joe that is just as crazy as I am because she puts up with this stuff day in and day out. This is what Derby is here at the Tix Casa, bud. We don't ever have a simple day of life around here. Just keep going, keep going, and going, and as soon as you get a spare second, you go pick on another project to just keep going, and going, and going. So, just kind of fun. You know what, my, uh, my best closing thought to this is, is I want every youth kid to get out there and take a look at this. Do you guys have any questions? Come on and ask us. I want to put you in here so you can understand what the love of the passion of the sport is. It's just uh, my absolute pleasure to show it to other people to enjoy it just as I have for many, many years. Where are you going, ma'am? You seen, you seen TJ? No. You sure? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, 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 sir, sir! Man, I'll tell you what. I gotta go, man. This hunt, I gotta go. Man, I gotta... Get out of the way. I gotta go, man. Yeah, these are stolen for sure. Yeah, yeah, they're stolen. Look at that. Yeah. Yep, that's fine. It's fine. Yep. 
Here we go again. Every derby. Every show. I think this is a trap. Do I even have to ask? Do I have my permits? Where are they at? Well, look, it was closed that day. It's a what holiday. day? It's a holiday weekend. It's closed at the, it's a Monday. They, they went for lunch. Let me tell you what. I'm just going to get to the point because I'm tired of the petty stuff with you. Petty? Petty. Petty. You know, permits, they're $15. You need you need 15 bucks? You got 15 bucks? I could probably go to the Cannonball and ask him. But anyways, oh. Uh, oh. Brian Machine Shop. Did they have their permits? They were up to par. They got their permits? Yeah, they got permits. They called the day before. But anyways, they said they seen TJ with you. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I, I won't confirm nor deny. I use my. So you're an accomplice now. Amendment. So you're an accomplice. Well, I'm just telling you, if I see you with him, you're an accomplice, and you're going down. Are you? This ain't no ticket. This is personal. You're going down. This isn't. You're above the law. Well, watch this. Watch this. Watch it. Stop right there. Shut her down. Shut her down. Shut it down. Hold on, just give me one second here. I only got 22 minutes. All right, you go. You only got 22 minutes. Get on out of here. He's a, that's a cheater right there. You see that list? That's a list. We'll be we'll be finding him later. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop it right there! Whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 ma'am. Hold on. I'm I'm doing an investigation here. You seen uh? You seen TJ? How's come nobody's seen TJ? Where was you last night? We were at Sowers' party. What do you got on you? I'm sure you got something. Let me go over here. I think you might have a brake light out. Who? This guy right here. You got a brake? I'll tell you what. I'll do I'll, I'll, I'll do this later. Where was you last night, ma'am? I was at Sowers Art Gallery. What'd you do there? I bought a painting. Was TJ there? TJ was not there. You know, if I find out you two were with him, you're accomplice. Where'd you stay last night? In our camper. Here? Here. And you ain't seen him? Nope. All right, ma'am. I'm going to keep my eye on you. Daddy Decker All right. this on. Oh, you was with Decker. You're that type of people. I see. imagine walking up the sidewalk of Memphis all of a sudden stopping and looking up in this window seeing Elvis Presley looking at you walking right on past track shot we're in Memphis Tennessee just jumped off the trolley Grand Central Station right across where Elvis come back from the military and right here the arcade restaurant the oldest cafe in Memphis uh, famous for Elvis Elvis was always coming in here his teenage years one of his favorite breakfast places you ever had chocolate gravy? No, what is this? Chocolate gravy. I've never had it yet. Let's yeah. so they say try it on your biscuits, chocolate gravy. Is it really like chocolate that. though? Yes, it's really it's chocolate. See, that's yeah. really chocolate gravy. Huh. Can't believe I've never had that. We're here at the Elvis Presley booth. Back in the 50s, uh, Elvis Presley ran around Memphis. But this is where he always came for breakfast. I think even into his later years, he still came here quite often. Great place, good food. 
uh, lots of history. Check it out, Destination Derby. Man, I'm struggling with this derby car. I'm not gonna get it done in time. This part is just making me so mad. Well, I can see you struggling there, Micah. Sour, I'm struggling hardcore over here doing it. Have you ever checked out Indy CNC for parts? You know what, I hadn't thought of Indy CNC. I'm glad you brought that up. They have free shipping. That's right, America, free 99. Oh, my Indy CNC parts have finally arrived. Let's see what we got here. Yes, this is everything I need to get this car done. Make sure you check out Indy CNC on Facebook and on the interwebs.
Holy buckets, Jason Sauer. Here and we, we got are. little Miss Caitlin sitting here in the middle of us. Why is it so that you're so special to be sitting here with us? Because I won last year and went to Pennsylvania for nationals. Wow. All right. Why don't yes. you do us a favor? Why don't you open this show up for us? Tell them where we are and what we're doing here. We're Spring Extreme. Im Yuma. Yuba. Yuba. We're at Spring Extreme Yuba. We're in Yuba City, California. Spring Extreme, that's exactly right. And uh, you did you make it all the way out to Pennsylvania? We did make it all the way out to Pen Pennsylvania. <laughs> there we go. Hey, you know what? Just relax. Just have fun up here, okay? Um, I'm sorry that we're sitting so close to you, and Jason and I both stink because we've been running around all day. So we stink <laughs> like B.O., and we're ugly, ugly old men and stuff like that. But we were so privileged to be sitting here with you because last year um, – I, I tried to interview this young little lady sitting by her car. <laughs> and then uh, next thing you know, she like, nope, she took off and went and hid behind her dad, and she wouldn't have nothing to do with this. So yeah. it's like, you know what, sweetheart? Well, too bad. You won last year. We're going to put you in front of camera live. So, <laughs> yeah. um, you know. Thank God she's a lot better derby driver than she is an uh, uh, interviewer. I guess we don't have to worry about our jobs being taken away. Right, Sauer? Well, <laughs> I think we're doing good, right? Uh, what kind of car did you bring this year? An 86 Cadillac. An 86 Cadillac. Why uh, Why specifically did you choose that car? Did you have a hand in choosing that car? Or is it's all we could find on short notice. All you can find that. Sometimes that's what you got to build, right? Well, and the thing of it is, is you had some great help finding that car and everything like that. You've got some amazing people out here that are backing you, don't you? Yeah, I have pretty amazing people helping me. Yeah. Um, so now last year you went on out there. Was that your first time derbying last year? Yeah, it was. That was my first derby. My first derby was here last year. So so you go out there, and uh, you brought a W home. Um, there were five of you guys out there, five five young children. And, uh, you know, I remember uh, you took one heck of a shot. And uh, what, what was your thoughts after that shot? And if you guys didn't see that shot, you can go back to YouTube, and you can take a look at that 2023 uh, Spring Extreme, and you can see that, the youth class. What the, oh, that, that, was, uh, that was a heck of a shot. That was going to be a make it or break it if you were going to like Demolition Derby, sweetie. Right. <clears throat> My what? thoughts when I rolled that car over, as soon as I backed off, I knew that's where I belonged. I belonged on the track with all the other kids. Ah, there you that's go. That's beautiful. That's a perfect <laughs> that's, answer. I love it. That's pretty pretty intense too, right? You're probably like, this is intense, <laughs> right? I'm sure. So now um, you win here. You uh, you get to qualify for over in Pennsylvania for Frankie Guy um, uh, um, Youth Nationals. Youth Nationals. Um, I'm drawing blank on Frankie Guy's promotion company. Hardcore. Hardcore. I'm sorry, Frankie. Hardcore Derby Promotions. He's out there running the Demolition Derby Expo with Smith Metalworks today at the exact same time as a track shot live. But I'm sorry. With the youth candidates out there, you know. So mm -hmm. now there is a youth candidate. So, um, you know, some of those kids are going to qualify and be able to run at the end of the year also with uh, with Hardcore. And uh, so you, you come here, you win. And you're, you're beginning into Demolition Derby. What are your thoughts at that time? All of a sudden, you're going to build a car and go with some of the best caliber kids across the country in Pennsylvania. What's your thoughts at that point in time? Am I going to make it? Am I going to win? Ooh. Oh, Whoa, you're going right you're going after right for the there. win. I like there this. There it is. That's, I love it. That's that's good. I mean, if you're going to go that far, might as well. Exactly. So now you guys built the car here, and you guys head on out to go to Pennsylvania. How long did it take you guys to get there from California to Pennsylvania? I mean, you're basically going coast to coast. I think it was like 48 or something. I was straight there. Oh, wow. so how much did you sleep in the vehicle while your dad drove? Pretty much the whole time, oh. besides doing schoolwork. Wow, well, well, yeah, good job, right. good job. I like that. I like that a lot. So now, I, I mean, you're a big shot. I mean, you win the Derby out here. You're going to Pennsylvania. You're running a big national show, and, and you're just uh, you're, you're from California, and you got your own chauffeur service and everything like that, and I mean, you're taking naps, you're doing schoolwork, and you pull into Pennsylvania. What's your thoughts when all of a sudden you see that big track and you see Hardcore Promotions putting on their event? What, what's your thoughts at that point in time? I'm one of many lucky kids to make it out here and drive up everyone. Wow. Beautiful. Great. Great. Wow, answer. You just touched, she's tugging my heart okay. right there. All right. So, so Sour, I'm just kidding. She is going to take our job because we're horrible. Oh, she's right. <laughs> she's been, the brief amount of words was that all I needed. Yeah. Tug my heart away. Oh, wow. Right there. 
Uh, yeah, Salute Frankie guy, he wanted to give a shout out to Blaine out here at Williams Enterprises uh, for being a true and proud supporter of the Youth Nationals class. And uh, Salute Frankie guy out there in uh, Uniontown, Pennsylvania, making it happen, inviting the youth, inviting promoters to participate in this type of effort where the youth can uh, see an event just for themselves. You know, I think that's really beautiful. Oh, absolutely. So now you're out there at the Derby, your Derby, and how did you end up doing? They had heats out there, correct? There was heats. Yep. So how did you do? I barely didn't make it into the main event for my first heat. And then in the Clancy, we went nose to nose with someone, and the cap fell off. Oh, bummer, off we bummer. Done. All right, so you didn't make it out of the county, county, you didn't make it to the big show, but tell us, I mean, the experience that you had out there, I mean, was that was that one of a life remembrance? Yeah, they drive different out there than they do over here. It was really different, but a lot of fun driving with them and meeting, like, all the older kids who've been driving for years. Mm. Well, and that, I was just going to ask you, that was going to be my next question, because there's a lot of those kids that have multiple years of experience underneath their belt. They come from a huge derby family, and, um, you know, and, and here you are. I'm not, not saying that you were underqualified or anything like that, but, I mean, you know, you didn't quite have the wheel time that some of those kids did. No, I really didn't, but I still went out there, and people were really proud of me. So now I want you to tell all the young girls and boys out there that are watching us here on Track Shot Live uh, why they need to focus on this and make Demolition Derby one of their hobbies. Because you learn a lot of things that most kids won't be able to learn nowadays. And it, it's a great experience to just drive at least once and you meet a lot of amazing people. So now this year you've got double the cars out here, so double the competition. And uh, a lot of these kids are return kids, so now they've got some more wheel time underneath there too. So you went out to Pennsylvania. I mean, did you derby any more other than Pennsylvania? No, I had the first spring stream for the youth kids, and I drove for the Ubisetter Fair one. Then it was Pennsylvania, so this is the fourth derby. Wow. Um, so you got four derbies underneath your belt. Are you thinking that you're going to drive differently or are you going to change anything, or what's, what's, what's your goal? Probably to think smarter with it and go for more wi uh, front wheel shots first. Well, there you go. You, remember, you don't have to beat the entire car. You just got to break one part of it. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, you, give us a shout-out. Who do you got to give a shout-out to that uh, that made all this come, you know, come come to play for you as, as the, you know, making that big long trip to Pennsylvania and being here right again, second year in a row at, uh, at Yuba City? All my sponsors that sponsored my Pennsylvania car a Big shout out to all of them, and my dad, my mom, and my uncle Cameron. Oh, there you go. So Beautiful. it's a family event right there. That's family that's event. super cool. That's super nice. cool. Um, so you guys, uh, families out there that have young kids that want to get into demolition derby and stuff like that, reach out, find the resources, understand who will help. Uh, the the family of demolition derby motorsports is always there. Uh, it doesn't matter who, what, where, and when. The family has always got your back, and that is what we're always here to promote is Demo Life. What heat are you in tonight? I'm in the sixth event sixth of Sixth event night. of tonight. It goes the first three stock class. Four. four. Four heats of stock class. Then what, most wanted class? No. Um, Two-man extreme. No. Nope, two-man extreme. MWFA. Then the youth class. Then the youth class. Then cons the youth. Then. All right. Then. Two men. Okay. So Jason Sauer, um, we were in the same meeting that she was in. Why do we not know that? Uh, it's because we had someone come up to us earlier and really pressed us for exactly when <laughs> and how this was going to go off. So I don't know if I'm better educated or less, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, because I was like, I don't know if I'm explaining what heats mean. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right? I'm like. She's like, exactly. And I'm like, well, heats are 15 to 20 minutes maybe. Like, you know what I mean? I'm trying to break it down. And she wanted a real answer. Like, no, 42 minutes, 80 minutes. I'm like, oh, man, I don't know, hour and a half. Yeah, right, right. If I was a gambling man, I would say this. But um, and we're not gambling in California. We, we, we're staying away from that theory. So, um so as we walked around and everything, did you uh, did you walk around and look at those uh, youth cars? Yeah, there's some really good youth cars. Is I I was yeah I was gonna say that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you one thing. Can I just a little bit of advice? Um, 
Is it Danica that's got the used car out there? I think so. All right, stay away from that back end right now. Stay, you know, I, you you drove you drove and folded cars last year. I remember watching you, but that one right there, uh, that's that's insider trading secret there. Stay away from the back of that one for now. That's a, they got that rolled in nice and nasty. Um, you guys will notice that there are a couple used cars out here. Everything was supposed to be fresh, um, but that one there, they they had ran it somewhere else, and it was Danica's car. Um, and uh, but yeah, so so they, that car is a little used, and the trunks rolled in. Uh, it's a super nice Ford rolled in, and it's it's starting mm. to lock in. So um, kind of one of those things you want to you want to stay away from the damaging point of that one. But I like your wheel theory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got some future wheel wheelmen out here. Uh, we got the power wheels coming up first. They got all the balloons already attached to all the plastic cars out here. Uh, these things are getting pretty overbuilt lately. Oh, yeah. When you see that. Uh, you see the post on there about them and stuff like that, but it's uh, uh, Derby families have a hard time just saying stock is stock. So, um, yeah, uh, same thing that happened in the MWFA class here today. You know, that's why you're going to see that there's going to be two classes of yes. MWFA. Um, the so, MWFA plus class. Yeah. <laughs> that's a pretty clever way to name it. <laughs> yeah, right, right, exactly. So uh, what ended up happening was uh, – you know, they welded up their rear ends, uh, or it was the majority of it. They, they, they welded up their limited slips, and, and they've got posies in them. So um, that is absolutely against the rules in the MWFA class that, uh, you know, uh, you know, you got to give uh, uh, Iron City uh, some credit. They sat down, and they, they worked hard on those rules to keep them stock and clean and everything like that. They did. Been running these rules for, for, for years now. Um, with with uh, no changes, right? I don't think the change. No, we haven't made any changes. the The idea is the spirit, the spirit of the class is, you know, be a good driver. You know, drive. You know, uh, save the uh, shocks with the rag stuffed in them for you know your stock class. You yep. know what I mean? I yep. I just want it to be safe. Uh, everybody wants it to be safe, and I think if you build the car to go withstand what the factory tolerances are to fold and now nah, you're making it a little less safe for somebody who didn't and uh, you know because there's not a four point cage in there and stuff um, but you know I also want people to express themselves you know and enjoy yourself enjoy your build enjoy being a part of the class uh, so it's a delicate balance because Derby likes to build Derby loves to build mm -hmm. yep. alright Derby yeah. loves to build yep. Derby loves to build. They keep rules next to their toilet. They keep rules next to their bed. They keep rules on their desk at work. All right? Uh, I know this, and uh, and I'm an artist. I'm not a uh, builder. I, but I like to hang out with you guys. You know? You guys make cool stuff. Well, the thing of it is, is I mean, it is truly an entry-level class and everything like that. Um, you know, I know that uh, there was one youth car that came in that got, you know, pushed rules a tiny little bit and, you know, had to do some major changing to, to rectify that problem so that they could run. And, uh, you know, hats off to the inspection crew here. I, I, I personally, from what I've seen, I personally believe that they, they made it a clean level playing field. And uh, so that's that's great. And, you know, especially like the youth class, um, you know, some some families have a little upper advantage because of, uh, maybe the connections or the shop or the tools or the the parts that they have uh, so we really like that bone stock um, you know basically chain and bang style build you mm -hmm. know for these kids so it's I think it's helpful to keep people in it and that's the best entry level um, what I've learned from the most wanted classes uh, the next thing they buy is a welder they want to buy a welder um, and then they want to put on a bumper, and they want some headers, and then they want a shifter. And it's like, you, you know this feeling, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Do you have a wish list? Not yet. No? If you had to get any dream motor out there, do you dream about motors? No. No, not yet. <laughs> My, Michael Tix does. Uh, I, I dream about motors all the time. <laughs> One day you might, and then you'll be like, ah, who's going to build my motor, you know? Well, You're going to build it? I built half my motor. Did you? Yeah. Wh which half? I don't know. I helped my dad <laughs> with most of it. Like, I built half my motor. That's awesome. Uh, what kind of motor was it? Do you remember? No. Small block Chevy. Small block Chevy. That's awesome. And that's cool because uh, those are buildable, and you can build them with your uh, tool kit from Sears. You know what I mean? Oh, and yeah. And that's something you can do with a small block Chevy. Um, what I've learned is some other things, not so much. 
You know, I mean, they get a little tougher as they get more advanced. Um, so uh, as you guys were building your car and everything like that, uh, were you in the shop quite a bit helping? I tried to be. Balancing the derby in between school was getting pretty hard. Do you have any other extra uh, extracurricular sports or anything like that that you do? I do swim, but I'm not going to be able to for the next six weeks after this. Because they're going to put a boat anchor on you or what? The cast is the same thing, right? <laughs> that's, that's, that's close <laughs> enough. Oh, wow. Close enough. Um, so, uh, so with the swimming and everything and not being able to, you know, um, how come you get to be here with a bad foot uh, derby? Because we told them we would just walk out. Wow. Wow. And, and mom was okay with that? Yeah. Wow. See, so I think mom is having just as much fun with this demolition derby as what you are. I uh, think so, too. Uh, I, 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 the, the smile on her face and everything like that, as soon as we seen you, you know, earlier yesterday and we started picking on you and stuff like that, I believe your mom personally enjoyed that just a little bit. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I told you, you had it coming because you shunned me off last year and wouldn't let me interview you, you know. And uh, so I told you I was going to get you back, and, and that's, that's, that's one thing. I can't count calories, but I never forget when I say that I'm going to get you back. <laughs> um, <laughs> the uh, um, <clears throat> so so as uh, as we said uh, you know last year we helped you guys out with a little bit TSL helped you guys out with a little bit of money for for uh, fuel and stuff like that I mean obviously it's a huge trip and everything like that so we said that again but I mean now today there could possibly be five people qualifying in the youth class that could be going out to Pennsylvania so uh, TSL said so again that hey you guys uh, one of our great sponsors we're gonna take some of that uh, sponsorship money you know and we're gonna put that on out there you know maybe uh, you know uh, right there how about uh, Williams concrete uh, you know we could take uh, a couple hundred dollars out of his sponsorship money and hand that right to a youth driver to help pay for some of the uh, some of the, the the expenses Tony's welding right there Cam Pinwell uh, you know he's one of the one of the youth drivers you know you'll, you'll be competing against I'm pretty sure uh, so that's uh, that's one of the things. Unified points. They're out there and they're showing that off as you guys are doing your stuff. So we've got a lot of great sponsors right here at TSL that uh, behind the scenes help out all these youth drivers and everything like that. Well, I mean, I just was doing the math. Are you going to be able to drive in the nationals? Doesn't the math yeah. doesn't seem the math is a little tight, right? If you're how long are you in a cast for six? Six, six weeks. Six weeks. All right. In October. I'll oh, she it. got plenty. Plenty? She's yeah. got plenty. All right, well, let me be the worrier. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys don't worry enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's uh, it, It's funny, though, when we heard the story last night about her getting her cast on, that she's derbying, and then she's going in right in to get the cast on. So um, so her, her, her swimming is going to be put on the back burner a little bit. So, um, you know, with swimming, what uh, – um, you know, I know there's different strokes and everything like that, but at, at your age, do you kind of do them all for competition, or do you spe- uh, uh, specifically go in one? You you pretty much do them all. You only do so many events in a day for a meet, but you learn all the strokes from day one. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know. It, um, <clears throat> I know. I know how to swim just enough so that I can jump in the deep end of the pool and get to the shallow end. <laughs> you know, my buoyancy level is not real good. I love swimming. I was a lifeguard growing up. I'd go to work in the morning, and there was only one person that would ever come to the pool at like 5:30 in the morning. So it was myself and this old guy named Fred. And uh, Fred was an interesting guy, but he would every morning. So that was my morning job before school was lifeguarding. I used to love being in the pool. I thought it was a blast. I don't know if that's what you. I like going in the water and just losing it all. You know. Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty fun. Uh, I wasn't very good at racing. I usually lost every race. You know. I mean, much like Mike Tix. I don't know how I got my lifeguard job. <laughs> I don't know, they must have. <laughs> must have been a different name. I don't know. But uh, is that something you might go into as a summertime job then for yeah. swimming as lifeguarding? Yeah, I definitely am going to be lifeguarding. Definitely going to be lifeguard. Oh. Cool. That's a good gig. Um, would you, do you have lakes around where you are or is it just pools? There's plenty of lakes and rivers and stuff. Oh, they have lifeguards at the river? Mm, no, not really, but like. All right. Yeah. Just asking. All right, that sounds beautiful. Uh, California is Absolutely beautiful. Um, seeing 
the valleys here and then you see the mountain peaks. It's really picturesque um, driving here from San Francisco. We had a wonderful drive yesterday coming in, coming into Yuba City here. Um, it's something to behold, you know? Yeah, for sure. And you guys were sitting here, uh, they're, they're finalizing up a couple things. Uh, we just uh, just got a little word here. They had some some final things to get done. They're getting us uh, some driver's sheets. Uh, they had a couple uh, last minute inspections that they had to do there. Uh, some trunks got creased and stuff like that. So they're repairing a couple of those situations. So we got uh, that stuff finishing up. We got uh, <clears throat> all of the uh, power wheels out there that you've seen on the split screen. Uh, you got all these young future demo derby drivers just waiting out there patiently mm -hmm. with balloons on their cars, ready to go tear stuff up. So. Um, yeah, we're just waiting on a couple things here. You know, we had a three o'clock start. We're just uh, just a few minutes late here because of a couple of those things, but that's okay. You know. Oh, I just turned around and looked at the stands. It's full. They're filling up. It's awesome. Oh, that's Absolutely pretty cool. Great. Absolutely great. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, we got our tent down just in time. We had um, uh, like a pop up over Bill's equipment here to keep it cool because um, at this event, as you can see, we're part of the general public. Yeah. Which is pretty fun. Uh, oh, it, normally it, it, we are in our own little private spaces, and now everybody's with us. Yeah, and that's and, and that's that's exactly that's that is kind of cool. We've had this a couple other places where next thing you know, people come up, tap you on the shoulder, they want to talk to you, and, and it's like, oh hey, we're live right here. You want to put some headphones on and be part of this, or what? You know, right? <laughs> I, all right. So uh, what has happened is is Blaine Williams Williams no, Enterprises uh, Spring numbers, Extreme no has just dropped okay. off the driver's list to us um so that's very helpful so whenever we get out here and attempt to say everybody's names um you know what i mean yeah well so we just had a problem with it the the numbers did not print off so we have names but we do not have numbers so so uh folks please do bear with us just a tiny little bit um, i like the challenge and uh yeah that's that's kind of one of those things so we'll uh we'll do our best that we can with it and and uh uh, once again, there's no doubt about it. We are not professionals. We are here having fun, giving you guys some great entertainment, and that's what it is all about. Um, uh, I love uh, it. Do you want to smile? Come no. on, give us a smile. Listen, <laughs> we are professionals, and we're getting better each and every shift. Doing selfies. Uh huh. Exactly. <laughs> um, we're like the Pittsburgh Penguins. Yeah, for real. For you real. You hate the Penguins. Uh, well, because they beat us all the time. That just isn't fun. Just isn't fun. <laughs> So uh, always with the hockey analogy, it's because we're sitting shoulder to shoulder. It's kind of how it's. Uh, you ever watch a hockey commentator? They're always really close to one another, sitting in that booth. Mike knows that. Yes, absolutely. That is what it is. Um, so uh, I, I'm watching these cars pull up. I want to ask you a question. When you pulled on that track last year for the very first time, I want you to explain that to us. I want explain to us what your feelings were. I was nervous to start driving, but and like I had butterflies while rolling in. And once they they blow the horn and you see the flag and you hit, you get your first hit. It's it's an amazing feeling. It's feeling. It's like undescribable. So so, uh, did the feeling change much as you pulled into the track in like Pennsylvania from when you pulled out on your first time? No. So I talk about that. So now I've been derbying for over 30 years. And as I pull onto the, any track I ever pull onto, I get those little butterflies in my stomach. My knees are shaking like yours still. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, I get that and I enjoy it. Um, you know, that thing at 30 right. years, that feeling still hasn't way. gone away. Yes. So allow me to say that if that feeling ever goes away, you're doing something wrong. Get back into enjoying the sport and have fun with it. And, uh, you know, just, just be that derby competitive right there. Uh, yeah, I am absolutely petrified, scared, doubting my whole life existence, wondering what decisions I made. I go through every like terrible thought before I go out on the derby and then I hear the countdown and it, all those thoughts are gone they turn to just extreme excitement and just blasting off is like something just it's absolutely beautiful it's the most beautiful moment I usually only get one because I don't build a car worth a dang 
Uh, so I only get like one good shot, and then I get like four or five Tonight applied to me. But by that time, I'm long gone. He's already <laughs> stuck. I'm He's already stuck at that I'm point. I'm stuck and out. <clears throat> we but can't we can't pick we on Jason for always class. being stuck because Jason Sauer in the years ago that we did the most wanted, uh, or I'm sorry, track shot live versus the world. Uh, Jason Sauer was the last one running for TSL, so um, we still owe him thanks for that one. I have one win in my whole life. In 30 years of derby and i didn't win i just survived longest so that's a win in my book oh it was pretty rad uh i got hit by butch um i believe is 74 five years old from new york um so the extreme end of from you to the other end uh he hit me so hard i wanted to quit derby i want to just go ahead and reach the flag out i'm done good good evening <laughs> that was that was good i Wow, minivans will send you. Like, yeah. So I was sitting still and he hit me. So was good. A good, a good shout out to Butch Sisko out there and uh, East Coast Boy. Thank you so much for being a, such a great supporter. Here we go. We are getting ready to do the drivers for the uh, Power Wheels right here. Nice. You guys, this is the minutes we've been waiting for. We apologize we're running a little bit late, but they had things they had to take care of. And here we go. We are launching these things off on green flag. That's right. You can hear the flags bursting already. Where's our uh, Where's our Dax out there? He's got the smallest car. Smallest He's little truck. All the way out there. There it is. Tiny little white helmet. Number five X. Ah, uh, Dax. <coughs> He's well, there's all the way another five X there out here. In there. The uh, grave digger in the red, white, and blue is a five X. Oh wow! Yep, there it is. All right, you guys see that number four across all the way at the top side of your screen, coming across, making one heck of a shot. Oh. <laughs> wow, well, yeah, look, I've never really seen power wheels fall apart. But, well, yeah, literally the tie rod has fallen off. Yeah, you see that on the right side of your screen there, you guys. Did you ever run power wheels? No. No? No. My son has more trophies than me because of Power Wheels. Wow. Like yeah, he likes to let me know that. Oh. Boy, a couple of those out there just ripping around. You got the green triple X in front of us coming around to get back into the action. The quad comes in there from the rear. Oh, slow leaker on the back of the quad. And nice maneuver by the green gator. Still has one yellow balloon on the front. <laughs> oh, uh, I remember when Rowdy used to do this. Oh, Good yeah. times. Did you ever make uh, or have Garrett do it? He did. He did it a handful of times, and it was it was pretty awesome that he was uh, he was able to do it at some of the big shows with with uh, large numbers. But I mean. You know, you had you had little you had Michael Mowry and Bugs and and uh, Hunter Elzer. You know, those kids kind of grew up together in the Derby tracks. That was that was pretty cool. That those kids were making making memories together at this stuff. They certainly did. These kids are making memories right here. Got, I was about to say the helmet with the mohawk. Yeah, there's like two of them out there. That's pretty fun. Well, you've seen a couple of those vehicles turn out of that head-on collision. There, it's like they didn't want none of that one. With a tie rod in the front. I think I think Dax is out of power. He uh, seems to be parked back there, searching between his seats. Never good. Yeah, he's uh, he's on the far right side over there. Your screen, you guys. Dax, he's uh, got the MWFA and Ford F one fifty all tagged up. The number five X. He was uh, awfully awfully excited when he found out that he was going to be able to get that thing tagged up by the the Mr. MWFA himself. Mm hmm. Uh, it's fun doing that for the uh, kids. I enjoy painting their power wheels. I enjoy that they're just they're in the derby, just like their parents are, you know. Well, you know the funnest thing is, folks, if you take a look. Oh, there he goes. He found something. He's back moving. So if you take a look at it, that Dax, he, uh, we were live with him when he was uh, when he was getting that thing all tagged up, and it was a great little interview with him, just a cute little kid talking. You have to go on and take a look at that on our Facebook page and take a look at the one that we were interviewing little Dax while he was getting tagged up. Oh, it's pretty cool. They brought the uh, Power Wheels here in, like, a, 
a skid loader or a front loader. It was pretty fun to see him just in a huge pile of power wheels, and then they brought him out to the track. Yeah, they had him stacked in the bucket like cordwood. It's like that uh, reminds me of the good old days when Hemi was doing all the power wheel derbies. He'd stack them up by the 30s on the trailer and bring them on out for everybody. Oh, yeah, salute Hemi bringing out all those power wheels. That was yeah, that was pretty good, pretty good to do. I, I ended up donating power wheels to the cause, you know, yeah. to the pile, you know. I mean, that guy, that guy did it for dedication for the kids and everything like that. Just a, a huge shout out to him. I haven't seen him for quite some time, and uh, that's that's one of the good old OGs, man. Miss you, buddy. So, oh hey, there, oh, it is there on it is. screen. <laughs> Getting tagged up right there. Yeah, right there. Go ahead, Dax. You're our guy. Oh, oh look at how good that is. Oh, and then look at that name on that pillar right there. Boy, you spelled ticks the right way, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I have a treat for the Track Shot Live viewers. I spray painted a treat. Um, I hope it works out well for us. I did it our very first Track Shot Live that we ever did together in Utah, Michael Tix. Oh, yeah. And uh, so I, it's a little bit of callback to the old days with Bobby. So salute the team. Yeah. We are down to the last five power wheel drivers. Those little Jeep Wranglers seem to really have a lot of get up and go. Yeah, they do. There. Right there coming in front into the screen right there. That little quad, he's just rallying around, protecting that one lonely last balloon that he's got up front. Mm -hmm. And the fun thing is, if, if uh, they were helium, we should make those kids suck those balloons down and do an interview with them, you know, on-track interview for the winner. You know, wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Chipmunks. <laughs> We're doing are good. Would you do an interview yeah, sucking on the helium balloon? No. No? No. What the heck? Still Come on now. <laughs> we are down to the Mercedes, looks like. And the world still goes round and round. We are with the Mercedes and the four-wheeler. They got to find each other. Come to you in the middle. Oh, wow. Oh, there's, wait, now the, the Jeep's still in it. I didn't say there's a Jeep out there full of balloons yet. Still holding on to two balloons, but a little mechanical failure there. Salute the rest of the Track Shot Live crew back at the Demotion Derby Expo happening simultaneously all over America. Great day for Derby in America. Yes. There's, uh, there's plenty of derbies all over the place if you want to get on there and watch and stuff like that. But we have a great one right here in Yuba City. And then, uh, you know, we did some Facebook live sharing there at uh, at the the expo. That was, uh, they had a heck of a good turnout there, Jace. Uh, they're, they're doing great. The Demolition Derby Expo really adds professionalism to Demolition Derby, the sport. Um, it creates a space for vendors and participants, drivers, builders, uh, fans to come see Demolition Derby um, in a convention-like environment. And I think it's pretty great. I think, I think that's great stuff. I think they'll be able to continue to expand. I know the goal of the Demolition Derby Expo is to move locations across America. We have whispers, of course, in Minnesota. Uh, but, you know, we, it's something that I know Casey... And Mark Elliott and uh, Frankie Guy, um, Jeffy from Fab Farm, all those guys are really working hard for the expo to make sure that that goes up. Plus, they have a derby there, and they have youth inspectors. Are you familiar with this? No. They didn't ask you to be out to be youth inspector. Frankie Guy's the first call I'm making. we got to get you out there. I think it's pretty cool. They have youth inspecting the cars. Right, so they're Pretty finding well, no ways to find, get the youth involved at every level of the competition, and uh, I think that's beautiful and great. Well, you see, we got two lonely uh, vehicles out there. Uh, Whoop! All of a sudden, the jeep, car. the jeep's going again here now, and uh, but we've got three vehicles out there that so got balloons still on them. So, the crowd, crowd the seems to love the jeep. Green, truster, the, and of course the, the jeep's three wheeling out orange. there. Looks like Harley Davidson jeep. With a fresh battery, still a broken steering rod, but he's going. Getting mm -hmm. that new steering wheel straightened out. He's not giving up on that one. No steering. He's still fighting her down to the battle, and it just goes to show 
with or without steering, you can still be a competitor out there, right, Jason? That's it. Our friend Steve Sayopa just won in South Carolina three-wheeling. So people can win. It can be done. So he backs up, straightens up that tire. Oh, it's pretty cool. It. Well, I think this guy actually might pull it off three-wheeling. Oh, he's stuck there right now. He's spinning, looking in there. You can see it in the camera. There he goes. He figured it out. He's hammering gears. Oh, Dax, I think he's just driving off the track. Celebrity drive off. Dragon parts. We're going to see more of this later today as we show you from Yuba City, California. We are just north of Sacramento outside of San Francisco. Northern beautiful California. And when we're out here in California, the people here sp in California specifically tell us they want yeah. you to know that there's yeah. two Californias and that we're showcasing the other California this weekend. Yeah, no doubt about it. They um, really want you guys to know at home that there's two Californias and they want you to come and hang out in their version of California. Absolutely. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, I suppose you probably get got to get ready for your car. You got a couple heats, and then it's you guys and everything like that. Uh, once again, we cannot thank you so much for coming up here and All sitting right, down with us and enjoying it. Place. Sorry, I picked on you so much, but I told you I was going to have fun with you. You know, so. Um, but seriously, thank you so much, and good luck, Derby, and tonight. Please be safe. And uh, if you pull off that win again, it's uh, it's it, it it's it's going to be well deserved because there is some hard competition out there this year. So. If uh, if you think about it during the red flag, take a look back at the table here and give us a wave. All yep. right? okay. Think yep. about us if you have time. Thank you for having me on the show today, and thank you, Sour, for painting my car. Right, so it looked really cool, and to it took me a while to spell your name, and I apologize for my poor spelling skills. <laughs> but uh, we, we, got it th we got through it, and uh, it looks really good, and uh, I'm happy and thankful to be a part of your, your team. Thank you for making me a part of your team. High five. Yeah. There it is, girl. All the way around. Good luck with everything, and thank you so much for coming up, and thank you for being such a great role model for young kids coming up in the sport. All right, Congratulations. You guys. Thank All right. you. Thank you so much. And, you know, the funny thing, I love it when you said that, uh, you know, the spelling. Uh, Jason always says, you know, Sauer's got an eraser with him in the other hand. So as he uh, as he goes through and and uh, misspells something or does something wrong, he can always erase it. So that's I love that, Jason's it, theory. It, yeah, it worked out well. I just was trying to figure out what the center letter was because we uh, wrote her name over the whole hood, and uh, there's a lot of letters in Caitlin. Yeah. Um, sometimes there are not as many, but she has all of them. Well, and I was just going to say, sometimes they spell it simply and sometimes they spell it difficult. And, and well, uh, It wasn't difficult yeah. by the fourth time I figured it out. And I was <laughs> like, okay, all right, no, this time I even wrote it wrong while they were spelling it to me. I'm like, my brain does not work. But I love being here with the crowd. Like, I like the part. Yep. Are you, let's do it. Let's go ahead. While we're waiting for these other cars to come out, we're going to do something here. We're going to talk about something. Um, this is something that is absolutely cool that's going on. Something fresh, something new. Uh, Bill's got some great pictures right here. Skinny, we have the Benefit Derby coming up. That beautiful Imperial right there is going to be going up for a raffle. You Whoa. guys, that is donated by Terry Frank of the Frank family. He is donating that driver Imperial to Skinny's to the Benefit. We are going to be giving, or we are going to be raffling off $50 a shot. Buy as many as you want. The name's going on the stick, and it's going to be the OG Bucket Draw. And we are going to do that live April 27th at the Smashing for Skin show. All right, you guys? So that is the Terry Frank family donating up that car. $50 a shot. Buy as many as you want. Your name will go on a stick, and we'll be drawing that thing live April 27th at Smashing for Skin. Um, do track shot people, are we allowed to... Uh Try to win that car? Can I get an oh, hell yeah, as Buddy Hess would say? Yeah. Yes. Yes. No, absolutely. And you guys, everybody get in on that thing. So when we get back home after California, we'll be opening that up in the bubble, in the, the, the bubbles bucket draw 
OG style, and you'll be able to put in. So $50 a shot. Put your name right. in there as many times as you absolutely want, and uh, that is going to be drawn right there. If you cannot make it to the show, it will be in Kansas. It's coming from Colorado. That car is as clean as clean can be. So you guys, once again, jump online. You'll what, see it next what, week what live. What year is that car? 66. Six. I, I, Would I uh, look good driving it? Oh, you look amazing with it. So you guys Would like I be allowed say, to paint it if I got it? it? That's absolutely up to you, man. I don't think it would be right if it wasn't tagged by you. All you know? right. So, well, I mean, what, how much uh, value would I be ruining? Oh, that would be the worst <laughs> part about it. But you guys, so seriously, <laughs> next week it will be going live, and we'll, we'll have two weeks of that uh, being able to buy chances Ooh. for that. And uh, that's that's what's going to happen. I hear motors. Guys. So I once, hear motors. Once again, that is going to be it. So, all right, one of the very first cars coming out, the stars, the stripes. Emery. We, we got one of the Emerys coming out. Um, actually, it's That's the only junior. Emery. It's Dave Emery. The other one. They got this. Oh, they're oh they're coming out for the stars and stripes. That's they're doing the national anthem. This is awesome. Um, you guys, folks, they always paint their cars so nice like this. This is the Emery family, uh, right here from California. They are a huge Galaxy family. Uh, they run the heck out of these things. Yeah, if you watch my TikTok live, I was there while the uh, excavator put the dents and uh, creased the back of the car. So if you want to see how those cars got the perfect creases in the back, uh, right, you can go to my most wanted fine art TikTok live. There it is. We are going to stand up and give the national anthem here, you guys. Ouch, dang it. You button hooked me, Sour. Sorry. All right, you guys, we're going to stand up for the national anthem. Please stand up. And uh, we're sorry if you cannot hear this because we do not have the copyrights to this music. But thank Sing you. Sing along at home. Thank you to all of our military uh, veterans, past, present, the future, the never forgotten, to give us this freedom. Thank you. Were so gallantly streaming, we're, we're tied in. and the rocket's oh. red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say. Spangled banner yet wave. Oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. All right, folks, that was live. You guys got to hear that. What a beautiful voice she had here singing the best damn song this country has. And I mean the best song this country has. Once again, it is great thanks to our veterans that give us this freedom opportunity to stand for that national anthem and be honored to be here making our choices in this country we call home. Oh, yes, love it. Best song ever. You know I love it. Oh, it's, this is awesome. And you know what? Hats off to the Emory family that spent all that time to make those cars as beautiful as they are and support that flag. Yeah, it's aired up. All right, let's get some water on this track, Michael Tix. Yeah, they're going to need some, no doubt about it. I mean, uh, you know, there was plenty of water on this track yesterday <laughs> and how this thing dried out, how they farmed this thing. Are you ready for some extreme destruction? Oh, yes. Yes, we are ready we for are some ready extremes. From spring extreme. Wow. 
you know what, Sour? We sit here. We've been out here a couple of years together and everything like that. This show is is really turned into a great community event. Um, Yuba City is a pretty large community. Mm -hmm. And it's got chickens running around everywhere. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> all you got to do is uh, uh, go take a look. I mean, Jason was, uh, was, was, was awoken and uh, honored by a little cock this morning as he walked out the door. So much chickens. <laughs> we went to Big Lots today. There was someone out there just feeding the chickens in the parking lot. And I went up to her. I asked her. I said, hey, could you please tell us the history of the chickens here? And she goes, I've lived here for 20 years. And she goes, I really don't know the true story behind the chickens. But they are protected. Like, you don't mess yes. with the chickens. I heard the story last year at the 7-Eleven. But uh, it's pretty much just that, that they are a protected uh, animal here. And what it is, it's, I believe what they told me, it's a history of this Yuba City was all farms. And as it grew and became more developed, uh, there was a push to allow the farm to be a part of the city. So it, in a way, it, it's, uh, it's a callback to the heritage before you know, Starbucks and stuff came in, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure. And, I mean, this is, I, I mean, you go outside of the city limits. I mean, it's 100% farm country here, Jason. It is, and it's beautiful. Uh, you, when you see it coming in on the plane, uh, you're, you know, because we drove through wine country to get here, and it was gorgeous and beautiful. And it was just, the, you know, being from Pennsylvania, uh, you know, it's a lot of pine trees, oak trees, uh, you know, and... Every spot that can grow a tree does grow a tree unless someone maintains that property. And that was the one thing I noticed about California was um, there's bare patches. Well, they're not bare. It's like grass. And then there's tree. Like, it doesn't. It's not. So I'm not a geologist or anything like that. It's just the small differences that I notice um, as we travel, you know. And luckily, this time you were driving, so I often don't get to look out the window as much so it's it was pretty cool having you drive uh you're a dangerous driver by the way so you've taken me in the track here in the rental car uh we had a power wheels with a rental car we went over the lift on the rental car uh, you went into the barn yesterday when you weren't allowed in the barn in the rental car you're you're a dangerous man who where do you where do you hear all these rules what i'm not supposed to do why do i not know any of these rules you're sitting here telling me all this stuff that I'm not supposed to do, and I never once heard it from anybody. Hey, don't do that. Hey, that's not a good, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Nobody's told me any of that stuff. Now, all of a sudden, I'm sitting here, and, and publicly, you're telling me all these things that I'm horrible at. Uh, I didn't know. No. I just said, oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, it's, that's what you called me out on, but that's okay. <laughs> I mean, just because I don't believe that 55 is the speed limit everywhere, I mean, I have, I have missed a birthday riding places with you sour uh yes and i'm sorry about that well one of the best rides i've ever taken with you was the power breaking of bubbles cadillac <laughs> <laughs> around the blizzard bash parking lot and then taking you around for a second lap <laughs> that car sucked at burnouts and you know the worst problem of it is is Bubbles loves that car. <laughs> if she truly knew what I did to that car that night, I don't think she'd send me a Christmas card, all right? So we'd I'd rather not talk about that anymore. Um, once again, Bubbles, I love you, sweetheart. And I truly would have never beat on your car, but Jason was giggling like a 12-year-old over there, <laughs> and I just figured I needed to give him entertainment because your husband would have done it for my wife, so I did it for Nina's <laughs> wife. <laughs> Got me. I deserved all that. I deserved all that. Uh, I was well. Last year we took uh, the rental over the tough truck course. Uh, that was actually foolish. That was wrong. After I did that, I totally figured out that was wrong. But once again, you were giggling and laughing, and you were encouraging me, Sour. So well, you uh, pulled up to the edge of the mud pit, and I was like, "Please don't. Please don't do the mud pit." That. 
That would have sucked, actually. That's I'm really happy that we second thought that one because that would have been one of those situations. I definitely think that uh, um, we would have been using our insurance that we bought. I, I would be uh, rolling down the window and trying to jump off the hood of the car to somewhere where I wouldn't get my shoes. Well, and then you would have been running away and saying I was no part of this because you, we would have the TSL family against us at that point. You know that uh, <laughs> that we were making horrible decisions in in, in a, a spotlight. <laughs> so. Uh, but hey folks you know as we sit here and we talk about these things and everything like that that's why you need to be here in person and enjoy the destination derby 101 with us tsl style having a great time um you know once again to all the great promoters that invite us into their into their spotlight and and share it with us thank you so much because you truly do open the door invite us in as family and you know we simply want to bring exposure and fun to everything that you guys got going on and let the world see why they need to be here with us exactly S salute the promoter yes. the promoter is okay uh please salute, salute your promoter all right because they work hard at getting the butts in the seats that way all these people can watch you enjoy the sport of demolition derby um you know i mean that's thank you promoters because you guys have a bit of a thankless job i'm sitting here with michael Tix. he's a promoter um and I promote, but my art gallery is different than filling up stadiums of derby cars. So uh, I really, I think it's really great that promoters take their time, their life. They, they get the insurance and they put, put all this effort in so we can enjoy Demolition Derby in front of a crowd of people that want to see some great entertainment, you know? Yeah, and you know what? It's 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 great because we heard uh, we heard an example here that uh, you know somebody had made the comment about you know that that the money you know. Oh, here we go. We're going to do these announcements. We're going to list with this guy. So the number one oh, coming out. Let's give out, me a pen. <clears throat> number one coming out is going to be Got a Dave pen. Emery. Got a pen? No. I'll say we can write the numbers. Yep. I'll say read them. The number eight coming out is Mr. Foster. Turn down for. Got him. Number one was Dave Emery. Next one, out there. the number 14, Derek Baca. There we okay, go. Perfect. Hear him. And okay. the number 15, Jason Yamamoto. Number All right. 15. Number 15, Jason Yamamoto. Oh, coming in hot, Killer B Racing. And the number 59, Brian Silveria. And the number 34 coming out, Josh Hall. This is it. And number 58, Pedro Falcon. And the number 51, Hunter Elkin. Number seven, Eric Hoffman. All right, how many are they taking uh, from the top here? The they take six one. and a mad dog, right? Oh, yes. four. Six and a mad dog. Ten. All right, you guys have been watching. Watching our lives now and for two straight 32. days. Getting ready for some demolition derby action. Richard Crowd is LeVay. starting to get really standing room only at this point. This is pretty cool. Uh, we've been and waiting for days to get one. some stuff smashed. You want to know what his story is? That's Cody's story. All right, Bacco is putting the tire into place. Look how that cool bucket, how it just grips the tire Before like that, we like can a little throw squeezer. The green flag. We need I don't know if I've ever seen a bucket trailing, like please. that. That's what they call a three-in-one bucket. Three-in-one bucket. That's pretty cool. Be around the track is our yellow shirts. We need everybody else off the railing, please. In the grandstands, we need everybody off the railing. We need everybody back. Please. Number thirty-four is that Josh Holt. We will not throw our green flag until everybody Don't know, okay. Back. I was thinking it was. I missed some of these numbers as they were pulling we in, so. It, folks. 34 is the Reaper. Turn number four down. Williams down. Enterprises. Turn down number they four, I got it. Keep first. going all the way down. All the way That's down. That's our announcer that you'll hear. All right. They are locking up the, the track on the other side, you see there. This year, that, that uh, announcer stand straight across is brand new this year. It's a nice new addition that they have here at the Yuba, Yuba City Fairgrounds. 
Nice. Investing in their infrastructure. No doubt about it. You, know you what? guys, what are you thinking? You've seen all these cars on the Facebook Live yesterday and today all day long. Are you guys ready to see this? I hear the thumping of the motors beating off my chest. I smell the racing fuel. I am so excited to say that, yes, I am ready to see these guys wreck this iron. Yes. So Vera out of Oakland, number 59, and that what I believe is a Mercury. That old 59, what kind of car yep, is that? Yep, that is uh, Brian uh, Slavera. That is an old Mercury. Excited to see how that thing bends. Big shout out to our AB Cat Tech boys out there watching us. Thank you so much Four, for the support sponsor. Three, two, one. It's Let's Demolition go. Derby. Yes, here we go. Right out, Foster from the gate gets a good little tap. Resettles in. Emery with that triple D engine. Team FTL. Getting reset up. Uh oh, stuck up on the tires. The number 14 killer me coming across, went right out of the left of your screen. What a shot down there on that suicide number of the 104. Number 58, Pedro Falcon is stuck up on the tire there, I believe in that. What is that, a cyclone? What is number 58 here, buddy? <laughs> What a shot, just pushed him all the way down the track. He was not letting off. See the number 32 coming down there, getting into the open area. Aaron Hoffman doing some work out there. Dave Emery going all the way down. Oh! Number eight got right out of his way. Gage Foster in the number eight car. Oh, Brian. Brian setting up for a shot. All the way across the track. Oh, all the way up underneath. Number seven grabbed onto the number eight, giving him a whoop. Derek Baca. Cody, Cody Story coming around here in the blue and yellow car. That's number one S on your screen. Well, I, think wow. we're, I think we got a couple trying to get Mad Dogs. I see at least two Mad Dogs out here. No doubt about it. Uh, that 34 Reaper is doing a great job. Dave Emery coming all the way across the track, missing the one he was looking for. They got out of the way. Uh, Pedro, 8X. Pedro he breaks off. Tim Palacios. Great shot by the 59 right in front of us. You see in the center of your screen, right yeah. back over on the 34, the Reaper. Back to backs. Wow. 8X grabbed into Emory. Uh. Yeah, Derek Baca is, is in the 14 Killer B Racing. That's that car with the, the uh, Bumblebee stripe in the back. Coming in with a hard shot. Yeah. That's right, you're listening to Michael Tix here on Track Shot Live. As the intern and the professional Jason Sauer is doing what he does best.
Wow, great shot right there on that 8X car by the 34. He's keeping his head on a swivel there. He's got a couple guys gunning for him, but that rear end of that car is folded in beautiful. The 34 of the Reaper doing it again. 8X coming right in on that back corner of him. And there's Dave Emery coming in on the back. He's folding that back side of that galaxy. Oh, Cody's guys. story breaks off. That's the blue and yellow car. We're getting down to maybe being able to pick a six. I'm wondering when they're going to stop it for the Mad Dog. Oh, that's super hard to pick one right now. I would say that that 34, actually Brian in the 59, uh, you know, Brian was doing quite a bit, but that 34 Reaper is doing a lot of damage also. Seven coming right in. Wow. What a shot on Emery. I don't see where he landed that thing on that passenger side, but he got in there in that bumper. Yeah, we're down to nine. Oh, Reaper starting to show a little smoke. Oh, Reaper is lifting hard. 59 comes in, got that big shot. Oh! Wow. Fans love that. Yes, number 50 just grabbed a hold of that big old Reaper car and just put him right there in those tires. Oh! 8X oh. broken axle, Dave Emery coming in. Woo, made it into. All right, I guess they're setting up for just track shots now. All right, hold on everybody. We're just setting up for track shots. This is it. I'd get out of this corner because you are set up. Look at this shot, here comes Dave coming down. Oh, he's waving him off. Oh. He already broke off. Yeah, seven makes a wise decision in getting out of the hammer corner. Uh, they can't see that he has broke off. 8X has been taking, Gage Foster has taken two hard shots just sitting in his car. They don't realize that he has broke off. Killer B Racing, number 14 of Boca, still, or Baca, still out there. Kind of stuck, I think. Yep, there we go, broken free. Richard Lavelli, he's in here in the red car with the uh, bomber mouth on a number 32. Still going strong. Back end of that old car is really just folded in real nice. Yeah, it's almost vertical straight. It's I got that one frame rail popped out there a little bit. That's a bit. galaxy, right? Yes. Or no, that one is. I think that's called Mercury. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're down to seven. Last one out here. God, they have not pulled the Mad Dog out of here yet. They have not stopped it for a Mad Dog. That's that's uh, surprising. All right, Brian. Big shot on the Killer B right there, the 14. All right, we got a red flag. There it is. That probably is our seven. And that's only our first eight. That was... Good heat number one in Yuba City, Northern California. You know who I saw out in the uh, crowd today? Who's that? Katrina. I seen her also. I was out there giving her some love. And I can't wait to get her up here and interview her and lose our jobs. Yeah, right, right. You're the one that'll be uh, the one. <laughs> Trying to figure out exactly. I, I didn't see. Uh, I didn't see a mad dog get pulled at all. So maybe they're not pulling one here. I don't know. In everything that we call here, you guys, is 100% unofficial. 100% unofficial. We wait for the announcers to tell us what's up and everything like that. Well, I mean, and also, uh, they during the drivers meeting. They really stressed on the after derby inspection, yes. which is not anything I really know about. 
but they are describing how they're going to pull axles. Um, what the heck does that mean? Uh, they got to have factory axles in here. They cannot have like a 33 spline or, you know, 40 spline or anything like that axle. They have to have a factory axle in these things. So how does one know the difference? Um, well, it's it's like the forging of them. Obviously, the spline count, you know, the, the uh, 31 spline is, you know, the, the, the biggest car axle out there is a 31 spline factory, I believe. I've never seen anything bigger. Um, but uh, so they just said it has to be a factory axle for that car, so you can't have a... Uh, you know, like a, a chrome ollie, you know, a fancy chrome ollie axle or anything like that. So, mm. because it has to be uh, that that factory factory axle. And then they said they're cutting frames. Yep, they said they're cutting frames. They, uh, you know, they know where these things are supposed to bend a lot of these cars, and they will uh, they will open the frame up and make sure that there's nothing in there. So, um, you know, it's, what uh, specific location is frame cutting done at? Well, now you're going to, you know, like, uh, you know, your Cadillacs and stuff like that will bend at, uh, you know, in front of the firewall and stuff like that. You know, your GMs will bend in the S's and stuff. Uh, you know, your old Fords, you know, they, they should, uh, you only get a 10-inch bumper bracket here, so they should be bending in the front of the frame, uh, in front of the A-frames. They should be bending up in there. So, you know, there's specific spots that are, are noted to be weak uh, parts of the car. So if the car didn't bend there, they're going to they're gonna punch a hole and just double check and make sure there ain't anything funny in there because, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, builders get, get, you know, days, months, years to build and inspectors get minutes to inspect, you know, so it's uh, as these drivers and builders can go through and, you know, not saying that anybody's cheating because heaven forbid that, you know, uh, it would it'd be horrible to get uh, disqualified for, for, you know, loading a frame or something like that. But, uh, you know, they're, they're going to take a look at it afterwards, and they're going to look at uh, the top five get paid, but uh, they said they're going to inspect the top eight cars, you know, so that if somebody gets disqualified, uh, you know, they've got three more cars that can move up the, move up the places of payment. And it's because of the $10,000 paycheck. Yeah, paycheck, it's, right? yeah, it's because of the money that's getting paid. I mean, they want to they wanna make sure that they're, they're protecting the fields, you know, so that nobody's getting away with something funny that nobody else got away with. I mean, that seems above and beyond for a promoter to make sure. Now, does a promoter have to do that for the first few years and then they can get away from with it? Or is that something a promoter has to do each and every? Well, you know, the tough thing is, is like, you know, with those guys, you know, with the, with the axle rule and everything out here, you know, um, I remember back in the day there were other shows that, you know, we had to pull axles and, and prove that, you know, you weren't running any, any funny axles or anything like that. Um, so, so I mean, I, it's that's that's not. This isn't the first time that this has been out there, but it's it's not something truly uncommon because a lot of places will let you run a run a rear end that's built a little bit, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it's it's they don't really um, you know uh, per se that have that rule, so they don't have to enforce it. But um, you know the thing of it is, like if all of a sudden at the end of the day all these cars are bent and everything looks like it's a level playing field out there. Um, you know, I'm sure the inspection is going to, the, the post inspection is going to be pretty quick. You know, but now all of a sudden, if you've got a car that's standing out, that's, you know, been running nose out all day long and it never bent, well, you know, sometimes you get a lucky hard car, but other times, most of the time, it's uh, you got lucky and you got through inspection with something. Mm. All right. So. Well, I mean, that's good information for the people who are just now getting into Demolition Derby or p people who are new to Demolition Derby or just happen to cost. Track Shot Live here on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and TikTok. So yeah. if Eddie. you're finding us on one of those channels and you're just tuning in to Demolition Derby, you're with Michael Tix. I'm Jason Sauer. Uh, this is Track Shot Live. We are at Spring Extreme in Yuba City, California, and we are broadcasting one of two days of a great event here held by Williams Enterprises, LLC. First day of the event is a Demolition Derby. There's going to be heats and features for the $10,000 class. Then a bunch of one and dones. Tomorrow is tough truck competition where they're going to dig this track out, put a mud pit in it, and then the dirt from the mud pit will be made into jumps. Uh, they're not jumps. They're obstacles. Obstacles? Obstacles. Jumps are against insurance. They are obstacles. Obstacles. In the You're going to find that Michael Tix actually knows something about these big long travel suspension trucks tomorrow and uh you know you're gonna hear you're gonna get a class on heim joints tomorrow <laughs> uh, as i did last year
So it's, it's going to be a good two-day weekend here in Northern California, and I am thankful that you guys are still with us. If you could, please leave a comment down there in the comment section. If my son Rowdy is watching and commenting, give him a high five. He's on the YouTube, and uh, I appreciate Rowdy and the Most Wanted Car Club right here watching and monitoring YouTube at home. Michael Tix, last year we got sunburned. Uh, we're going to get sunburned again. My back's already feeling it, you know, so uh, uh, it's, it's absolutely great to be sitting here with you. The sun on our backside. We got a uh, super huge shout out to, to Mr. Man, the Myth Sequoia. Uh, he just got back from from uh, all kinds of crazy uh, surfing over, I don't know where the, I can't, uh, Polynesia. Uh, Polynesia. Uh, he was over there cutting the big tubes. Uh, you know, if you don't know, he's the he's the seven foot six professional surfer that does all the crazy stuff. And uh, in women out there, if you are looking for a great man that lives a lifestyle of of pure luxury travel and uh, all that good stuff, he is a single man. So uh, make sure uh, make sure you look him up and take a look. If you need his personal number and profile picture, uh, call me up. I'll send it to you. Oh, that's so. nice of you. You're a matchmaker, Michael Tix. <laughs> Did you know he's also an internet reverend? <laughs> I, uh, I can take so care if that, of it. So if, uh, if that match make goes a long way from now, Michael Tix can go ahead and finish it. All right, we're about to get the uh, numbers here, right? And we're going to work on it. So I got to turn our number, number four. four. Number four. Let's have it, Sour. All right, we're waiting for our announcer to... What? Not with the music. All right, so yeah. don't turn them up during the music. All right, I'm getting live production cues. Uh, this is what we do at Track Shot Live. Back back in the day, we used to be goofy, but now we're so much more serious. Now we got to be professional. Now we're professional and no, serious. Don't, don't ever use professional again, all right? No, we're not professional. We're just trying to have fun for you guys for self-entertainment at home. So you guys, as you look at the bottom of your screen down there, those are the great sponsors locally that have helped out here in many, many different ways uh, at uh, the, the Spring Extreme show. Um, if you get the opportunity, please take 30 seconds, go on their Facebook page, go on their web page, and uh, shoot out a huge thank you for being a great sponsor of this great event because without the help of those people, uh, the, the level of entertainment that you have here at this show just would not be what it is. So make sure you jump on there and give those people the thanks and say, you know what, we've seen you on Track Shot Live and we cannot thank you enough for supporting one of the hometown shows in Yuba City. So uh, it takes 30 seconds to do something great like that and it makes those people feel that their investment was well worth the moment. It's true. Uh, there's something about a share. You know, uh, Troy Tag shared a photograph of my sculpture that I just made on a scale in the Northern California Demolition Derby page. And I knew that he loved me enough and cared about me that I could feel his heart through the internet, you know? Salute Troy Tag out there, uh, really putting on for Northern California. Um, we gotta salute him. Uh, he's, he's our guy, so I took a nice selfie with him uh, the other day, sent it to my man Todd. Let him know that, you know, uh, we wish more people could come out to California and join us. Yeah. You know, it's a good time out here, and uh, we appreciate it. Number 104 coming in. Oh, no, leaving. 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 I was like, well, back end's really short. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's got a duck on there. It's a ducky. Um, cool. You know, you were talking about Troy tagging everything like that. Uh, congratulations, Troy, for, uh, for an amazing service at the uh, refinery and everything like that. He was able to retire at a young age with health and everything like that. Um, you know, congratulations on the retirement and, and uh, getting to talk with him and, and learn that uh, him and his wife are going to do some extensive traveling and stuff like that. Um, you know, that is, uh, you know, many, many years of hard work paying off and everything. So uh, congratulations to that movement of life, Troy. And uh, he's at Giant Stadium today. He is. Uh, Matt is getting married today. So uh, the, the tag family, tag Galabushi family is getting married um, uh, Matt is getting married at uh, the Giant Stadium uh, I had the great opportunity to stop by there get some pictures that is the one that's in the bay that you see the home runs get hit and they got kayakers out there trying to get the balls out uh, yeah, I, Barry Bonds Barry Bonds that's got yes that's I was trying to think of who that was yes Barry Bonds um yeah he used was, to play for Pittsburgh that's how I knew oh there you go but he was super famous with the Giants Never heard of so. them. 
Uh, so that that was uh, that was a super fun thing that I was able to do when Jason Sauer was stuck on a plane. Um, I was out seeing the bay and uh, enjoying San Francisco Pier 39. Once again, if you go back on the Track Shot Live on Facebook, you can see some of the goofy stuff that we've seen there. Um, I had I seen Fatty in the in the the seal deck over there just relaxing you know as as uh, brandon was working on his car it's true fatty does uh lay around <laughs> when he lays around he lays around uh, um but yeah that was it was super cool to see that i'd never seen that uh bubbles uh reached out to me and told me where uh, her and skinny went and had uh crab up there so i went to the crab shack and had uh, had an amazing. They called it the I don't know, world famous Mai Tai or whatever. Mm. And I had a, a boiling plate of crab, mussels, and shrimp. Uh, it was absolutely amazing on Pier 39. So you guys get the great opportunity to come on out here. Uh, you know, make that part of the destination derby and go check it out. Yeah, salute bubbles with the uh, good recommendation. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we got some great locations that we're going to this season. Michael Tix, we got what 18 more shows already scheduled. Yeah, there we got the a numbers. Mile. The shows just keep adding up. Track shot live. The poster grows uh, near every week as the shows grow. Um, so we uh, again appreciate all the sponsors, promoters, everybody who's picking up Track Shot Live this season. Um, and we got some new promoters with us this season. Salute, full send. Um, coming on with us, plus your promoter there in Mississippi. Right. All right, here we go, heat race number two. I'm going to go ahead and turn up the in-house announcer. Introduce our destruction drivers. And then again, I'm going to need your help on counting them down. Ryan Shivers is in this class. Yes. He's in this heat. Blizzard Bash uh, participant. Um, they have been in the national bracket the entire time that I've been going to Blizzard Bash. My bad. I'm sorry. We were listening to music. We gotta wait for him. We gotta wait for him. Yeah. Katrina's here. You wanna throw her on? We'll wait a second until we go. Let's get these cars out so I can try to hear them so we can get the numbers right. and uh, we'll we'll get that stuff and then we'll get her to sit down. Right. Actually, just come. Just sit down. Just wait. Come on, jump on in. Nice. Uh, yeah, we're going to have Katrina last year's uh, champion for Superfly Snuka. the longest jump in the history of... Oh. oh, perfect timing to sit down. We got the water truck coming out. All right, jump on. Come on, Katrina. Let's talk about this stuff. All right. Who the heck do we got sitting here with us now? Hurricane Katrina, you know that? Oh, I know, but everybody in the world doesn't know that, so, you know... So, uh, so how many uh, how many uh, vertebrae are fused together on you, or what? Uh, how how long is a piece of iron in your back? What, what what's shaking with you, woman? Um, I broke my L2 and my L3 from my jump last year at the Spring Extreme, and I have a rod going from L1 to L4 now. Wow! So, uh, so that's uh, if you guys missed it, you go back and take a look at last year, 2023 Spring Extreme, day number two, Sunday, the Tough Truck Competition. She had the coolest coolest looking truck out there don't you think sour definitely that cherokee was looking good tagged up by tsl by the most famous jason sour oh, yeah you made it famous you <laughs> sent that truck i don't think it's landed yet i think it's still on its way somewhere the trajectory on that thing was just amazing it, it was an awesome jump and i had a really great team helping me out the looney hoons which you guys are going to see tomorrow they were helping me with the uh with making sure that the brakes were good the axle was sustainable for a while but honestly having you guys support me last year and tag it up that was the most extreme feeling in the world to have track shot live letting me like represent them on the track that was amazing and the backseat bobby cam that that was amazing <laughs> <laughs> that was really cool you uh were definitely crowd favorite you sent it um we watched your recovery online and uh you know that must have been uh, you know uh, very painful and, uh, it, it was, but injuries like that are so rare on the track. I mean, there are drivers that you'll get broken bones, bad bruising. I mean, my injury sucked, but it's it's so, so rare, and I really don't want that to, to discourage or dissuade anyone from trying this sport. It is so much fun. It is so easy to build some of these cars, the most wanted cars, 
is an amazing class for beginner drivers and tough truck stock, stock class. You don't even have to really do anything. And I really do want to encourage everybody to get out there to your local fairgrounds and just, just give it a try. It's so much fun. Well, thank you. Well, and you know, that's exactly it. I mean, um, no offense. I mean, you were jumping further than the pro trucks. I mean, you know, the pros were, were like, you know, let's, uh, they're cat and mouse and out there. And all of a sudden, here comes Katrina. And uh, she's like, you know, Ed straight up. Hi. Straight up. And that's Aww, what it was. So that was huge. So uh, you guys, seriously, go back, take a look at it. Because you will not believe what this woman did in that stock Grand Cherokee. And uh, she just straight up showed them boys how to be men. You got fans in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Brandy and Leach, love you. Um, Leach wants to be a part of a tough truck competition. They, uh, you know, they were really into what you know. You really opened up everybody's eyes on day two of Track Shot Live. Pittsburgh is awesome because the Steelers are actually my favorite team. I followed them in the NFL since I was like sixth, seventh grade. So mm. that's awesome. Is that baseball? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, let's here we go. We got All right, here we go. Let's get this demolition derby going. All let's right. try to get these numbers this time again. All right, E2 in the 17X, Mike Kent. In the 3X, Austin Emery. Making their way on the track, the number 82, Ryan Chivers. In the number 88, Zach Kennedos. In the 199, Rylan Proct. From Canada. Making their way out of the track now. This is the number six. It is so cool having them come down here for these events. And the fact that Run they build the in California. Plan. That's so cool. Excuse me, that's Doug Emery in the number six E. And the number 16. Robert Bright, and the number 35. Please welcome Isaac Fredoso, and the number 24, Javier Orozco, and in the three X, Bob Dent, and the 34 D, That's Brian Schettinger in the number 32, Manny Madrono. And then number 69, that's always a nice round number, is Ron LaPlante. There is your lineup for Heat 2. We're going to call nice. the number 69, the Cape Crusader. All right, I'm turning down our announcer. Raiders for life, says Chad. Emil wants USA 3X. Oh, yes. Look at this. A huge, huge thing. We got the drone out there. Thank you to our great highlight sponsors of the drone. Cannot thank you guys enough because we've got Sequoia here running the camera in the switchboard. We got Uncle Bill running the drone. Yo, what's up? Our man Tommy from AB Cat Tech watching in. We love you, Tommy. So, Katrina, now that you're uh, you're all welded shut in the backside, what uh, what have you been up to lately since you're broken and, and refixed? Well, sadly, I can't really drive anything. I want to get out here and show these boys how to really derby and have you guys actually see me derby. I've won a couple of awards. I've taken second, third, and Mad Dog, and I want to show you guys how I can derby. Uh -huh. But I still go. I still hop out with some friends' cars and travel Three, around. Two, one. Let's Green start flag. it! There it is. Look at that view on the track from that drone from the sky high look. Sky high steering right there. Big shout out to Jake and sky high steering. Cannot thank you enough for being an uh, elite sponsor this year. That's Bob Arant in the 3X. That car is super clean. Wow, right in the middle you see Emery and them coming across, grabbing on to that number 35. Oh, sending it to our guy from Canada, Rylan Proc. Uh-huh. 
Number 35, at Isaac Fergoso in that good time star. There goes 88, right in the oh. oh, heads up. Took a bad angle on that one. Yeah, he did. You seen that one come in there on the top side of your screen. That was a rough door shot, but he did get off the gas there a little bit. Yeah. Uh oh, here we're coming in. Oh! Oh, there's two three X's out there. They're both both on each other. Well, we got the flag and, and we got the Mad Mike. We got the flag and we got the blue. Yep. The right. flag is uh, is uh, is Austin Emery. The other one's and Mad the, Mike. Yep, Mad Mike. That's Bob Art. How's Ryan doing it here in the 82? Ryan's car looking pretty good. Ryan shivers. Oh, 6C, Doug Emery. Look at him digging in. Trying to get it all the way around. Oh! Just barely missed out of it. The 199 comes in and grabbed a hold of the 7 6 of Mike Moose Cat. Oh. Ron LaPlant, <clears throat> number 69, the Batman. Red flag. They got a red flag. I wonder if they're pulling somebody out for a mad dog. Or we got a bumper. What do we got? Kind of hard to pick which one would be the Mad Dog. This is an amazing show. Yeah, no doubt about it. We're only on heat two. Nice. We're looking good. What car do you feel good about? Did you see anything you liked? Definitely the Emery's. They they always full send. They are looking for those full arena shots. I wouldn't put Fergoso out of it though. No, definitely not. I think Fergoso in the uh, 35 car. That's right. Uh, Byron asked what classes Troy Tags kids are in. They'll be up coming up in the stock class here pretty soon, but not specifically this heat. We got some Emery's in this heat. Uh, in the good time car, that's Isaac. So who got the flag? I seen a flag. Uh, that is a great question. Thank you for asking that. What the, were you guys not paying attention? What the hell is wrong with you? Katrina? At least my sunglasses aren't on. You know, you come up here, next thing you know, Jason's all fuzzled by you, and he's not doing his job. If you, you know what, Jason, if you can't do your job with the beautiful woman sitting next to you, no more beautiful women next to you, okay? Beautiful women? Where? <laughs> Where? <laughs> Michael, two, one. one. Let's start me. There we go. Green flag action again. 16 Junior. Robert Bright. They wanted to make sure you said Junior. Yep, it's not JR. Uh, our Canadians looking in between the seats. It's not going well. Come on, Ryland. Get that thing started. You got Ryan Shivers in that 80, 82 car on the top side of your track. He's doing real good, keeping his nose clean. He there. really is doing some smart driving out there. They're starting to get hung up on each other, though. I tell you what, folks, last year, well, Emery was coming in. There it is, Doug Emery got it. Oh! over there. Oh, he gets off the... You can't keep oh, that man down. Whoa! Boy, he got, Doug got caught sitting there. I don't know, it looked like he might have got a little bit of that front left tire. Nope, he got lucky. He still got that steer there. Right there, the 60 of Doug Emery coming in front of you there. Looking good. 17X coming across on the 69 right that's, there. You see that That's that Mike one. Kent. Good shot, Mike Kent. Ryan oh. Shivers right in the back corner. Great head. Yeah, decided to use the front of the car. Mike Moose Cat in the 17X. Moose knows the nose of shivers.
Leaving Ryan's rear tire exposed. Ron LaPlante. Oh, Ron's on his side. We can see all the way inside the car. Come on, Ron, get out of there. They do not like Batman today. Uh, really nice, ever. really nice wheel shot. The 88 put on the 3X out there. 3X of Mike uh, of Bob Arndt got that one. The 88 was not Zach Candace. Nice, good time. Still looking between the seats. Oh. oh. Speaking of Zach. That did not help Zach at all. That was a red tough flag. One. He's got a bumper just about coming off on that 88 car. Red flag. Right, drivers. They don't see it. Moose. Moose pit. Oh, uh, Moose. But I wouldn't put Zach down. Zach is one of our local boys. He does the demolition derby. He does the RV derbies. He'll be able to figure out a way to get around this. That's good. Looks like some got? debris on the track. Bumper. Bumper on the track. That thing finally. Wow. That is the first bumper. That is the first bumper we've seen come off so far. Looks like some other stuff, too. Uh, the the we number got 35 Candace jumped has got a bumper hanging. That must be Ryan Shandiger, the number 35, I'm guessing. The 35 right is uh, oh, Isaac. Isaac. Yeah, that's good times. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I missed that. He already broke off his stick, it looks like, out of his car. So, Katrina, do you know uh, the, who's doing the graffiti work on that number 35 car? I do, actually. He does have a Insta an Instagram page. I will have to bring it up for you later because I All can't right. remember it right now. We wanted to give him credit for the bringing color to the demolition derby. Yeah, uh, every time. Always every nails time. it. Yeah, he was with us last year at the dinner. He does some amazing stuff, too, uh. on both sides, different artwork. Doug Emery here in the 6E, looking for a shot coming around, setting something up. Wants to use the back of the car. Sweet. We got a, we got a, we got a young fan. Hey, young fan, you're too close to the wires. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, we got a young fan under the table. <laughs> No, anything can happen when you're uh, when you're with us. Yeah, so we got a <laughs> so we got a little toddler under our table pulling out the wires. <laughs> Pretty fun. All right, we're back to demolition derby though. 69 again. Ron Laplante still looking good in this old car. They got it split open. Emery right into him. Just as I announced the name. That was terribly cute. Yeah, we're having a nice cute moment here. All right, we got another red flag. Uh, Braden, I'm upset at our buddy from Canada. Looks like he's done. Oh, no. Oh, another Watch bumper. Watching from Indiana. Well, while you guys are watching all over, are you guys subscribed? It is free 99. Share it to your friends, share it to your family, share it with a coworker, make new friends. That's right, we're monitoring here from home. Salute everyone else that's helping us watch the YouTube channel, making sure we keep the bots down to a minimum. Yeah, no doubt Appreciate about it. Appreciate that, everybody being a TrackShot Live fan and community member by entering our chats and keeping the bots down. We're back. We are back on Derby. Green Flag. This heat is brought to you by Gray Area Derby Parts. Thank you yeah, so much I think, for being I think, I think Shivers and Moose have uh, decided to make a personal heat between the two of them. It's been back and forth. Looks like we got another bumper off. 88 finally lose the bumper. Is that Candace? It's like 24. No, it looks like it's on 24 fell off. 24 is, is that the missing number we got? Ryan Shandiger. We are getting down to our just last here. We're down to who's going to get out. Who's going to go to Constellation? Who's going to go to the feature for the $10,000 here? Here at comes Ubisoft. JR. Coming around looking for Emery. Yeah. Candace has managed to get in between Moose and Shivers. 
But that wow. still is back and forth. Those two have been battling a good battle this demolition derby. Oh, Yo, Shivers, Shivers got his right. Right front wheel got it. That's where it is. There it is. Give Sequoia a ton of credit on that switching and running that camera, getting you all those tight angles right there. Zach in the 88's missing a tire. You don't need all four. No, you don't. We've, we've proven that you can win a demolition derby with three tires. Oh, big hit from Emory in the 3X. Right into the other 3X of Matt Mike. Here comes Zach in the 88. That got right in on that 16 oh. Junior car. Got on that. Oh, he saved that wheel though. Zach did not get that 16 Junior. Emery's choosing who he wants to get. But don't forget about Doug Emery. He's still out there too. In the uh, 6 E car. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we're down to seven. They're all kind of just waiting for who's going to die next. But right now, 88 sitting still. Zach Candace, all right, refired, moves back on the clock. The minute clock is ticking for Candace. He's still moving. Come on. Battling some steering. Coming around, though, going to get a competition hit in time. Is he going to make it? Well, he got a number three. He got on 3X there of uh, Bob Art. He grabbed that one. That was a hit. There it is. Competition hit. Good hit. He's still running. He's just uh, got nothing. Back tire spinning. Uh oh. I think he's, something's happened. He's up off the ground. Maybe his drive shaft fell off? No, he's, he's still got a tire, tire but he's, I think he's got a tire locked inside there. Oh, and he doesn't okay. have enough car to push it. 82, clock, and there it is. There they should blow the red flag now, that's six. Red flag, red flag, Candace. Oh. What a great heat though. You did good, you almost made it to the feature. You're gonna have to pull that car down and out and try your way again in the consolation round. We wish you the best. But did you see the determination of these drivers? They're missing tie rods, they're missing bumpers, they're missing tires, and they are not giving up. That's right. Nice. Mike is in the, the chat. Leach is in the chat. Heck yeah, everybody. Thanks for everyone joining in the chat. We love it. That was a really good heat. That was our second heat, right? So we got yes. one, more one or two more. One more heat left. Three heats is what we got today. So both tag boys are in the final heat. Nope. Nope. Brian was already in. Josh Tag will be in the third heat. All right. Yeah, Brian and the, that was Brian and the- uh, Slaveria car. Slaveria. Uh, is that a, yeah, is it Slaveria? <coughs> Slaveria. What's up? Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, stickers. Good socks. Thank you. Oh, yeah, he's the, actually the guy that- ha Yes. Yes. You want him to- for Yeah, jump on, yeah, jump on for a second. Get in here, let's talk to you. Sit down, bud. Yes. Okay. For the crunch? If you know who they are. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Malachi Crunch. I tell people that, they go, who, what? Okay. I'll tell you what, hit us up after the... Oh, we're watching replay right now. Thank you, Bill, for setting up that replay. All right, thank you. I'll see you in a little bit. Well, we give it like a little mic check, one, two. There you go, you sound good. So right now we're watching a replay. Uh, let everyone know who we got on the uh, audio right now until we get, to, so you're watching what America is watching or the world is watching right now. Okay. So when it comes back to you, but they can hear you, so you can. Oh, word. You can, so we are describing the uh, Good Times car that is out here on the track. Uh, we'll get to it in a minute after these replays. Okay. We're watching some really great hits, but uh, Tell everyone your name or, or, or your whatever you want to tell them. It's all good. My name is Joey G. I go by Sim from the Trueborn, Trueborn Kings crew out of Sacramento, nationwide. Been around Sacramento doing graffiti for over 25 years now. 
And, uh, you know, there's another partner here. He's out. He's actually floating around. Uh, the, he's the one that does the screaming eagle with the cigarette in his mouth. He goes yeah. by the name of Lopan4000. Yes. So look him up on Instagram, Lopan4G. Or, correction, at Lopan4000. And uh, I'm at Bring It On Home Sim. You'll see this logo on the uh, profile pic. And, you know, everything's good. It's a good time to be here. My man right here, we... We're over here putting in artwork for these cars, and it's great to see graffiti incorporate itself into, you know, the derby world. And me personally, you know, it's always it's like skateboarding back in the '80s. Like America, home did not want it, strictly forbidden. Yep. Demo you know what I mean? You just got despised so hard, and mm. it was a blemish if you, if your kid was doing skateboarding. Right. And now look how far it's come. That's what we're People at. are wearing, winning millions of dollars, and, and, and traveling around the world. It's pretty cool. You know, graffiti is the same way. I feel well, it doesn't get its appreciation. Let me show you what. When graffiti artists meet each other, this is what we do. And we give a strong salute. You know what I mean? It's all love we and respect. We go ahead and we go ahead and we give out them slaps. Slaps. <laughs> and so, you know, I'm glad to see that, like, you know, it's starting to get a little more acceptance and not frowned upon. And now they kind of, now that things are kind of loosening up a little bit, like, we could put a face to the name and really show that we're not all dirtbags and, and S-balls. You know what I mean? Right. You know, but we're not. I, out. We're I, not. What I like, now I don't often get an artist up here, so oh, I, know. I like to make uh, the comparison of the risk taking personality between Demolition Derby driver and graffiti artist. Mm -hmm. There's something about how we move and how we think about life and the chances that we calculate that we take. Right. Um, that. They're, they have very similar um, ideas. There's a, there's a. It's passion. We can, we can hang out in the fire together. Oh yeah. And uh, have some drinks. And not fold under fire. <laughs> and, uh, and like really, yeah, really understand that we are a group of understanding individuals. And then when people come into our group, we are loving and engaging. Sure. Look and out for all the women and children and elderly and all them things like that. You know what exactly. I mean? We do all. We do right by our side. That's it. You know what I mean? And, so, um, uh, I'm blessed to be uh, in two families. I get to be in the street art family, and I get to be in the Demotion Derby family. Oh, yeah, no family. doubt. And I'm blessed. Sticky fingers. I'm so blessed that... Uh, uh, that and not in a bad way. Not the five sticky fingers. <laughs> it's, it's nice. We don't do that. <laughs> it's just nice that... Uh, oh, yeah, exactly. My fingers are all yeah, stuck, stuck together. Yeah, paint. Yeah, the paint <laughs> is all like... Yeah, I tear up hotel rooms. Uh, I mean, when you go raw dog it, you raw dog it. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's it. That's how, that's how we know. And it's, it's fun. And when I get to come out west, your artwork has been really holding the West Coast down Demolition Derby. That you're the crew that has you paint well, for them. Uh, really, you help create an identity for the team, uh, for them. And uh, I you know, as a fellow artist, I think that's pretty cool that you know they give you the space and the canvas. You know, and I love that. I really, you know, what it, the way it's evolved and the as I've been around, I don't know how many years I've been here. Like 14, I think I started doing it with uh, Efren Hernandez, Tata, for the Good Times crew, and uh, him saying, Joey come paint my car and I sucked so I was like all right I just started doing it and I just fell in love with it you know and, it, and then when I first started it was like they didn't like it right I wasn't it was not accepted man all right yeah. and uh but as you know I gotten better and, and, and they started appreciating and they started really talking to me mm -hmm. and seeing like man this guy's a cool like he ain't a bad dude he ain't an s-ball you know what I mean right and well, so you know I'm not you know I don't, I don't know but well, we want to. We want to thank you for everything that you do for the community, man. Yeah, likewise. Yeah, so, really appreciate that. So, uh, what is? We got some cars coming up in here. We're gonna have to get the names and stuff like that. But I want to thank you for coming on. See you the know? dreadlocks out there. You know, you see me. <laughs> All right, thank you, you know, so much. You know, I gotta say something also. It's like I love coming out and seeing the way that 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 you tag your artwork, your your swooping lines, your. You know your your very intense boldness and everything like that. It's super cool to see how how yeah, other thanks. people do stuff like that. I mean, it's uh, it, it is. We say we give sour thanks for bringing color to Demolition Derby, but to you also, man. Yeah, that's thanks, straight man. up tight, man. Yeah, man. So if anybody wants to fly me out and uh, want to expand, you know, let me know. We're open. There you go. Yeah. Now, you know. Now, now we, how do they get a hold of you? Say it again. They um, gotta hear it three so times. So on Instagram, it's Bring It On Home Sim S E M underscore between each word. But again, you see the Yo MTV Raps and Yo Sim Slap sticker. That's me. And uh, Lopan4000 and IG. On uh, on Facebook, on Facebook is Joey Guevara. G-U-E, B is in Victor, A-R-A. -A. And uh, 
yeah, you'll see me home my brown trout out of Loon Lake. You know, nah, what I mean? that was a good time. Nice. Yeah, is, I love fishing nice. too. So nah. you know, it's life. Life is full of everything. Yeah, for you real. know, you gotta you gotta squeeze every pulp in life. I feel, and so so much is so little time. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. You know, I, I'm afraid to say it, but I think you know. I know this guy that does this show up in October in Minnesota, but you know, I'm afraid that your California butt might freeze up there, and I'd that buy you a park to have you up there, <laughs> homie. <laughs> hey, hey, because I just got back from New York and uh, a couple weeks ago, and I was like, man, it's cold, and they're they're out there like. You. They're go. just shaking their head. I'm like, yeah, I'm a prissy Californian. <laughs> I get right. it. I'm going to turn up here. We're going back to Derby. Okay, you guys. One second. We got to get these numbers here. Yeah, you're good. All right. Our announcer guy isn't on task just yet. All right. Here we go. Number 31, Brian Holt. In the number 55, DJ Rishigan. In the number 77, Mark here. There goes your work right there. In the yeah, double D's, the 22, Greg Hutchinson. In the number X, that's Lauren Chitwood. In the 007, Dave Aggie. In zero, coming out of the track right now. Josh Tag. There it is. Okay. And the number 13X. That is one nice looking paint job on it. And the number 42, Josh Pearson. Here comes the number 70 of Mike Doyle. And the number 75, Dave Flat. Making his way out on the track right now. Coming out in the number 83, that's Jesus Campos. Yeah, it's going good. They, they've turned our track shot into a drinking game. <laughs> and there is your lineup for your stock division. Heat number three. All right, I'm turning down our announcer. We're going back to us. And if we screw up on a number or something like that, folks, we apologize. We're trying to get them second hand off of here. We're going to um, right here. You know, but that's, uh, we're just having a great old time, and that's what it is. So They're, they're working over here, ladies and gentlemen. They are. That's it. Let my now wife we, know when we're working. And you know what, man, to, to you guys, to you guys coming out, you don't know how excited we are every time you guys come out now. So uh, we, you guys we, are coming to Lost Battles, I heard. Yeah. The yep. single day mayo bash yeah. or whatever. Or yeah. single yep. day mayo smash, right? Yes. yes. Yep. Correction. I don't want to mess anything up. I want to give correct uh, info. Oh, that's, that's right. No, we, we suck, we we suck we at it too, so don't worry about it. We yeah. tried. We tried. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, no one's guys, perfect in this world, right? Yeah, exactly. Hey, you guys, look at this. Heat number three is brought to you by Strelo Insulation up in northern Minnesota, a veteran-owned company. Thank you so much for Strelo Insulation. Uh, guess what? They're going to be right. running at the Big Derby down in Bristol, you guys. Congratulations for getting your spot. And there you go. You see that drone mm -hmm. flying there? Oh, nice. Uncle Bill, the professional pilot that he is, the man of many tricks, talents, and tunes. I love how you guys, the game, the, the, what you guys bring and like the drone and all the angles, the announcing. It's yeah, wonderful, and, man. And it's that wonderful. Look beautiful. Look at that. America's loving it. The world is like two, one. Let's derby. Let's rock that fire. Let's Come jump. on. Right from the gate, number 22, Greg Hutchinson. Hey. Yeah, just to make okay. the middle. Very okay. Mark, Mark here gets tangled up there. Come on, Mark, get out. Oh, these guys are running tough. Here we go. We're 007 coming in for a track shot. All right, I believe that number 22 of Greg Hutchinson is in that 98 plus link, and he has got a simple flying harness on that thing. Yes, oh, he does. Now he needs a simple friend. Yes. He needs a simple friend in the worst way. Zero, zero, 007 coming on the top side of your screen. Oh, almost turning it over. That's a good shot. Who is zero, zero, 007? Dave Aggie. There he is, Dave Aggie. Good job, David. He's going to shoot for the bad dog. Oh, look out, Dave. 83. Oh, oh, hey, Swiss Gumples. Yeah, you know all these They're drivers, don't you? Thank you. Help us if you know a driver. Yeah, I, yeah I'm learning a little bit. Nice. 
you know, all the work these guys put in and, and the threat they had for the relationships they had with the significant others. <laughs> right. So big up all to the ladies that, you know, hold their oh, husband and boyfriend wow. down. Wow, what a great shot. You've seen it on your camera from the rooftop 007 coming oh, man, in on the 55. Huh? These boys are working out here. Oh, number 70, Mike Doyle putting it in on tag. Big Doyle. Tag, you better get out of there. Ooh. There you go, he turns it sideways. Now's a good time to get moving. You don't want to take a third, fourth shot in there. Mark here receiving in. That number 70 is just lighting people yeah, up right everybody. in front of us, you guys. Look at that perfect shot you're seeing there. Number 13's coming on the backside. What a wheel shot he put on there. Yeah, that's Mike wow. Doyle. Mike Doyle is just hitting He's doing everybody. work out there. Oh, uh, 55 wow. breaks Ooh. off already. That's DJ Aggie, Aggie. For that kid. Oh no, for, yeah, my bad. For that kid. Breaks off. Good luck in the consolation round. Mark Hare on the top side of your screen there got fired back up. It looked like he might have killed for a second, but he's got fire again. Uh, who's, who's in the X car? Cause that motor is singing. That's that blue car with the X on it. I missed that one coming in. I don't know for sure. That might. In the smock map. Oh, that's smock map. Oh, uh, just West, down. West, West, West smock. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. West smock still doing good in the 13X. Nope, that's 70. Oh, that's West 70. smock. 70's Mad Mike. David Agee over there, he's the yellow car is just... Or number X, I'm sorry, number X is Wes Smock. He's moving out there. Woo! Wow! 75, Gage flag, man. 75, we got a two for one. We got a red flag. Oh, look at Doyle bullying. Look at Doyle bullying on that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, number, flossing off that motor. Number 42, Josh Pearson's out. Good luck in the consolation round and that. What kind, what kind of Lincoln do you call that? Opera window? Opera window? That's right here in front of you, Pearson, the pink one. Yeah, that's that's the uh, the older style opera window right there. That's going to be in the 70s. Yeah, because it's got the vents like a Buick on the side yeah. of, mm -hmm. on the uh, fender. Fancy. <laughs> Fan favorite. They giving 75 the Mad Dog? Uh, number 75. Uh, no. Yes. I mean, he was flying out there, man. Yeah. He was flying out there. 75 Gage is, flag. yep, Gage Flack, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations, He's got that Gage. flag. Oh, crowd loves it. You can hear yep. him through the microphone. Yeah. Good job, Gage. Salute, my man. Nice, good. And that's what the people come out and love to see, you know, throwing, throwing the medal around and just making hits. That's what they, the family came to see you destroy a car. Let's do it. Yes. There we are, back under green flag right there for Spree Low Insulation. Heat number three in Yuba City, California, Spring Extreme. Woo! That would, that would have been my mad dog, double yeah, seven right, and, and yeah. engaged. Yeah. They were like neck to neck to me, for they me. They really were. I mean, both of them boys are flying around out here. Yeah, definitely. They are down to six cars, you guys. David here. McGee, all right, there it is. There it is, they are down to six cars. Ooh, I just noticed that all the way on that right side of that track, Sequoia, number zero. Take a look at the rear end of that car as he's pulling out. That's Tag's car. That's Josh Tag's, unfortunately. That thing went down. That whole thing is just laying Josh on the ground a, and ripped Josh Tag out of Vallejo, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And again, man, meeting all these drivers and then as I continue to meet all everyone out here, man, it's a beautiful thing. And it learning is. everyone and they just hail me, you know, hail all of us up and everyone's all love. It's a big family affair, you know? Yep, they're out they're out there shaking hands. Yeah, man, that's that's but you know when you're in the arena, that's a little different, but Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> your foot's to the floor, your adrenaline's running. That was a great, great job. Yeah. Salute all the drivers on that one. They're gonna head back to the pits and start working on their cars because they gotta Come back to the consolation round. Come back to the feature. Do they get plates, Michael Tix? I do not believe so. I don't I think do I saw any welders so. in the pits. Mm. Do they get nine wire? No. No, I don't. I don't think they have nine wire out here. No nine wire and no plates. They're just fixing tires and whatever. Getting tin out of the way. Getting it folded up. And, and, and making wheel wells in. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. 
Hey, I appreciate you guys having me on the show. Um, thank you so much for being on. Thank it with you, us. America, and uh, you know, respect and love, and you know, as Sour and I continue to, you know, blaze these cars up, and um, you know, we look forward to reaching out to every one of you guys and and, 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 and enjoying your derbies wherever you're holding them at, and uh, you know, we appreciate it all. So again, thank you guys, gentlemen, for having me. Thank you. Go I strongly team. appreciate it. Stay My man, huge, huge, huge. Stay well, you guys. America, stay well. Take care of one another, and uh, do right by your side. You know. Thank you. That's what I say. There it is, there it is. That's good. You want to run some replays, Bill? No, no replays on that one. All right, we got some comments to read. I'll see you guys soon. Later, brother, man. Peace. Get that drone higher. Hey, take care. Thank you. Slip, Mad for Exotic, Upstate Redneck, Dale Tidwell. We love you guys watching in. Shana Franklin says, good derby so far. Heck yeah, everybody. Thank you, everybody who is watching. And uh, leaving comments on the YouTube channel. Uh, we really appreciate the fans. You guys really helped the, the algorithm help Demolition Derby. And you're watching a free Demolition Derby right here in Yuba City, California. You've been watching us go live now for the last 48 hours from Facebook and TikTok. And we're finally smashing. So we are done with the stock class. They're going to go back and work on their cars. And we're going to have nothing but one and dones for the rest of the evening until we get to the consolation and the feature. The feature paying $10,000. That's 10,000 USA dollars right here. That's it, 10,000 US inflation dollars. That's $10,000 to smash Demolition Derby car. That's just for the winner. Second, third, fourth, fifth, all get paid out here by Williams Enterprises. Salute to him, salute all the sponsors. We had to make special trophies. So, again, let me give a shout-out to my friend Kelly O, who uh, helped pay for all the plaques that we made. Yeah. And we had to come up with new trophy cups. We went back to the old days and made some trophy cups because we had some most wanted participants that did some overbuilding, right? And we got fans. They did some overbuilding, and the overbuilding that they did created the most wanted plus class. All right, so the most wanted plus class uh, is for the people who overbuilt. We encourage those of you who are wrecking in the most wanted fine art class, please build to the rules. Uh, I'm not going to shame you. I just encourage you to be a good driver. I'll shame you. Don't overbuild your MWFA cars. Don't ruin something bone stock. Work so hard to keep them rules the way they are. We're going to leave them that way, and stuff is going to get wrecked. Let's uh, just not overbuild. Just be if, better. Yeah, please just, I know that you want to build. I know you want to put 100 sheet metal screws in. I know you want to put rags in the shocks. You want to fake a computer. You want to put spray foam. Nick King did not write all these rules for you to do that. It's how it came from the factory, Okay. I know, leave the dash in, no shifters, no headers, sour just over here crying. I know, you builder guys want to build. I have to make the list. I, you guys send me messages. Let, I want to tell you right now, you are being told on. If you are overbuilding, messages come to me and you are being told on. Know that other drivers are telling on you. So that's the shame you should have. Your shame is that they're telling on you. Am I done? My rant over? I just, you know, you know what? Sorry. It's killing me. It's killing me. You got it. Jeff Hill, what's up? Shouting out. Oh, shout outs. Clutch Marls, where you at, buddy? Steven Sickles, I'm going to shout you guys out. You're, you're my friends. Most wanted car club. Uh, you guys helped me out tremendously. Sciopa Racing, you guys helped me get to where I am. I know it looks like Most Wanted does it like a lone wolf, but I don't. I have friends and family and everybody that really and truly helps out Most Wanted uh, become uh, what we are. So we have over 100 Most Wanted classes, heats in America. Some uh, are doing two, three heats a day. Michael Tix just goes ahead and works on the world record, which uh, we did 111 cars in Minnesota last year for the Minnesota Throwdown. All right, and uh, we're going to attempt to do that. Michael Tix, what are you doing? Tagging America. Thanks, buddy. 
That's my guy. Yeah, oh yeah, get the logo on here. I'm working. Got to get the track shot live on How do you give him shout outs? I want to make sure TSL gets one there. Yeah, track shot live. <laughs> I feel like I don't shout you guys out enough. You know what I mean? So shout out track shot live. You know, you guys uh, do so well. Everyone who promotes track shot live, thank you. Michael Tix, you did a great job explaining uh, <laughs> what it means to cut up a car. So every mad dog goes out there. Hey, thanks. Shout out, Jason. You guys are the best. I spent the day at Steven's shop, says Brandon. Yeah, salute you guys. Hey, in a few weeks, we're going to be Karen Thomas. Oh, yeah, great yes. show, Karen. That's One. right. Smashing for skinny. Yes. Great derby. Ontario is watching. I'm just giving shout outs. Decker hates it when I do this, but I think the fans love it when we shout them out when they're on the comment and chats while we have these few moments because, hey, this free demolition derby might not last forever. So let's enjoy the moment while we can. Each and every derby that Track Shot Live comes to you for free. Hey, look at Bill. Bill's like, we love the comments. Like, share, subscribe. And I'm going to tell you something else. So Karen Tom, uh, Dan, Dan, her husband Dan, right? It's Dan. Um, you know, Karen gets all the props all the time. Get low racing. Uh, yeah. Karen and Dan like follow Demolition Derby so much that they're a camper uh, at running marathons, uh, buying artwork, everything like that. Um, always, always been great friends in the Derby world and everything like that. Thank you so much for the years and years of continued support and and just uh, just mad respect to, to you and your family and and all the dogs at home you guys got seeing all them big shepherds. So. Thank you so much, you guys, for seriously the continued support, like always. Right. Right now, the comment section is blowing up, and I appreciate everybody. Shout you guys out that are putting in the work, putting in the comments. Thank you for watching from Ontario. Thank you for watching from New York. Uh, we love Demolition Derby. We are enthusiastic about it. I love watching cars get smashed. I think it's great. I got my TSL slap right here. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. That looks good. Like, that, that looks real good. I was wondering how, what I was going to wear because every TSL thing I have is wore out, and uh, I don't have one of these fresh new ones. Oh. I, my, some of my stuff is seasons and seasons old. Uh, and it's full of paint. It is. It, but it looks oh, good. I love speaking it. Speaking of I love it, paint, you know. Guess what? Look how painted this thing is. And that's his best polo. That's his best polo right there. Skin Dog Salvage right there. The best Skinny. polo. Skinny buddy. Love you. I hey, got you on right here underneath there. Thanks, Skinny, for the polo. Yeah, let's Salute talk my about man. Skinny. Let's talk about Skinny April here just 27. A bit. Hit it up. April 27th, you guys, if you guys tuned in late, you missed out on the raffle car that's going to be going on. That beautiful white driver imperial coming from Terry Frank, the Frank family over in Greeley, Colorado. You guys. Oh, there it is. You want to win that. Yeah. Absolutely rock, you guys. Right there. You're going to see Bill. that thing. Good move. And that is going to be going on Bubbles OG Bucket Draw. You buy for $50 a shot. Your name's going to go on a popsicle stick. And on April 27th, that car is going to be driven onto the track. And that thing is going to be raffled off right there. So one shot for 50 bucks. Buy as many as you want. That is what it's going to be, you guys. So crashing and smashing for skinny. And uh, the proceeds are going to help the Elzer family with medical bills and everything that they got going on. Unfortunately, our good Lord possessed him with the illness that is just battling that family down. He but uh, is. let's keep our prayers going strong. Let's keep it real. Get everything out there, you guys, next week. That will be going live. Buy as many spots as you want on the old G Bubbles Bucket Draw, and you could possibly be driving that thing home. But that will be given away April 27th at the show in Ottawa, Kansas. If you are not there to pick it up, that's not a problem. We can park it at Skinny's, indoors, outdoors, wherever. We will take good care of that thing until you can figure out how to get it. You do not need to be present to win. You do not need to be present to win. It will be the OG draw on the popsicle stick with your name. Well, Terry I challenge Frank, you. Terry Frank, thank you, thank you so much for the blessed love that you have given the Demolition Derby world, not only from TSL, but to everybody that you help in the sport. Thank you, my friend. All right, here we are. We're going to show me spray painting a little bit of some stuff. But here's my challenge to you. Whoever wins that car, I want to spray paint Skinny's portrait on it. Oh, Let me paint the hood of Skinny's portrait on that Imperial. God. That'd be really cool. All right, that's the new uh, car club sweatshirt. <laughs> Look at that donkey. Donkey! 
You'll <laughs> always be my noble steed. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy my role in Demolition Derby. I enjoy painting cars, and I enjoy the challenge that derby drivers do, the technical challenge when they come up with new and great ideas. So on the other side of that car, I painted an anvil, so I attempted to make it look chrome. Um, so this is us uh, sticker bombing. Uh, if you haven't heard, a uh, quick shout out. I managed to become in the inaugural class of sticker bombers at the Museum of Graffiti there last April in the Museum of Graffiti. So your guy, Demotion Derby, did it. They put me in the book of the world's leading street artists, um, and they put me in there with a Demotion Derby car. So Miami represents the world, and the world they feel the Demotion Derby car is part of the world's elite. So thank you, Demotion Derby. Thank you so much for taking me great places. Um, I'm very appreciative. Jason Sauer, my family, Most Wanted, Most Wanted Car Club, we are very appreciative for all the support Demotion Derby gives to me and this spray painting ride and stickers and derby cars and sculptures and all that stuff and all that love you guys give me. Uh, it goes a long way. It's being recognized at the highest levels all the way across the world, even at the smallest microwaves. We're still doing it. And I appreciate you guys so much for uh, giving me this opportunity. I appreciate it so much. You know I love it, Michael Tix. Oh. I love it. I want to oh. see more stuff get smashed. Let's smash the tractors. You know, it's so super cool. So as you guys see our backdrop right there that every everybody gets to walk past, you know, that was an idea. You know, Sauer had done that at a couple other places. But, you know, for Blaine Williams um, in, in crew here at William Enterprises, uh, Williams Enterprises, they are... Uh, um, they, they've believed in TSL. TSL has worked together with them to bring the show to the exposure that they've got right now today here and there. And so what the whole deal was is Jason had this great idea. He's like, you know, Tix, he goes, let's make the backdrop something personal. And this is going to be something that is given to Blaine, and he's going to going to expand that into his shop, and he is so proud to have that. When we told him last night that that was his for his shop and everything like that, he was humbled by it. And uh, so that was something fun that Jason did as we were sitting there having social hour after dinner with everybody over there in the pits. Um, it was really cool. So you did it in front of everybody, and, and everybody was kind of part of it for the giveaway. So, uh, you know, hats off to you, Sauer, for thinking of that great idea given to the promoters that, that, that believe in us to keep us coming back. I can't give back enough. Like, I don't know how to give back anymore. I want to, like, be, I am just so thankful for the opportunities and blessings. And uh, the only way I know how to give back is just make some work, something for you to save, something for your garage, if that's important to you. I want to make that for you because what you've done for this whole stadium of people and the drivers that come to put on a show for the whole stadium of people. I recognize and I see the big picture of what we're trying to accomplish here, what Derby's trying to accomplish. And, uh, and I, you know, if, whatever way that I can do to help, um, I'm going to do the best I can. You know what I mean? I try to put celebrities in Derby cars. I got, uh, so a couple years ago we had Colin Ray in a Derby car. Uh, and then we put Frizzy in a Derby car. This year we're putting Fed the God in from uh, Wiz Khalifa's um, wrapped uh, organization. Uh, we're putting him in a derby car. Um, so kind of, I feel like that's what my role is. My role is to try to find some celebrity and put them in car. And I, I like that. I like that role. Um, I know my man Todd wants me to get Flavor Flav in a car uh, as soon as I can. Uh, Blaine Williams is walking in through our direction. Is he going to talk to us? He's going to talk to our production. He's going to talk to our production crew. Yep, there it is. So you guys, uh, if you're trying to figure out why they're watering the heck out of this track right now, it is uh, simply because uh, the MWFA class is coming out here. That track was awfully tacky, and uh, it was a, 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 a GSD track right there that was making it. So they are putting a bunch of water on it because these cars that are coming out here that are pretty much 100% stock are actually, you know, they need to take that thing and water that thing down for safety reasons. So. That's it. I encourage any and all promoters uh, to water down your track before the most wanted class. Um, we're going to have a 1,000 new drivers this year, and 900 of those 1,000 new drivers are going to be in the most wanted class. No, oh, for so real. So I really, really want you guys to know that we've made it loose. The rules are loose or whatever, but we need it to be safe. And uh, so, is the second gotcha. so I'm uh, I'm just encouraging. Michael Dykes hates it when I get on my soapbox about get safety in the most wanted class. 
I just don't want to see anybody get hurt. Nobody wants to see anybody get hurt. We want to, we want to see the cars get banged. Yeah. And everybody, everyone still walk away at the day. So uh, a little bit of water down the track. Michael Tix is being counseled on what is happening with the next heat. I think we're good right now. Thank you. Is uh, so. Is this the plus class or is this the actual class? This is the actual class coming in here. This is the actual class. Oh. So um, this one right here is pretty awesome because I believe the very first one pulling out here, I believe that is Herm. He nice. won that thing. It is. It is. That is Herm Proch. Um, that is uh, that is the promoter that we will be seeing in Los Banos. In that nice. white 66, or I'm, I'm sorry, the, the white 88, hey. the number 57 pulling out there is... We're going to need the other plaques to give them the trophies at the end of the heat. They're in the car. Yeah. Um. All right, we got a Durango right, well, pulling in. Yeah, we're going to go after this one. We're going to the 97 driven by Dakota Robinson, the number 425 driven by Jackson Brown or Jason Brown, the number 66 driven by Nick Sequoia, the 99 of Riley Anderson, Bobby Houston driving the number 88, the number 69 driven by Herman Proch. The number 69, driven by Chris Dewey. The number D3, driven by Jake and Dunlop. The number D4, driving by Ty Dunlop. The D1, driven by Dake, uh, Blake Dunlop. The number 37, by Gene Frederick. And following it up in the number 100, driven by Dylan Peterson. All right. Oh, there's more of them coming in. There's only one minivan out there. Yeah, all right, as soon as this heat's over, I'll run to the car and get the other plaques out so we can give them to the uh, winners. All right. Um, Unless you want to send someone to the car. I was just trying to see if I knew anybody right there real quick that could run. I don't think anyone wants to miss this heat. Yeah. I think everyone's standing up. They're watching. Their people are running to the track. They yes. want to see this yes. thing. Yes, people do not want to miss this heat right here. They, they are, are running out of the pits just to watch this happen. How does that make you feel, Jason, to put your name on this class all across the country, the most organized class? There's nothing bigger in Demolition Derby than this organized class right here. I mean, it is in so many states. It's in so many events. Uh, I'm just happy and blessed that everyone thinks it's cool. It's your class now, everybody. Not my class. It's your class. Uh, we're and I'm happy. I just happy people love Demolition Derby the way I love it. And they love it enough to go out there and just throw down, man. Let's go smash some cars. I love it. The horns still work. That's I what love I love. It. I like when they leave the windshield wipers in. Four, three, two, one. Let's derby. Wreck them cars. All right, here we go. Who's going to win it? Who's going to take them first place at 2024 Spring Extreme? Uh, is the Dakota stuck already? No. Oh, they got the Cinco de Mayo painted on there. Oh, there's a bra hanging out of that car. That's funny. <laughs> oh, I got hit with mud. I got hit with mud. The Durangos are slinging mud everywhere. Oh, there goes a the tire. Yeah. Right there in front of you, you seen that one, that big overhead, the D3 lost that front tire from the other Durango. Where's the Mercedes at? I don't know if it made it out here. It didn't start up for some reason. Hey. What we got going on here? There's something big. Something big came off of one of them vehicles out there. And I don't know if it was a bumper. It's not. It's the bra. It's the bra. It's that they had like a piece of art hanging off oh. the back of there. 
and it fell off. Oh, yeah, it was off this car right here in front of us that has the bra hanging out. Oh, all right, you guys, you're seeing the first Most Wanted Fine Art class here at, brought to you by Fushi Speed Shop, right there. That Good Times paint job looks so good. I want to give a huge shout out to Adam at Fushi. I seen a set of low cut uh, old DEC style headers here that you made fresh for somebody. Super nice, clean. That's Derby. This thing will probably get faster as the track like gets less muddy. Almost definitely. Oh! The Durango made it halfway up the hood. The S10 blasting away. Minivan coming in hot. Oh, that Ford Ranger is still going. Good shot. Swinging a mess. Durango all the way up. Oh, oh is he stuck? stuck. I hear the horn still going. Yep, I. What happened now? I heard fire. Uh oh, Durango on fire. All right, I'm telling you right now, the Durangos. Yeah. All right, so in the driver's meeting, they said they got one fire. Oh. Safety first, they're breaking that one off for whatever reason. They say they deem that the fire is unsafe, so. And the driver is okay. He's out there still blowing the horn. That's like hanging out with Tommy on the track. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Let's hear for the driver of D1. Yeah. yeah. Good round of applause for the driver of D1. That is Blake Dunlop. Maybe next time he might drive a Ford instead. Oh, oh they're boy. calling out the Durangos. They're calling them out. They're saying they should be driving oh, Fords, maybe. Here we go. Get him down from three. Two, Two one. Five. Let's derby. Dude, that Ranger's still running. With the purple and skull paint job. Oh, the S10 right over top the front of the Crown Vic. You Crown Vic lovers, he's still out there putting in the work. That's the old brand new or 88's running. Herb takes a big hard shot on, the, on that right front wheel up there on the top side of your screen if you missed that. I'm telling you, that Durango, the D3, the left front tire is already down. Left rear tire is down. Look at this Ranger going nose first. Yeah. Oh. Minivan climbs right up there. There's Herm coming out of there. Oh, got a bad shot on that right front wheel. Did they get it? Nope. Still, nope. still, still in there. CB still in it. What is that rear? No, that's the Mercedes right there, rear wheel drive. That's the Mercedes that just hit the S10. Is it? Yeah. All right. It's rear wheel drive. And we have flames coming out of the number 69 of Chris Dewey. Uh huh. Second Durango fire. And they get it out immediately. Once again, our safety crew and officials, they do a fantastic job for us. This should get faster. Track's drying up pretty quick, Michael Tate. It, it is drying up very fast, and you're watching that traction get much, much better. I mean, it yeah. ain't taking time at all, so. Oh, breaking sticks. One fire, you're out here in, in California. That's that's good for these cars, because you're not going to, they don't have carburetors, so it's not like they're going to suck it down in, you know what I mean? Exactly. That fire is, it's because it's a fire. Usually because you messed with the wires. 
<laughs> hey, Jeremy Petty out of Washington, uh, Port Angeles, Washington. Thank you so much. I want to give a big shout out to all the TSL homies that uh, the the OGs out back home watching right now. Ben's been hitting us up. Ben Ha, miss you, my friend. Great hearing from you, and thank you so much for the great compliments. Yeah, That's no, it's right. a great Micah's, show. Micah's helping run the uh, two. One, the, the group chat there. Micah's been running the act. Thank you for Micah keeping the conversation going. That Mercedes has the hood all the way up. I love it. It's smashed. Crown Vic's still in it, Fatty. Yes, it is. His struts are still hanging in there. The Ranger with the swing and a miss. Miss that Durango front wheel of the D4. The D4 is driven by Ty Dunlop. I'm surprised at how many pickup trucks are still in it. S10 still in it. Extended cab S10 still in it. Ranger still in it. The Mercedes rear wheel drive. That's a 2011 E350 Mercedes out there that has transmission problems, but rather than fix the $3,500 transmission, they decided to go ahead and smash it into most wanted class. Let's wreck it, I love it. How about one of our great sponsors when he gave away that BMW at the throwdown and ran it, you know? Todd from Indy CNC gave away a BMW, uh, and that thing was harder than heck. The, the rear, the back of this S10 is really holding up against the Durango. That's 99 in the S10. Riley Anderson. Uh-huh. Decided to go back to back. Crowd saw something. I missed it. Here it is. A little, uh, little less sense coming back in for again. So you want some of this, you big Durango? Oh, he's taking on two Durangos. That S10's like, I'm taking on both Durangos. Ranger getting turned around. Still got some steering. <coughs> I think this Durango has done dug himself a hole. Durango on Crown Vic, here we go! Oh! Crown Vic pulls out of it. Oh, Crown Vic lost steering. Looks like it broke the steering on the right side. There's the big aerial cam right there showing you the green leaves on the trees in California. What we got? Looks like they got another fire over there on that Durango. Every single Durango has caught fire. Yes, Durangos and fires have something in common, I guess. I think it's the overbuilding. Uh, Tim Sibyl out of PA, thank you so much. Grove City, PA watching. What? Grove City, PA? Yeah. Oh, have them go check out my new murals there at the old Flint Tire at Smith Metalworks. We got some new murals that I painted for Steve's Diesel and uh, Cannon's Detail. Elaine Mitlander, Devil Dog Transmissions. Thank you so much, you guys, for being there. Yeah, Sauer is getting a little red from the backside. It makes his it makes his white hair show up even more. <laughs> I'm gonna have a ring around my head with the uh, headphones. That's exactly what she said. That you're gonna have a white spot from it. Yeah, I did last year too. I ended up having to buy a hat last year because we got so sunburned. Oh my goodness. Um, yes. What do we got left here? Bubbles found out about, she listened to the story about me beating on her caddy. I feel totally horrible about that. Uh, but Three, two, one. Let's derby. What we got left? We got an S10, a Durango, a minivan. Not Another Dakota. S10, the extended cab. Oh, oh that's, no, that's oh, a that, Dakota. You're right, that's, yeah, that's a, Dakota. a Dakota. The extended cab's a Dakota. We still got Herm. We got Herm in the Kia minivan out there still going. I don't know what this rear wheel drive camo thing is. What is that? Is that a Cadillac? I think so. I think it's a rear wheel drive caddy. That that S10 has got some good grip and has a complete and straight front end. I have yet to see an S10 win. I've seen a Durango. I've seen uh, a Dakota, but never an S10 win the whole thing. Oh yeah, you're gonna have a heck of a fight. You go back at go against the back end of a minivan. Oh, he's shedding the tire, Herb. I think 66 is gonna get counted out. They're done. Good shot. Good show. Now we're down to three. 
Give me the keys, I'll go get the plaques. Another fire out there. We hear the crowd yelling. Wow, Herm gets the last hit out of the 37 in the Dakota. No tire on the front, front wheel drive. Last aggressive hit, that right there. We'll see if that's what's going to take it. Herm approach there. But he has not given up. Looks like the number 37 not moving. There we go, Herm got another shot on it. First team coming out of the D3. And the number 88, Bobby Houston, is down. Number 37 is on the clock. Your driver at number 37 is Gene Frederick. And on the back of that Elkhorn BMX, it says Cinco de Mayo. Oh, Gene fired back up. Gene Frederick, still going. Oh, Gene takes over the last hit right there. The 37 to Gene Frederick makes the hit. Herm's got to get that thing fired up. The white Kia van, he's got to get that thing fired up to try to make a hit. Right now, they got him on the clock. Looks like he is done. Looks like he is dead in the water. All right, oh my goodness. Intensity, and there it is. My goodness, Herm was testing, just about ready to touch and kiss that first place. Goes down to the end. Number 37, a Gene Frederick. Looks like he's taking the W. There it is. They are calling it, folks. And that is the time. Oh, well, Toledo might be another burrito. We got some cars to lift out of here. All our drivers are safe and good, thank goodness. All right, there it is, folks. As we get ready for our youth demolition class, ages 11 to 15, I can't wait to see this one. Hello, Spike. I'm good. No, no, we told them last night that we only needed the one room. Yeah, there, yeah, there's most of the answer that one yesterday also, but yeah, that was, we told them last night that, that we did not need that room, but that was, that was not. All right, you guys, so sorry about that broken interruption there for a second. Uh, Best Western called. They had us down for too many rooms. We had to cancel. We canceled it last night, and, and they're like, um, are you guys going to check into this other room because we got people that need it? So we're like, absolutely not. We uh, told you last night that uh, we did not need that room, that that wasn't, uh, that you, they had screwed up. So... Um, yeah, but there you go. You see Jason Sauer out there walking around giving away the most wanted fine art trophies. You guys, you've seen those things. We picked them up. We showed them to you. Those things are absolutely awesome. Um, I just thought uh, he does such a great job on those things. And a huge, huge shout out to Kelly O's that stepped up and is one of the huge sponsors of that. A big shout out to Iron City for writing the rules for this most wanted fine art class. It was a dream and a drive of Jason's at Most Wanted Fine Art, and uh, he put the organization together, put the right people where they needed to be, and got this thing going. I mean, it's unbelievable to see this class all across the country um, to, to the magnitude that it is. It's so, so great to be part of that. 
And uh, look at that man out there, just proud as could be, giving uh, giving them trophies away. So, once again, huge shout out to Most Wanted Fine Arts and everything that uh, that he is doing for the Demolition Derby right there. Oh, he's trying to figure out who's third place. I think. I, I think it is that little S10 right there, right there, Kellios. If you are ever in the Pittsburgh area, get on down there and get the best breakfast you could ever imagine right there at Kellios. Thank you so much for the continued sport and demolition derby. Jason Sauer just proud. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Got to get a little PR in right there. All right. So who wants to vote and see Jason get mud wrestled out there? Should we try to get one of the fans to go tackle him and take him down in the mud? We should almost put a poll on there. <laughs> All right. Hey, you guys, what are you guys thinking? I mean, what, what, what about this show right here? This thing is uh, absolutely great. There it is. Bill coming in with that awesome replays right there. That little long box S10 just doing the work. That was awesome. Just cool. I mean, that thing probably just came out of the woods hauling, hauling firewood yesterday. Yeah. No, there is. Bill's working on getting all these instant replays and everything like that. Once again, huge shout out to Sequoia making the travel up from Southern California to come up here and be Bill's assistant on the handle in that camera so that Bill can fly that drone and do all that fun stuff. Um, right there, big shot. Went right up and over that Mercedes hood and just cleared that thing. And there you go, like you say, look at that, the little green S10 just coming right back in there, just doing the work. Like I say, folks, if you guys are enjoying what you're seeing right here, please let everybody know about TSL. Let them see Track Shot Live for themselves. Tell them to go online, like, share, follow, be part of the group, be part of the family, enjoy it with us. That is, uh, that, that's what it's all about. Yeah, once again, you know, like I say, all of this instant replay stuff is just awesome. Thank you so much, Bill, for getting that. Now, you guys, the second class of MWFA cars are going to be coming out here. Pretty much the only thing that truly is done to these vehicles is uh, it, they welded up the rear ends. The rear ends are welded up, and, you know, it's it's pretty hard after they're welded to uh, go through and try to unweld a, a rear end. So that's the problem with those things. So they actually put together that second class and then Sauer went through and tagged up some cups. Just look at this stuff. This is awesome. So this is gonna be the trophy for the second round of the MWFA class for, we'll call it the the, the people that couldn't put the welder down class. And, and that's totally fine. I mean, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's tough, it's tough. But you know, they jacked up every one of these rear wheel drive vehicles and they double checked to make sure that they weren't welded. So, I mean, it truly was an honest, fair inspection that way. So. Um, that was that, that was pretty good. I mean, so they, they caught, I believe, five of them is what I've seen, um, four or five, and they're going to go out there and they're going to wreck the cars for free. I mean, all they're going to get is a cup, and uh, that's that's what the trophy, that's what the payout is, is is an awesome cup that Jason put together with uh, with uh, the MWFA artwork and everything. So uh, somebody's going to be proud sipping uh, a beverage out of that cup and thinking about what they did and how much fun they had out there. So, yeah. Jason's coming back. He is full of mud. That's that was some deep mud out there that they're grooving around. So, uh, that somebody, Jason, are you winded? Am I winded? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, so he's putting his stocking cap on so the back of his head doesn't burn anymore. Ha ha. Oh, dude, that was great heat. How, how, how amped were they to get them plaques, friend? Uh, they were stoked. Uh, I know third place guy in the S10, uh, he could smell first. And uh, it just came so close. Uh, you know, the Dakota just went out there and put in the work. That, that Chrysler just kept up, held up. Uh, the Mercedes did great. That rear wheel drive 2011 E350, it's a good smasher. Yeah. 
Yeah, that worked out real good. So, you know, that's where we'll drive. You find one of those things laying around, jump on them, you guys, because uh, they got good catalytic converters underneath it. They sell real good. And, you know, you figure out how to move a couple things. You know, it's like get the battery out of the way and the connections out of the way. It's like a lot of those batteries are buried in the trunk on those cars. And you got to extend the cables to get it out of there. I mean, it's, it's a simple task. It can be done. Mm -hmm. So, you know, don't ever be shy. If it runs and drives, wreck it. Right? Uh -huh. That's it. I remember I was with my friend JR, and he had a Chevy Cavalier or something, and he didn't know the batteries in the trunk. Boy, he was telling me up and down that how I didn't know anything about nothing. And I was like, I, you're probably right, but I'm going to tell you, I think it's in the trunk. It how, was. How about some of those uh, Chryslers where it's buried in the front left fender? Have you ever seen one of those? Uh -uh. You got to tear the whole inner fender apart to get at the battery, and it's buried in there. It's the dumbest thing in the world. I ain't ever seen it. It's like that engineer, I'd like to sit down and have a conversation with that fella. It's kind of like a, 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 a booking agent that books your flight, and they send you to three different places across the country. It's like they don't own a globe or a map to know where they're sending you to for connecting flights. Boo. <laughs> that was good heat. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we got uh, youth class next. Nope, we got one more. When we're going to do the Most Wanted Plus class? Yep, it should be the Most Wanted Plus class, and then it'll be the youth, then it'll be the Concy, then it is the two-man extreme, and then the feature. Wow. And, and I was Quite wrong. a bit of demotion derby left. I forgot that there was lights here. I was wrong. I was 100% yeah. wrong. Yeah, I was like, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I thought there was no lights here for, for, for whatever reason. So... But, uh, you know, all the great shout-outs to everybody and everything like that. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching at home and supporting us and uh, uh, allowing mm -hmm. us to do what we're doing. Um, you know, as we sit here, you know, don't forget to go on to Track Shot Live. Take a look at our schedule because we have, mm -hmm. the end of April here, we have Smashing for Skin coming up. That is April 27th. Right. Then we go into May. You know, you just watch Herm run that white van out there, and we will be going to Cinco de Mayo Smash, and that is right here in California also. So it's uh, we're Kansas back to California, and, and that's what it is. But you can see our entire schedule on our Track Shot page. Get on Facebook, get on TrackShotLive.com. You can see all of that stuff right there. Take a look at it and everything like that. And uh, let's not forget, we've got some awesome shows coming up that we are partnering with that uh, – uh, Ultimate Derby has hired us to be mm. part of their stuff, you know. We will be at Midwest Massacre in Pectonica, Illinois. If you do not know what Pectonica, Illinois is, it is the home of some of the OG original demolition derbies for derby icons. Um, Pectonica is known for the best place to have entertainment after the derby. The derbies cool. were great there, but the entertainment level was 100 times better. And uh, uh, Sam and family, they jumped up. They ran a show there last year. It went absolutely amazing for an outdoor show. The facility is great. And uh, they are coming back this year. And guess what? TSL is going to be right there with them. There's going to be a VIP tent where everybody gets the party. There's going to be camping like you ain't ever seen. I think we need to bring back the good old transmission toss that uh, Jacob Prusman and family did, 448 Design. Uh, there's going to be a lot of things going on. There's going to be smokers. There's going to be barbecues. There's going to uh, be yeah. you know, beverages to keep you hydrated, and it is going to be an entertainment level position. So please, you guys, get there. Take a look at that. That is the Midwest Massacre in Pectonic, Illinois, and that is on the 7th and 8th of June. Hey, thank you, my friend. All right, so we have the stock. Oh, this that's the kids. That is the kids' class. Perfect. So nice. we, we got that one. So that is in June, uh, June 6th or 7th and the 8th at uh, Midwest Massacre. And then let's not forget about the Dover Showdown in Ohio. Yes. You guys, car, that is. Car Club is going there in full force. Yeah, that is, that's going to be sweet. That is the 8th. So we are double dipping. That is actually going to be our live show for the 8th. That is Bill and everybody. That is the full broadcast. And then let's not forget Chaos in Clearwater. That is June 21 and 22 right there. You guys get online, take a look. There's some spots still open for some of that stuff. They got a raffle card. That there, again, is another place to go and have some great entertainment, uh, you know, before and after the event. Uh, afterwards, they had uh, a DJ there last year, and we were nice. ripping it up, having a great time. You know, some rain came through, and they got a beautiful building, a facility to get indoors, and everybody had great conversation and doing just doing the Demolition Derby family talk. Thanks, Dennis, for watching from Maine. 
That's pretty cool. Heck yeah, Mike Ticks. We got a lot of great Demolition Derby action coming this season from Trackshot Live. Again, thank you to the promoters and sponsors who make this all happen. Spring Extreme, Trackshot Live, bring Bill across America, set up all this lights and equipment, and, uh, you know, it's really cool. I love Demotion Derby. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And if you guys are taking a look at the bottom of the screen right there, those are the local promoter, the local sponsors here that have helped out locally to make this what it is. So please, like I said before, I don't want to sound like a broken record or anything like that, but please, 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 you guys, jump online, go on there, take a look at their Facebook page, their web page, anything that they have, and uh, send out a big shout-out to them saying, hey, thank you, we've seen you on TrackShot Live, and uh, thank you so much for the continued support of Demolition Derby and the Free 99 family. That's for certain. Uh, that's right. You're here with Michael Tix. I'm Jason Sauer. If you're just tuning in, this is Track Shot Live. We are a live stream Demolition Derby. Um, but we're going into more than Demolition Derby this weekend. Now, yeah. Tomorrow we're doing Tough Trucks. So we also broadcast alternative motorsports to you as well. Um, so tomorrow, mud bog racing, Tough Trucks with obstacles. Yes, with obstacles. You know, the best part about Track Shot Live is we are an exposure company. We want to give your company exposure. And what you're seeing here for free 99 is just the bonus of the exposure that we are giving these great sponsors and promoters. That's it. Here we go with the new schedule always being updated by our man Bill. You can see where we're going across. Uh, you know I will be number 13 going to Seattle up there in the Whatcom uh, Northwest Pacific Northwest Fair. Uh, you know I love the Seattle show. Oh, it, it's you couldn't beat Sour away with a broken stick love from that, that place. I mean, he is that is his. And uh, um, you guys, I will give you a guarantee: if you ever want to go and see something and get a, a, a tour of a city, grab Sour. He is the best tour guide you could ever imagine, and he goes out there and he will tell you everything about it. Um, for the people that know Jason Sauer but don't know Jason Sauer, this man was a professor. A professor. Uh, I mean, he is an educated person huh. in, in many different ways, and it just what he brings to the table is is so cool. Um, I've had the great privilege to – he came to my city, and he gave me a tour of my city, okay? <laughs> he knew more about my community that I grew up in in the Twin Cities than I ever have, and I've been there for four. I'm a going. I'm, I'm nicking on 50 years, you know. It's like, uh, and, and, and Jason comes <laughs> and tells me all about my city, and I'm like, um, yeah, no, I didn't know any of that existed, so I yeah. greatly appreciate that. Then you go to Pittsburgh to his hometown, and the the, the tour is amazing there also. So uh, yeah. jump on board, have fun with it. You know what? I take you up to Mount Washington for the photos, and then I take you to Goose Keys where the rest of us washed up rock stars go. Oh, but uh, but everybody's here's watching because of Demolition Derby. Right. Demolition Derby right. brought us here, my man. You know what I mean? We had. I believe the numbers were great. Uh, we had a twenty, near 20,000 session, near 15,000 session uh, of our socials this afternoon. Um, they banged out really well. Thank you, everyone God. who text messaged me to let me know how well the socials went yeah. this afternoon. Uh, thanks for everyone who's watching and caring about how Demotion Derby is. You know, the trajectory is going up. You know what I mean? So we're, we're trying to create new things on the socials. Um, I'm at Most Wanted Fine Art on TikTok and on Instagram and on Twitch and on Twitter, but I barely use any of those. But Instagram and TikTok I use quite a bit. Michael Tix uses Facebook Live. He is a master of Facebook Live. He gets people real energized. I, no, I actually am horrible at the social media stuff, you guys. You guys are the ones that tell me just enough to be dangerous and dumb. So, uh, but no, we're having fun with that stuff and everything like that. I'm trying to get better at it. Uh, you can watch my my crazy dumb stuff that I do at TikTok, and uh, and then just Mike Ticks on Facebook. And you guys, please, uh, we love your comments and everything like that. Uh, we don't pick favorites for shout outs or anything like that. We just grab it and we shout it out and and everything like that. Uh, so, uh, reality of it is, we try to keep up on it. And Sour is way better at that than than uh, I am, you know, keeping up on that stuff. But you guys, reality of it is. Uh, we're always trying to keep doing better things. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm a couple people short of 30,000 on TikTok. So if uh, most want to find out on TikTok, if you get a chance to go ahead and 
Oh, like, here we like go. That. Uh, how, how did this happen right here? All right. All right, Christina Weebel from Florida. Sorry you've never got a shout out before. You keep watching. We absolutely love it. Um, you know, we like I say, it, it blends in and everything like that. But thank you so much for being a continued follower and, and uh, giving us the love and the support. So thank you so much, Christina. <laughs> That's, and how, how, how do we talk about that? And all of a sudden, there's right there's one. So, you know, we're super sorry about that. But Well, we uh, do our best to give the shout-outs. You know yeah. what I mean? We, we know there's a lot of you watching. There's a lot of you that are fans. Um, and uh, we care deeply about all that. And I uh, appreciate that. Decker used to yell at me for giving shout-outs nonstop. I would just read the entire list. He's like, stop it, Tara. They'll just keep sending you messages. Yeah. Well, we appreciate it. It, does, it, it. They are very heartfelt. I mean, you know, we leave our families and stuff like that to come do this, to spend time with our, our, our second families, our Derby family. And that's that's just one of the awesome things. So we, we greatly appreciate it. Yeah, it really is fun. I love Demotion Derby. I love that Demotion Derby has taken me places. Uh, I hung out all last week with Casey Smith at Smith Metalworks. Um, him and I grew up together in high school. You know, this broken front tooth of mine, is from him hitting me with a pacer while I was driving a 75 Lincoln. Um, so it, this sport runs deep, and it goes a long time. And I, I'm very thankful to the people around me and uh, everyone else. Um, so, again, the Demotion Derby Expo is happening right now in Ohio. And the other track shot guys are there, Fatty, Robbie, um, Anthony. You know, they're, they're holding it down. Micah's helping out on the... Track shot live uh, comment section on uh, in the YouTube. If you see my son Rowdy in the YouTube, say hi to my son Rowdy in the YouTube. He occasionally will uh, jump in there and help us out. But Michael Tix, I think we're about halfway through with our day. I think we got probably what five more heats, six more heats, four, four more heats. Eh, 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 yeah, yeah, eh, yeah. Eh. Okay. That should be four more. Yeah. That's beautiful. Jill Lancaster's watching. Jill, uh, and uh, uh, yes, the California sun gets to us real quick out here. So thank you so much for watching. Wish you guys were here. All right, youth, youth class is coming up. I'm going to go ahead and turn up our announcer. First coming out on the track is the number seven S. You want to, what, Scotty oh, Williams. Right, written down, okay. And the number 42, Georgia Stowe. And the number 21, Caden DePew. And the number four, Mason Miller. Yeah. And the 66 M, Marshall Tucker. Marshall Tucker. And the number two, Caitlin Wilson. Yeah, Caitlin. And the number 07, D, LJ Daly. And the number 31, D, Danica Wilkerson. And the number 13, Ryder Covington. And the number 55, Mason Ferreira, pull it! All right, you just heard the announcer, in-house announcer, describe all the drivers. This is beautiful. Going to Pennsylvania to the Youth National Championship qualifier right here in Yuba City, Northern California. Spring Extreme, this is the future of Demolition Derby right here. Where is she at? She's been waiting all day for this. There's a lady in the stands who wanted me. Look at all the parents in the stands. They Michael are. takes my heart to my chest. Yeah, they're on like, the I feel like looking. I'm at a recital. Yes. <laughs> like, there's so many parents in the stands standing taking photographs. Like, I really am. Like, there's like grown people right right now, Mike. Look at this. Look at the eyes on these kids from that camera shot that Bill's getting with that drone. Thank you so much to all of our highlighted sponsors to give us that ability to be able to bring that right to you. We got that a, is close and up and personal. We got a dad beside us with his pouty lip out. Yeah. Like it really is 
Like, this is a lot of emotion for the families in the stands right now. Oh, I wish all these young drivers the best. Yes, please be safe and good luck and have fun. And the countdown Three, is right here. Two, one, let's derby. There it is, wreck these cars. All right, come on. A little slick from them watering it down from the most wanted class, but that's fine. Keep them safe. Mason coming in, early shot. Here comes Marshall Tucker, the head of steam. Caitlin coming in, making her first hit. Nice shot. Caitlin taking that shot to the back of that Cadillac. The number four of Mason Miller is on that front wheel. You see right. that in the high track shot right there. Right. There they go, they're trying to work their way out of there. We're trying to get Scotty Williams out of his spot here. Come on, Scotty. All right, refires up. Let's go, find some reverse. Uh, we're still stuck in drive. The car's battling. It's going to transmission battle. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, there he goes. Scotty found reverse. Yeah! Here we go. Get on out of there, Scotty. Nice. Yes! Nice. Seven S Scotty Wilson got out of there. You got the number two sitting right there in front Whoa, of Caitlin us. Oh, Caitlin just receiving in from Danica. Danica refires. Yeah. Super good wheel shot on the right hand side of your screen. Here comes Mason coming out of the shot. In that square body Ford, looking real beautiful, red and gold paint job. Looks just like 49ers. <laughs> Look how much fun they're having, Michael. Daily looking good. Scotty Williams on the top side of your screen, putting it in. Danica got the 31 coming across the face. All right, Daly refires. Got that Cadillac coming around. Let's go. That's 07D of LJ Daly right there doing some action. The 55 of Mason coming in, hitting that uh, front wheel of Marshall Tucker. Marshall Tucker coming on the bottom side of your screen, coming on in there. Oh! Wow, the right side of your screen, you see that big shot on the 13 into the front of the four? 55 of Mason Miller there coming across the top side, looking for someone. Oh, wow. Ooh, ooh, tough, tough drivers tough there on that right there, side. Yeah. You guys seen on the middle of your screen. Yeah, and then got him hung up right on the tire, too. Yeah. It stalled him right out. Boy, you know what? After looking at that 21, that really wasn't a driver's door shot. They were up in front of it a bit. Wow. Completely spun him out. <laughs> wow, another great shot by uh, Danica. Danica. Top side of your screen, Wilson and uh, 55, Marshall going at it. Covington in the Flames car. Looking for some grip. Come on, Covington. Right there, Mason Farrell came right into the backside of uh, the number two of Caitlin. Yeah. Let's see where that Cadillac is. 
Oh, right well, still looks good. Oh, it's going up. That's good. That Cadillac still looks good in the front and back. D7 or 07D, LJ Daly coming across. Look at that shot you see coming to it. The number two comes in, the 55's right in there, sharing up some action, comes popping out of there into some clean air to the left side of your screen. Mason coming around, front end still holding strong. Where's he going? Right in, Caitlin. Nice wheel shot, Mason. There he goes. Getting a little, Caitlin's getting a little bit of coach by dad coming into your screen. Wow, nice what a good actual shot. shot on the number 13 of Ryder Covington. Ryder's having a hard time finding traction. Yeah, Ryder is, I, I see him struggling there. That's right there in the center of the screen. Ryder's driving the number 13 to seven. That's a Williams cutter, 17 coming up on the top side. And the number two coming out into the clean air. She squared up. Where's that bumper gonna go? Kaylin's coming across the track. Uh, Danica's left front tire is busted. What's that, a tie rod? What's oh, that Oh, what a shot right there. Good one. Caitlin run right into Daly. Yep. Danica, the, the number 31 of Danica, she has lost steering. She's got everything broken up front there. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Her left front, it's got that part. What's that, a tie rod? Yeah. Needs a new cannonball tie rod on this car. That Joya Stowe still doing good right here in the purple black car. Uh oh, coming in hot! Yo! Oh. Oh. The 070 nice. and Daly got that one. Yeah, took it. I got the hood off. They're looking literally through the hood. Yeah. The hood is over the roof. Caitlin Wilson, she's driving good. The 31 of Danica is doing great with no steering. She's on the gas, just pounding that thing through. Let's not forget, we've got the number, what is that one there? <coughs> 42? Yeah, down the number bottom, so. Who is it? So. Or yeah, so. Right? Yeah. The number 31 of Danica just power shifting there, just struggling that steering, but she is not giving up. But I'll tell you what, no wow. loss isn't giving up. The 07 D a daily front end is sky high on that. The, oh yeah. my goodness, Kaylin comes across and grabs the, the front whole, end of that thing. Everybody's the whole front flip is off that car. They got the radiator as tall as the hood. You know, they have that. That 07 is right on that passenger door of, this, of the 42 of snow. Or snow. Blowing a little hot steam right in that car. Oh, very smart decision by Caitlin Wilson to eliminate that shot right there and drive through it on the stove. 31 of Danica puts her right there. Jumps her into the corner. There it is. Let's see if that's enough to get the 31 of Danica up. Number yeah. two. She's Make got her it. They got motor. Danica gets right out of there. She's coming around the back side to the clean side of the track. Going to have to fight to get into that fight. She needs to make a hit. She's on the clock. We are in the top four left of the youth class going to the qualifier for the new national championships right here in Yuba City, Northern California. Look at that. Daly's car, the pulley is just all the way out. The bottom of the motor is literally hanging on that account. That's cool. I like it when they bend like that, Michael. And there goes the radiator on the Daly. You wouldn't know. They're driving blind right here, but they are not giving up. 31 of Danica gets back into the action right there. 42 of Stowe. The number two of Caitlin Wilson. She's oh, Daly, Daly stalls. They refire. Fired back up. 
I think the number two is fighting some steering. Yeah, I think no, it's, been, it's been a while now. But she's coming full strength. Here comes Caitlin. Daly not in a very good spot. Huge fire coming out of the headers for him. Daly, they refired again. Wow. Daly got a little bit of lick in there. There's enough of a contact staying off the clock. The number two is coming around. She is definitely, oh, that steering opened up for her in the number two car for Caitlin. 31 of Danica, she is doing what she can. She's got one side steer. Wow, yeah, nice shot there to the right rear corner, left rear corner. Oh, Caitlin stalls after that shot. Refires. Oh, nose to nose. That's Mad Mike racing there with the stove. Oh, right nice into shot. the car. You just seen it. That has to nice be the finishing catch right shot. There. No, will it restart? Over. Will it restart? It restarts! Incredible! Oh, get out of that corner! Caitlin drove down into that corner. Get out of there, drive out of there. The 07 Dia Daily, he's back in it. They're going, he makes a hit. 31 of Danica's getting a little bit stuck there. Oh, there you go. Look at that front end shot. Take it! Take it! Do oh. it! Oh! Took wow. it! Wow! On the receiving end of that one. Her car really folded on that shot. Yes, it did. Boy, Managed you got to it. keep the front clean for so long, and in one shot, just stood it right up. You have to give a round of applause for these kids. They are putting action on like you haven't seen. This is absolutely wonderful. This is the future right, they of might have finally, Derby. Daly might have finally stalled. You can see it. There, you can see the fire started in the pipes. But only one cylinder is on fire, only one stack. Uh-oh, I hear a transmission dying on us. Is that a transmission dying? Is that a, yeah. Is that what I hear dying? Yeah. I think that's Danica's. Ah, uh, the number two got the hit on that one. I think we're down to two. They're still trying to fart. start dailies. There's a fire. And dailies. Oh! Nice oh. shot right there. Nice mutual took, shot. Took the goggles right off her helmet. We have the number 31 of Danica Wilkerson and the number two of Caitlin Wilson. Uh-oh, stalled. Uh-oh, 31 of Danica, stalled. Uh-oh. They both have stalling issues now. Uh-oh. All right. Caitlin versus Danica. Danica stalled. Caitlin. Finishing shot, nose to nose. Oh, look at All that. The, the caddy lifted the 03 of Danica. Nice. Number yeah. two right there. Yeah, Caitlin Wilson's it. got the last hit. Danica refires. There we go, crowd, cheer them on at home. Here, local, do it up. What a finishing wow, shot, look at is. that. That's beautiful.
Oh! Yeah! Ah. Listen to that crowd, wow. you guys. Is this going to be a back-to-back -back win for Caitlin Wilson? Wow, what a youth. It is youth unofficial class. right now. It is unofficial. We are waiting for they're, the officials. They're both starting to start. They're, both, they're still trying to start. And there it is. There it is. What a great, wow. what a great show five. that was. That Hell was yeah. Sweet. Way to go, Hell kids. Hell yes. I'll that tell you beautiful. what, so Caitlin Wilson was the young gal that we had on here earlier at the start of the show. She was the winner of it last year. She went out to PA, and uh, there you go, another time. Two years in a row, Track Shot Live will be giving her $200 to help for the fuel cost. Yep. She's hot. She is. That is throttle stuck wide open, and they're stuck forward, so... What a great run that was. You guys at home, please give a round of applause for these yes, kids because they deserve it. Yes, that was everybody. absolutely great. All right. What's Bill got coming up here? Bill's got something for you. Replay. Right into those replays. Good Thank you job, so much, Bill. Bill, for being on top of that. There you go. The kids love it. High five. Yes. Congratulations. Yeah, Mama's happy as heck. Mama's that. happy. She's on the... Yes. There it is. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> so proud, Michael. Yeah. I'm so proud. Oh, that's so yes. great. Congratulations. That's, that's the way it's supposed to be. Look at that. All the kids out there loving and enjoying it. That is right there. That's that right. is where it is. You can, you can re watch that on Track Shot Live. Bill will have that re-up for you tonight. You're going to be able to re-watch this again over and over again. You can watch Caitlin come out of here against Danica and go 1-2 with Marshall Tucker out here, fan favorite. All these kids Yeah, doing Mar so Marshall good. Tucker had a little bummer of luck down on that bottom side of that track, but you know so, what? Right there it is. Gray Area Derby Parts bringing you the youth class live action. Thank you so much for being a continued sponsor, Gray Area Derby Parts. Oh, Please get out there and take a look at what they got going on. They have got an abundance of derby parts and anything and everything you could ask for. It's right there for you. Uh, did you enjoy that, Track Shot Live World? If you did, please leave a comment. Please, for the kids, give a shout out to the kids. Say shout out to the kids. Yeah. Right there on the Track Shot Live comment section. Let the kids know that they're loved when they go back and watch this. Shout out your favorite youth national driver. That's wonderful. Um, that makes me feel good. Makes me feel good like listening to the national anthem. You know what I mean, Michael? It's yeah. just something beautiful. Um, something uniquely North American about Demolition Derby. Mexico, Canada, America, USA. North America loves Demolition Derby, and it comes together for it. And uh, it'll come together again October 3rd weekend. There's going to be three Demolition Derbies, probably more than that that day. There's going to be the Bristol, the highest of levels of Demolition Derby. There's going to be the Youth National Championships with Frankie Guy and Hardcore Promotion. And, of course, Track Shot Live will be giving you free Demolition Derby at San Filippo. So that weekend in October is gonna bring so much great demolition derby. So you might see some of these youth drivers that you saw right here, uh, right there in Dunbar, PA with hardcore doing some demolition derby. Or you might watch the demo uh, demolition derby group put on their Bristol event. Uh, maybe my friend Todd will be having his Iron City TV promoting the and doing the youth um, class, but Track Shot Live will be at San Filippo with Josh Decker, Johnny Gully, Gully and Spinning Wheels uh, bringing you again more Demolition Derby. Uh, so we have great stuff happening this year. Uh, there's more than just one Demolition Derby a weekend in, in America and Canada. They're all over. So if you find Demolition Derby unique, you go to your local Facebook page and on your Facebook page there, uh, search Demotion Derby. 
and you might find a demolition derby that you want to compete in. Uh, you can get started in the most one of fine art class with demolition derby, but if you know more about it, you can keep building and growing. And uh, heck yeah, you did so well out there. How do you feel? I did kind of good. I mean, I was, I guess, the first loser, but. It well, was hang, fun. hang on, hang on. Hey, a second. That, was, that was fun. He sits down and introduce yourself first, Herm. Let them know who you are and what you are, man. Uh, my name is Herman Prock. I'm uh, one of the three partners in Boss Hog Promotions. And we have a derby May 3rd in Los Banos, California. It's the uh, second annual Cinco de Mayo Smash. So that's what we were talking about, you guys. That is the next time we're going to be out here to California is uh, these guys have got together. They love the exposure and everything that TSL has brought to California. And they said, hey, we want you guys out here. They had some of the guys come out here. They had Fatty and Joey come out and do some inspecting for you guys last year. And you had Anthony out there doing a little bit of a quick photos and stuff like that. And it worked out really good for many different reasons. And uh, now this year, we are going to be live there. And you guys are going to see it live at home for free on TSL. Yeah, I mean, just the publicity and, and then it's, I mean, a little bit of a different build than this. So you're kind of getting a little bit of the stock build in California. And then we're allowing uh, bigger bumper brackets, frame repair, hump plates, anywhere in, trans brace. So, you know, a lot of these cars right here, if there's something still good left over here, you can add to it and they can come up to your guys' show. So that's really nice that with this stuff right here, it's they can add. They don't have to take away. And we're, it's a two-man team show. So really the first true two-man or team show in california so now you guys so. still have a couple openings for the team though don't you absolutely yeah so that's the thing you guys jump on in take a look at it i mean you know you heard it right here these guys are doing first time things right here in california you know they're expanding and broadening the horizon in california i mean west coast derby is awesome but i mean you're bringing the, new, the some new stuff to the sport so that people here in california can see what the rest of the country is already doing and then we're doing the mwfa class which i picked up the uh top three awards today nice uh so how can if they want to run your show and they want to read your rules where can they find them um you can go to on uh facebook boss, boss hog promotions or if you uh reach out to myself or uh my other partner is dale nelson and then my wife she does all the uh legality and all the paperwork and dotting the i's and crossing the t's She's truly the one that keeps it all organized. These guys just try to look professional, and uh, I mean, I, I totally get it. I know what it's all about. She came up here and watched today, and then we're going to go rodeo tomorrow. So nice. that's, that's, a, that's a two-way street for you guys. I mean, she's uh, she's got the horses and, and does all that stuff, and you get to get out. and uh, but, but the thing of it is, you haven't been in a car for quite a while, Herm. It's been four years. So what was it like jumping in an MWFA, man? Well... So ultimately that car was for a fundraiser for uh, Dylan Peterson's, the BMX club that he's involved with with his kid and his bikes. So I donated some money, I ended up winning it. And I was like, oh cool, I'll go up there and do it. And I was actually pretty darn nervous. I was like, yeah. And then the first one, first hit and hey, those minivans are pretty amazing. Yes. You had a good vehicle to beat. It was, uh, and then he, the, uh, the ignition locked up so the steering didn't, had no steering. And then when it died, I couldn't restart it. Mm. But it yeah. was fun. Yeah, it, it happens. Was... You learn a lot about those cars. You know, you learn like, oh, man. But you had a good minivan to beat. The paint job looked sweet. Uh, you know, you're, uh, we had your artist on here earlier. Yeah, he did the, uh, it was already painted when I got it, and then he did the Cinco de Mayo on the back for me. Mm -hmm. He was over there. I guess uh, Dylan Peterson, which was on the one with the uh, the, the, Mer the Beat Eagle, mm -hmm. uh, they're good friends, so. But, yeah, yeah it's uh, quite interesting. You see it on TV, especially back east, and uh, everybody says the PT Cruisers or those HHRs or whatever, but I, I think I take a minivan. I like the size. Yes. The well, horn work, too. The horn work, the radio work. Was that you yeah. with the horn the whole time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm, uh, I'm annoying in more than one way. Nice. <laughs> ne yeah, next time leave the windshield and windshield wipers and just go ahead and let them fling into the stands. <laughs> with, with, uh, with, with all the mud, I would have needed uh, the windshield wiper, uh, the, the fluids. Fluid. So yeah. Water. Yeah, you've been. Yeah, that would not worked well today. No, it was. Uh, well, you look good out there. Uh, you were getting pounded on by that uh, Dakota. It was. <laughs> I found your number a few times. 
Wow. Well, that's pretty good. You know, the funny thing is, is like, all right, so you've, you've wrecked all kinds of big cars and everything like that. So now you jumped into this MWFA class. I want you to tell all the veteran drivers out there and everything. I mean, the smile on your face should tell enough of it. But, I mean, you know, um, I don't think there's anybody too good to get in one of these cars, are there? So probably, other than tonight, the most fun was the very first time I did a derby, which was in a 79 Cadillac. But here... Obviously, I didn't have to even have to build it. I didn't have to haul it here. Didn't have to put it on a trailer or anything. Nice. But if it blew up, I didn't. I was trying to blow it up and never blew up. And then he had a fancy little exhaust on there, and it sounded good. But no, it was it was uh, no stress. I wasn't worried about if it blew up. If it was a five thousand, ten thousand dollar motor, it's fun trying to blow them up. I yeah. really try to blow up the motor. I think it's fun. Just bam, 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 bam. <laughs> and he was sitting there. The tire. I didn't. I thought the tire was uh, just smoking, but I guess it was off. And I, yeah. I just still didn't blow up. Yeah, she got shrapnel pretty hard there. And, and uh, all of a sudden, you know, that other wheel locked up and started working for you good. And you got around. I thought you were pretty much done in the middle of the track there for a minute. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there comes her. I mean, I, I counted you Yeah, I think you, you had buddy. to spit the tire or something. Is that what happened? I don't. I have no clue what happened. And then uh, they were they would drive in front of me. And I'm like, all right. And, I, you know, I watch all these. You don't want to use the front of those minivans if you don't have to. But I'm like, you know, I got to get my minute. Yeah. But the uh, back of the minivan, when you're looking b oh. back out of a minivan and you're like, this is longer than a station wagon. There's like a good 30 feet before. And you have to learn to drive backwards again. Right, exactly. Oversteering is always the problem. Uh, I hadn't been in a front wheel drive vehicle for a long time. And uh, all of a sudden I got in one out in New York. And I mean, it took me a, it took me a hot minute to figure out. It's like uh, how to do it again. So it was, mm -hmm. it was kind of pure craziness. I see how much water they're putting on there. And I drove in and it started sliding. I'm like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to be quick enough hands. <laughs> Nothing but elbows in there. Got to go back to the shuffle steering. <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> hey, I got I got one. I got to give a shout-out to Brian Collins and his kids out there. You know, little B and Caden from PA. Yo. You guys, hey, thanks for thanks Yo. for sharing. You that's, know. My, that's my crew right there. Yeah, that's uh, totally appreciate it, you guys. That's Thank you so much for watching. And I think uh, I got a text from Dale. I think he was watching, and he... He has twin boys, Dale and Jax, and they were wondering about this youth class. Do you know the exact age of the youth class or youth class? I think it is. I think somebody said 13, 12 or 13, I think. I thought it was um, 12 to 15 or something. Yeah. His, his kids are getting to be about that age. Well, and, and, and you know what? Don't waste your time. Get out there. Get get a car built. Get some wheel time. Go find a ditch to go beat it through. Oh, he has twins. And, He's going to have to build two cars. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> yeah. Just jump right up to the two-person extreme. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a build one car. Is, Oh, no, you got the Concy next, right? Or the two-man? Uh, no, the, we got the plus. Okay, we got the, yeah, yeah, we got we the got plus. Then the, the most wanted plus class. Uh, I think there's only five cars, so they should tear each other up quick. I think I think they're running the Concy first, though. I think they're running the Concy. That looks would make third. sense. That way you have more time to repair. Absolutely. Uh, you know what? I don't know. There's actually, I'm looking across there. I see Durango sitting over well, there. Well, I mean, unless, they're, unless they need more repair time to get to the Concy. Yeah. Which I don't one, know. I which mean, one do you do? Do you give more repair time to get to the Concy? Probably, right? I, I I mean, I guess it's 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 You're, a flip You guys piece. are promoters. Half one, a dozen, another. Yeah. I mean, anybody that's working on a car is going to want more time. Yeah, right. But you, you also know. need time to get to the feature Absolutely. if out of the Concy, because what are you going to do? Just leave your car out there. Right? I think, I think uh, we're going to do the Plus, and I, I, I think the Durango was from the other, the standard MWFA. Uh, yeah, they uh, took a little more liberty with the build, and rather than send them home, he's like, I appreciate that you came and you brought all your family and stuff, and we'll make a little something for you. So Tix and I went out this morning and went back to the original days, back when Toast Promotion was first started with the Iron City guys, and um, we were making cups and tumblers for our trophies back in the day. And uh, so we went back, got the big lots, uh, avoided some chickens in the parking lot, and uh, created some trophy cups. But Mike Tix didn't want just a cup because he's like, we should go big and buy the absolute biggest 40-ounce mug there is on there. Yeah, when you get it, you'll have to put the stickers back on. We made them pretty. It's almost like a stein. Does it come mm -hmm. full? Did you fill it up or no? Uh, hey. uh, it did, but hey. Mike drank them all. I, oh. I, I was thirsty. I Water. was thirsty. Water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Agua. It's jokes. <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, I have no idea. I've never taken the lids off, so there could be anything in there. I was say one of them's got a million dollars in it. Yeah. Well, that'd be cool. <laughs> Didn't say it's real American money. Exactly. 
<laughs> exactly. It's conversation piece. How long you been promoting? Uh, we started last year. Last year was the first year we did it. Um, been around derbies for years, and then uh, Dale and I are best friends. He was the best man at my wedding. Uh, we always said that we could, you know, you see it happening, you think you can do it better. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and again, the wife said, well, if you guys are going to open your mouth and, and do this, then you guys need to do it and show. And uh, I'm not saying we're doing it better. It's a learning curve. It's a lot of work. It takes a lot. It takes an army. Well, it does. It, 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 it's not it, the, the people that stand in front that everybody see get all the credit. <laughs> There's twice as many behind the scenes to make it all real. Um, and that's, that's the thing, that those are the people that are always – forgotten and they are the most important ones a lot of times and last year i got to meet uh the actual the fair promoter and we had a pretty good bond we ended up, ended up knowing some people in common but uh so he gave me a chance or gave us a chance last year and he ended up actually just uh he passed away i think a couple month or two months ago so hopefully this this uh cinco de mayo smash on may 3rd is going to be a heck of a show for him since he's above watching us mm. wow well bobby yeah, he was uh, like in his mid fifties, which is crazy. Oh wow, that's yeah. young as heck! Wow. So, uh, what do you guys think of this two man extreme that's Blaine brought to California? Uh, uh, it, you know, we've seen it, we've seen it uh, all over the place and everything like that. But what what I really like about it is all these guys that have seen it maybe at other shows and now it's the first time that they get a chance to compete in it. The personal excitement that those guys are carrying is awesome. It is. I. I make it the equivalent to like trucks. It's pretty intense because when your only job is to hold the gas, you know, you're going to do your job. My job is to hold the gas. Right. And the interesting thing is you got a lot of veteran drivers in it, so they're take a lot of control is going to be taken away from them. So Well, you know what I really liked was there's a lot of veteran drivers that, you know, have switched up like you know, there's some, some kids running together. There's some best friends running together. There's, you know, I, I mean, it's just the, the unique diversity of it is, is really cool. And, uh, you know, there's uh, there's one guy out there. Uh, the one guy's never derbied before. This is his introductory to derby. And the other guy's only derbied like four times. So it's like, what a way to break it in. Because I personally think this thing's going to get wild. It's going to get wild and crazy like they always do. Uh, I, I think it's going to be straight off the hook. Hey, you have a couple of father sons too out there. Did you? Oh yeah. Does yeah, your van right. still work? You um, should go out there and battle. I don't think right you can. Now, you can uh, I'm you not uh, so savvy to, to get the ignition figured out, but the horn in the radio still worked. Uh, yeah, because I think if you drove off the track in the most wanted class, you should be able to go ahead and just jump right in here and get back in it, right? Oh, I I, I would. Because if so. you're competing against the other ones, who cares? Oh, they're, the yeah, they're overbuilt. He he uh. I don't think he had a spare wheel, and uh, he loaded it up and took it home. Oh, he wasn't wasting any time. He's saving it for your show. Yeah, isn't he's saving he? it for himself. Yeah, there it is. We got you guys can't see, but we got Blaine Williams in front of us right now. You know, we started the day with no gray hair, and uh, yeah, he's got gray hair popping out. So. Yeah, it looks a little stressed out. Yeah, uh, it's you know, it's it, we've all been in that position as a promoter and everything like that. And it's keeping thing every everything organized and moving fast. I mean, and you got to give these guys a ton of credit with how fast they've cleared this track and kept this show going. So that is uh, that that is so awesome when when you see it stuff like that. So we're, because we're down to just plus Concy and feature. Yeah, and, no and two, two man, man. Two, two man. man. All right, but we have four more interesting, awesome blast off heats left that you're watching here on Track Show. How about the track? Like the compared to you know what it was before. That's awesome. Oh. Yeah, the track is, Solid. is perfect. I yes, mean, it is. You know, if you remember last year, we had a hole in the middle of it that got that got bad. And, uh, oh, my God, what's the excavation company up there? I Williams can't. Enterprises? No, the excavator. Heavy the, Handyman. The, yeah, Heavy Handyman. Um, you know, those right guys. Oh, no, yeah, hey, right there in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> if you but, want uh, me to read it to you, I can. Yeah, I can't <laughs> read that from here. But anyways, the Heavy, heavy, heavy Handyman. Is uh, was the one that was doing all that stuff, and they they've been working on that track doing it. All right, perfect. So who ended up winning the uh, the youth? Uh, Caitlin Wilson. Caitlin back Wilson. to back, she back won it last back. year. Yeah, that was that was pretty awesome. Um, yeah, that was it's unbelievable. I mean, and she like drove hard. Metric caddy or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 80s, um, 80s caddy. You know that that 31 of <laughs> uh, of Danica. 
Um, you know, that was a 03 and newer car right there that was used, and you know, that, that was a tough car to beat, 03 front end stock steering, but it had the rear end of that car 90 folded in perfect, and the back bumper grabbing all that tin. It was, uh, it was a dirty battle ram in the back side. Tough to beat, but you know, that 03 lost steering, and she fought that thing, and, and uh, she had to use a lot of motor to get that thing around, so she was hot, and once she put her up for that kill shot over there and, and killed, it was, uh, the writing was on the wall, the, the, the W was there. Yeah, that was, it was a good derby. We had a number of great heats here in Yuba City. They've done nothing, like, everything seems really fair. The inspection looks like I didn't see any cars that looked at out of the ordinary. Like, you know what I mean? I feel, I feel like Blaine Williams has a really oh. great show going on here. Yeah, yeah. That, that's not, let's give a huge shout out to LJ Daly in the 07D car that was out there in the youth class. That kid stood that thing straight up. He was hitting with the pulley. He was not giving up. He wanted that W so bad. And, and uh, for a young, a young man, uh, wheeled the living crap out of that car. Congratulations. You are a great wheelman, and you are only going to get better as you go on. So once again, the 070 of LJ Daly. Congratulations on that run. That's exactly how his dad drives. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's perfect. And I don't know if he had his dad's motor in there or not, but his dad, his dad will let us sing. Really? Yeah, well, well, father like son, that fruit didn't fall from the tree. I, I'll, congratulations. Uh, you are going to be an entertainer for a long time to come, and uh, that is what our Demolition Derby sport and family needs. Yes. More of that, please. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a full plate. That was that was so good to watch. Uh, I, I mean, I was on the edge of my seat during that youth class. I'm like sitting oh, there, and, you know, it's like stuff. Yeah, as a father myself and my son derbies a little bit, it's like you're just on the edge and you're watching these kids, and it's just like you, you just you know, it's like I'm pr I'm so proud for other other families' kids with seeing what they're doing. So you know, congratulations. I mean, with everything that's going on in this world, what's more accomplishment than doing that? Right. You know. Right. And especially if it's a father-son in there and you're driving with your kid, I mean. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Oh, this is the uh, plus. plus. I'm waiting on our announcer. Our our barrel or tires are in. We've got the we got the names over here of who's all coming out. It's going to be kind of hard to see the numbers coming across, but we'll listen to our announcer up there that's doing some great assistant work with us. And they called him in last minute. The announcer uh, had to personal and then so this guy came in really from the bullpen oh, i didn't hear that it's yeah. not, that's not an easy job either no no it's not yeah and, and you know what you get some of these spanish names and stuff they count <laughs> me out 110 i mean unless it's jose i know jose other than that i'm out on the rest exactly. of them you know it's like dang or juan it. juan's pretty easy. Yeah, yeah but they're right <laughs> but i know but i've never seen a w you know all right let's go yeah, anything more than three or four letters, yep, it's hard yep. for me to say. <laughs> oh, wonder, wow, there's, wonder what they built extra. Oh, spray foam, see it from here. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. All right, we're going to pull that one out at 88. Molly Allen pulling yeah, out there. That's a great paint band. job. The 813 of, I uh, don't know that one. Don't have that, oh, nine, 93. 93. 93, right there. Uh, Steven Wollup. The 72, Casey, Casey Prill, number Cole, Mr. Cole Trickle. <laughs> oh, look, they are letting them come back in. The, the Mercedes number, is back. Oh, yeah, the number X75. Yeah, that thing was screaming. Uh, PJ Millsaps. Yeah, PJ. <laughs> I heard we got someone the, yelling from the yeah, stands. Yeah, we got the D1 of Blake Dunlop coming back out. The D4 of. Oh, they're letting them all come out. Yeah. Yeah, the 37, that orange one's the one that won. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we We're saw the S10 back here. We got the S10 coming one, two, back One, two, three, in. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. I love All it. Right. This yeah. class just keeps producing. Especially out here. It's, it's they didn't water it down, so this one's going to bang. Yeah. Especially those locked rear ends. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> this one's going to bang. I mean, Cole Trickle, he got some matched tires. You know, he's going to be good to go. Yeah, exactly. I, but I want him to hit the pace car. I want him to be perfect. <laughs> I, well, my heart's in my chest for the minivan. So please survive the square body ranger. That thing's not good luck, square body ranger. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
I thought that the, the Durangos would do pretty good, being a leaf spring and all that. Uh, they're just so heavy. Once a tire goes down, they're pretty dead in the water. But you get hit by one. Oh. You, know it. you, you feel it. The you Durangos it. put a lot of weight in behind the hit. You look at over here, the Granada took that Durango up to the dirt. You missed it on the left side of your screen there, yeah, you guys. pretty awesome, that Granada. Oh, that Mercedes still out there cooking. Yeah, he has a sunroof. Uh, the uh, Miniman just blew a left front tire. Oh! That Mercedes is pretty solid, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that Mercedes is real solid. And for having a transmission problem, it's doing great. Yes. That's why they... They had a $3,500 transmission problem, so they said they were done Ooh. with a 2011 E350. Yeah, strip it and bring it here. That's right. I feel like the S10 is already out. Yeah, culture. There it is. They're coming down to the far end of the track. Oh! Excitement. Wow, the Mercedes with a shot. Oh, nose to nose Durango Durango. That was an Explorer. Oh, that is an Explorer. Yeah, those are tough. Yeah, it is. Oh, Ryan Wood has an Explorer. Oh, the, the backs of the Explorers are pretty solid? Yeah, oh, they're like trailblazers. Backs, backs and front. Yeah, the Explorers are good. good. But if, like I said, you put a tire down, it just doesn't do anything. So it's a chance you take when you put a seven-seater SUV out there. But hey, who's the guy that won your show in the square? He won. He won this year, uh, last year here. Cool. That's uh, Casey Prill. He won here. In, uh, oh, nice. Uh, it, but it was the old timer. It was Prusman that won it at your show. Yep. Yeah, year one, Prusman won it in a square Caprice. Yes. The yeah. wagon. It's just cool, the variety of different... Oh, yes! Oh, That's what, what we came to see. We came to see that shot right there. Just packed the trunk all the way up in. Casey Pearl and Blake Dunlop meet in the middle, front to back. And, uh-oh, Pearl's looking like he might have some problems there. He's down there looking. Is he looking for his marbles, or is he looking for a reason to get her going again? I think he's looking for something. I think they shoved something out of the way. Might be looking for both. Yeah. If you ever get the opportunity to have a beverage with Casey and uh, have some conversation, you will laugh all night long. He Yo. is most definitely a unique and in interesting person. He has a uh, Pearl Mountain. He has a, uh, yeah, he's very. See what happens with the Durango? Oh, okay. Those, those aluminum front spindles just fall off. Spore hole is good, but the minivan with the shot. Molly Allen coming down there in the 88 minivan, just giving the womp and on that Dakota. Nice lady, shot. Lady driver, huh? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And paint, painter. She painted that. Oh, really? Yeah, pretty cool. It's got the... Uh, the run and the paint. Yeah, it's cool got drippy yeah. uh, calligraphy style. Uh-oh, here we go. Ooh. Yes! 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 If you're going to build it, bring it. Uh-oh, heads up. Put oh. your head up. Okay. <laughs> I was like, don't, like, right? You saw your head down. Like, please pick your head up. Please know that you're about to get yeah. shot. All right, minivan. The Explorer, I think, is cooked. And the one thing you see in this, you see him just having fun, waving people on. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, you get blasted. It's so much fun. All right, so that Durango it must have two down. It's really stuck. The Granada looking great, by the way. The purple Granada. Oh, oh. Here comes oh, the here comes the Explorer, refired. Oh. Gonna get some Granada, yes. Ooh, the Explorer let down again. The yeah. 2000 of Brent Lenahan. That's all right, this minivan's gonna do some damage. <laughs> Brett fires back up in the Explorer. Granada coming in for a kill shot. The 75 at PJ Millsaps in the Granada. The minivan's lining them up. Yeah. The mini, it's all the mini. It's the minivans to lose at this point. Oh, oh look at this Durango coming around. That's D1 oh. coming into there. Yes. Right on that shot. Yes. Oh. Do you want to Blake Dunlop? Yes, that's really Taking good. It to the front. Yeah, tire's still good on this. On this Durango. Yeah, that tire's minivan still looks full. good. Oh. Took that shot with pride, didn't even feel it. 
Mom's out here. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Here comes, yes. The, here comes the minivan. Uh-oh. Durango. Durango's I think he hurt his hand. He hurt his hand. His right hand. He's shaking off something. Must have had his thumb in the wheel during that last crash. You know that feeling. Yeah. yeah, get your thumb out of the wheel. Hey, rookie drivers, I know you didn't want to hear this, but be careful when you get hit. Let go of the steering wheel until you learn how to ride that steering wheel. Oh, the d one down. Oh! I'm telling you, the minivan. The grocery getter. Yeah, but this Explorer still got... That Explorer, the 2000 of Brett Lenahan, keeps stalling. Yeah. The 88 of Molly Allen coming in. She's got the run and driving. D1's trying to get his started. Yes. I'm telling you, you were in the car to beat. You had the minivan. Yeah. And it doesn't even look like there's much damage at all on the back of it. Oh, that's no, a Mazda. They don't. That's a Mazda, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a Mazda. She's driving around, and it's not a Sunday afternoon drive. It's, uh, let's I think it's even licensed and tagged. It got some plate on it yeah, still. Yeah, it does. Yeah. All right. What do you think of Granada? You think Granada came in second? Yes! Uh, maybe the Explorer. Explorer second. Granada third. And we have some movement from the 37. Yeah, what's Dakota moving for? Gene Must be just getting out of the way. He already won a first place. She's just out there. If you don't break your stick, she's going to keep licking yeah. you. You have choices. Break your stick or I'm going to hit you. Right. Yeah, you've been out for three minutes, but the uh, brake light still works. Yeah. I think she got groceries this morning in it. Nice. This is great. Our man Bill's loving this derby. <laughs> Looks so excited. Yes. And he's waving it on. She was looking at the uh, the orange one. She's like, "I'll hit you too." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I mean, that's what you get for driving with yeah. your sticks broke. And that is going to be that's nice. Awesome. There it Congrats. is. Congrats. I'm going to go give out some trophies to you, right? Absolutely unofficially, 88. Molly Allen, the mom van, is taking that one home. Congratulations on that. Um, I don't know where the, uh, the thanks one was. Oh, okay. Perfect, perfect. There it is. Now, those are neat. I mean, that's like throwing it together real quick, you know? Yeah, it's 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 a Just ton talent. of fun. Definitely a class that I believe is going to grow a lot in California. Oh, it, it, I, how can it not? How can it not? Right there, K-Pro Headers. Thank you so much for bringing us this one right here. Uh, great sponsor that stepped in this year, K-Pro Headers. Go online, take a look at what they got. They have got some amazing product out there. Um, yeah, it's they they build some of the sickest 4.6 headers for those uh, stock 4.6 Fords. Get online, take a look at them at K Pro Headers. They're pro they were probably on the youth car that was given away today, huh? At oh, the expo? Ab yeah, absolutely, they were, no doubt about it. You they talk had, about a cool thing to win right there. Yeah, oh, I I would have I, I would I would, I would have crapped myself if I would have won it. You know, and here's some young kid, you know, one of the one of the candidates uh, or cadets. Uh, you know, not only, you know, they got a they got a pretty cool little gift right there and is all they had to do was show up at the car and you could have won that thing. Twelve thousand dollar car. Uh, Robbie Critton done from Simple Solutions, built that car, lock, stock, and barrel with a bunch of other sponsored parts, you know, from great people like K Pro Headers and all that stuff. But I mean ninety nine percent of it was literally done by Simple Solutions, Robbie Critton done. Um, you know, so make sure you take a look at that. We are so privileged to have him to be part of the TSL family now. Uh, you know, he jumped on last year with us, started having fun with us, and he's like, I want to be part of the family. He does, uh, it's crazy what he does with those four sixes. He showed me when we were in South Dakota, and I was, I was amazed. Oh, uh, I ran one at Lynn, Kansas, and, uh, you know, he put one together. Mm -hmm. Put one together for me and everything like that. Brought it, built it. I mean, it was it was absolutely crazy. 
and that was that was just a crazy, crazy, um, effective build. Yeah. You know, so yeah, that's that's for sure. So Herm, once again, man, what uh, your show that's coming up? Where can people find out about it? And how can they get to be part of it? Because I mean, it's uh, it, it's California. It's only going to get better. Um, Boss Hog Promotions on Facebook, or you can find myself, Herman Proc. Um, biggest thing other than that, I'd like to say is that, you know, we have, uh, obviously you guys are helping us out, Track Shot is, with uh, Joey and Fatty are coming out, and they're going to tech for us, and then I believe Cannonball and maybe somebody else is going to come out. But also we have uh, Hotel Mission de Oro is uh, helping us with hotel rooms for you guys to stay at. They have an amazing facility, amazing restaurant, the kitchen at the Mission. And just amazing location, amazing facility for you guys to sit there, drink, water, adult beverages after time, and just have fun. Well, it, it, it's a great gathering spot. You know, it is an absolute great gathering spot, and that is what the best part about it is when you all get together and you travel and stuff like that. You know, we always take time to get together and, and uh, shoot the shoot the crap and, and get uh, get everything going. I mean, so that's uh, that's it's just a blast. I mean, we, we enjoy it because you guys make us feel like family when we come here. I was just gonna say that it's like we were talking earlier before everything started. Is you know, yeah, you guys come out and you guys broadcast this and everything, but everything's more it's more of a family. Everybody's so tight knit. Talk to each other on a regular basis. Get to know each other. If you have a question, anybody helps out. If you're having a bad day, I'm sure you can reach out to anybody on the group. It just shows how tight knit, and everybody's willing to do anything for anybody. Yeah, and that that is truly. I mean, that is truly exactly what it is. I mean, um, you need parts, you need help, you need a place to stay, you need a broken down trailer hall, you know, whatever. I mean, it's you make the phone call and you get it. Um, that's that's awesome. Just like these instant replays right here that Bill keeps catching with Sequoia, uh, you know what great what great li great live action brought back to you again and again and again. Like I say, huge shout out for that class for Cape Pearl Headers. Uh, we just can't thank all of our great sponsors enough to be able to you know give us the opportunity to come here and do this and give this awesome entertainment for free ninety nine to the family. Like as you said that you know people are willing to help out. When I went uh, when we were at Gold Rush, <laughs> sitting there talking to Robbie. And he's showing me uh, what is what he does with the motors and everything he's doing. He's like, you come out and I'll build your car. Yeah. And I'm like, that's just the coolest thing, just the opportunity of that. Yeah, and in, 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 uh, it's all the things that the, that everybody does together. And it's like, you know, when when you take somebody like Robbie and he's like, hey, I'll help you out, whatever, I don't mm -hmm. care. You know, it's like, you know, he's got a business. Okay, that's, that's how he feeds his family is, is that. But he's willing to do it for free to help out in certain areas and stuff like that. I mean, you know, it's like, you know, Herm, I mean, if somebody came to your guys' ranch and wanted a, a a cow, I mean, could you, I mean, unless if that family was starving, I know if that family was starving, you'd be like, take a beef. Absolutely. Here it is. You know, but I mean, you know, somebody that's, that, that you know, that's out there that's, you know, got a freezer full of meat and they just want to take a free cow from you. I mean. You know, I think that's one thing, not just like you guys at Track Shot. I believe in the derby world, people are that way willing to help out yeah you know and it's not just people going down here crashing cars i mean there's guys that i talk to on a regular basis all over the united states and so it's it's even though we don't know each other in person if you need to reach out they'll reach out to talk to you yeah it's just it's it's amazing how good of a group of people that build these cars that even if they don't build a car all the time and it's just family you know la yeah. familia yeah and that's that's exactly it that is exactly it. And, uh, you know, you know, like I said, you know, I, I mean, so, so Herm comes from, you know, farming, you know, they got farm, they got, you know, ranching and, and stuff like that. Yeah. They'll, they'll help the family out if you need it. But I mean, you know, it's like, you got these guys just, just bending over backwards, you know, um, with their careers and with their businesses. And it's like doing more and more and more just to see the sport, you know, expand, which is great because it's just going to keep more business rolling in and everything like that. But it's still, it takes dedication and, and, uh, um, you know give to take it to that position well last year when you guys came out and then i met you guys up at red bluff you guys gave some stuff away and i think cannonball gave a shifter away yeah and they, it was a young kid and the kid started crying because he needed it yeah and he was just saying how much he was gonna you know he was gonna go buy one and he didn't really have the ability to buy it but just to be able to give a, a shifter away to make one kid's day right exactly um, they him and uh i believe dave's machine shop and and uh I don't know, someone else, they, they brought a bunch of parts out. I think maybe Indy, Indy C&C. Yep, we had a bunch they, of Indy they stuff. They brought stuff. And, I mean, just to be able to give that away to the drivers, 
Last year, it's like, hey, you not, might break something, but here you go. Here's another part. Right. Um, right. I built a set of rims, and then uh, Josh Klein, he built a set of rims and gave away. So it's like if you know, you might not win some money, but you got a set of rims for your to get you to the next derby. Yep. And, and, you know, and that's kind of the thing. So it's, you know, the other thing that I want to say is, like, you got these youth coming into into the sport and everything like that. Um, I'm going to give 100% of the credit to this to Tori Schutte. We were at a Derby Icons banquet party, and uh, Tori Schutte told us, you know, we were sitting there with a bunch of, you know, a bunch of drivers, and, and uh, he, he stood up and he was, you know, thanking everybody, and he said, you know what? He goes, you know, we need to keep this sport alive, and this is 15-plus years ago probably. And he said, you know, if you have a used bumper, if he said, if you have a, uh, you know, a set of used tires, you know, rather than selling it for 50 bucks, if you don't need that 50 bucks to feed your family, he says, give it to a kid. Keep our sport alive. So, you know, that was something that Tori Schutte said years and years and years ago, and I've always remembered that. So if you can do something for the youth to help out, that's perfect. Like, look at Blaine Williams here with what he did last year with the youth. I mean, you know, he helped that kid down the road build a car, and, and, uh, you know, next thing you know, now we got a kid that's hooked. You know, we got another kid that is going to be part of Demolition Derby until, you know, he's our age. So Even you can go on top of the MWFAs. Like, if you aren't able to get all the, the shifter and the gas and brake pedal set up or a postal or anywhere in, you could buy, you could go to even do a junkyard. Some junkyards will give you the car. Right, You know, right. You, they'll take the cats off and, and uh, you get the car and they might be like, hey, just bring the car back when you're done. Yeah. And, and, you know, and that's kind of the whole situation with it. It's like, you know, don't be afraid to ask, you know, for help. Don't be afraid to ask for direction. Uh, you know, understand where everybody's going and, and, and what, what the sport can do for you. Um, you know, that's the, the sport has gotten where it is because of what everybody has done together as a whole. And the worst thing they're going to say is no if they do say a no. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, have given cars away and stuff like that. You just bring it back full of junk when you're done. And, you know, just remember what you uh, what you agreed to and everything like that. And, uh you know, just make sure you follow through with everything that's going on. So, yeah, you know, we are. You get you get a car from somebody, you scrap it, and then uh, throw everything in it and paint their name on the car and go have a good time. I think uh, next it's either going to be the Constellation or the Two Man Extreme. Thanks, Ticks. What's that? Ticks. Ticks. Nice. Yeah. Right. We're sitting nice here. Someone came up with a little nice kid and uh, we want to speak with Ticks and see if this was uh, track shot. And I believe now he's giving a sticker. There it is. Yeah. Hey, TSL stickers. Thanks for away. being a supporter, man. Thank you, my man. Make, well, make sure you tell your family to get online, like us, share, and follow. Well, you was gonna have TSL stickers all over. Yo, no doubt about it. No doubt they're gonna be like, who the heck is this TSL company, man? This is they're everywhere. They're tagging the world. Hey, didn't yeah. you say that, that uh, the chickens are protected here in Yuba? Yeah, they are. There's, uh, you know, we were told that last year that, that you know, well, actually two years ago because I was trying to get Decker to catch one. And then uh, somebody had somebody told us that, you know, yeah, you don't touch those things. They're protected. And, and uh, but, yeah, so we woke up this morning, and the next thing you know, a sour walks out. And I don't know if you've seen the picture yeah, on Facebook, but, you know, like I said, sour. It's a rooster out there. Yep, sour, sour was awoken by a little cock this morning. So, He's like, who's the bigger yeah, man? Yeah, and I, I wanted to see him spur him, you know. I wanted to see sour run like, uh, you know, he, he was helping uh, – jr come up the hill with his bicycle you know a couple days ago in, in in pittsburgh and i wanted to see that rooster chase him across the drive you know that would have been that would have been interesting you know let's give us a reason to talk you know the first year blaine had this i came up with dale and him and i were here and we had to go through the drive through to get some food before we came to the track and it was hard to order the chicken with the rooster was crowing so it's like <laughs> I, and i didn't know they were protected it's like what well, there's chickens everywhere well, so Sour and I are driving on the made road that cuts through uh, cuts through Yuba here, and here's this here's this chicken right on the side of the road. Two little babies, man, just little little inchers, man. And uh -huh. it's like it's like, hey, you should probably teach them to eat somewhere <laughs> else and on the main highway. You know, you ain't very smart, chickens. Well, they're like three little baby chicks just come do, 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 right across the street. <laughs> you, know how many, you know how many jokes they probably have here of why the chicken crossed the road? That's <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, is I was talking to my wife and I said. I, I, I go, hey, babe. I says, there's chicken crossing the road in front of us. She goes, why? I go, would you get to the other side? You know, and she's like, whatever, you're such a dink. And it's like, uh -huh. you, you opened it up for it. I'm sorry, exactly. sweetheart. You know, you're beautiful and blonde. I'll, it's I'll the trippiest thing ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful to see, you know. Yeah. Well, it's just unique. You don't see it everywhere. It's like, you know, I'll, I'll never forget we were down in uh, Florida. 
It was Florida. And they had this place. They had this town was full of peacocks. Really? You know, Those so, are cool. Yes. Yeah, so the next thing you know, it's like I'm sitting there. And uh, all of us, we're, we're sitting at a bar, actually. And uh, the water was right off to the other side. All of a sudden, here comes this big-ass peacock walking through. And I'm like, what the Sam heck? You know, it's like, did, did that escape from the zoo? And the guy goes, looks at me like, you know, I'm a dork. And he's like, no, we've got them all over here. He says, you'll find them. And, and uh, you know, you'll see you'll see them everywhere. So there it is. Yeah, that's cool right there to be able to. Does he not just do everything for else for you, but he flies a drone? Yeah, oh, I know, exactly. Yeah. What's you up? guys, look at that backdrop behind us. Look at how awesome and vibrant that thing is that Jason Sauer did. Uh, that thing just looks so good. Once again, Jason Sauer, you bring color to Demolition Derby. I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm Herm, glad you guys include me, man. Oh, Herm, how would you like to put that up in your shop right now? Oh, there? that'd be you know, cool, that backdrop? yeah. You know, Blaine Williams is going to get that. He's going to be able to talk about that and show that thing off and say, like, hey, man, this is from Jason Sauer. The one and only. Fine art. I know, yeah. exactly. Uh, exactly. Well, I appreciate the kind words, but we're here to watch Demo Yeah, Derby. we're going to smash some cars. <laughs> all right, <laughs> you guys. If we're talking about smashing cars, how about all the art you make out of uh, car stuff? Uh, it's it's a ton of fun. I it I love that Demotion Derby is a part of every bit of my identity. Um, I get to take Demotion Derby with me whenever I go to the fanciest places all over the world, and I get to talk about Demotion Derby to the point I think people don't want to hear about it. But it doesn't matter. I'm into it, and uh, and I kind of just I love taking it to the world and showing it off. And yeah, there's a lot of good cars in here. Yeah, there is. Yes. I, it, yeah, because there's a few of these cars made it to number seven. That. Bummer yeah, there's a lot of cars here that could win shows at any other win, a, win at any other show. You know, and the awesome thing is, is these guys are here to try to win the top prize. They want to be at the show. They want to take the W home, and they're going to fight their way through this consolation to get to the dance. So that is awesome. Yeah, I these think there guys, might, I think there might be some that are going to make junk and not even worry about transfers. Right. There's most definitely. Now I don't know for 100 percent if they're giving a mad dog on this one too. You know, that uh, the Reaper up there and that uh, you're seeing right there to the left side of your screen, you know, that one, I was I was a hard draw for that one. I thought he did really good and should have been got the, Josh Holt. a Mad Dog word, uh, award. Yeah, Josh. Yeah. Yeah. It totally was sending it. Did a good job. You got, uh, you got Holt has a good car. Vershawn has a good car. Palacios has a car. These are the runner-ups. These are the drivers that didn't have such good luck in the first. And it's just a variety of cars that are here. You know? Oh, yeah. I mean, you got a 98-plus down here, town car, all the way down to 60s, Mercury's. You know, you got Sueys. You got, I mean, you've got it all right here, Cadillacs. What is this 58? Is that like a Cyclone? What is that thing? That's what I, I don't know. I'm yeah, thinking that like it's a Cyclone or a, a, a Torino or something like that. Four, two, one. Let's derby. Let's wreck this stuff. That white uh, town car there overhead doing good. That's number 22. That's got a simplified harness in it from Robbie Green done. Simple solution. Wow, takes a big shot by the 32. Coming into the game right there. You got your overhead. Oh, yeah, and the Joker car. Oh, here comes 22 right there. Here comes that. Oh, here comes that. Crown Vic right here. got the Batman car. Yeah, it's really... They're going to have the bumper coming off of the uh, Joker car. That's the number 32 bumper. Joker car right there. That bumper's coming off on that thing. You can see it in the screen to the left-hand side. Pushing that one F story out of the way. Still sending it, though. Coming through the top of your screen, the 22 coming right in there. Oh, look at the front frame on the 69. Oh, yeah. It's push. It's push. Oh, wow. You see that, that hit right Foster. there. The 34 and the 8X just did a number on the back of the 38 Joker. 
On the eight car, this is his second year derby. Wow, that eight X car? Yeah. He was tearing stuff up there in his heat. Definitely. Look how beautiful that is. Two, two flaming sets of flaming pipes at the same time. Then you got the good times uh, car over there, 35. Yeah. Thank you. Are they taking this down to six too? Yes. Wow, did you yes. see that shot on the top of your screen, folks? Yeah, it's 22 coming in. I don't know what he got on that 32 car, and I don't know what the 30 car did to him, but he is giving him a beat down. Red flag. Red flag. And you said he has a setup from uh, Simple Solutions? I am I am almost positive. I am pretty positive that he's got a simple solution on that one. Oh, they do have it. They are doing a Mad Dog. And it might be your uh, your Vic too. God, I hope so. He is he is deserving of yeah. it. Yeah, he is the number twenty two. I believe that is Greg Hutchinson. Not bad. Pulled, got um, stuck up on the uh, tires in the heat first. He yeah oh. definitely came out here to put on maybe a show. They're, maybe they're twenty two. It's the Mad Dog. Nice. That is the Mad Dog. I believe that is Greg Hutchinson getting the Mad Dog. Pretty awesome watching that 98 plus. Does he have uh, those K-Pro headers too? Or? Um, yeah, they definitely look like K-Pros. Nice. Good filming there by Sequoia. Hey, that's a good feeling coming in with that. Then you go to concert and get Mad Dog. Right. Two, one. Let's derby. We're back. I think the Joker car is uh, stuck. Yeah, been stuck. Then you have Schattinger in the 34 uh, B. All right, so we're down to seven, so we need one of them. Uh, most likely the Joker, unfortunately. Yeah, it looks like. Gonna odd one out. Oh, look at this, how bent that rear wheel is. I'm Porter. Getting excellent traction. Oh yeah, on Gage there Foster. It is. Look at all that traction you're getting. Last year, uh, actually, in uh, our first show, Cinco de Mayo was his first derby he'd ever ran. Sweet. Didn't and he got uh, his, uh, his Jimbo Fisher is the one that is behind him. Is pretty much like his dad. Helps him out a ton. That is it, folks. The is oh, you know what's next? The two man, two -man yeah. 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 Was that thing you'll blow right through the tire? I thought you maybe he was going to push that tire all the way. <laughs> yeah. It's like. Yeah, I think you're 34, 8, 104, 55. Nice run, buddy. Nice. Sorry, at home, I didn't mean to scream in your yeah. ear. No, no, you, uh, I think you got 104, 55, and 34V. I think are the, they're the ones driving, I think they're the ones that are. And then maybe you're 35, yeah. All 35. I missed that. That was pretty, pretty good. Yeah. That was quick, fast pace. Quick work there. Yeah. Did you get your 22? Yep. And we're going uh, two person extreme. Another huge shout out to the number 22, Greg Hutchinson. Man, you put on a clinic with that 98 plus, brother. Thank you so much. Did you guys do any in-car cameras or? No, we didn't. The in-car camera is so hard because you need two people dedicated to bring that. You need a, you need a couple local guys. 
Oh, and, uh, you know, Blaine has got, I mean, he has got his hands full with what's going on here. Um, so we were not able to do the in-car camera, the Bobby backseat Bobby. Um, you know, we got to <laughs> we gotta get on that. It's just, it, it's, it's hard. I mean, you know, we'd be more than happy to do it at your show, but we need help from, from some local people to help out with it. It's just, we can't, uh, it's just so hard. Yeah, there's to a ton of things to do with the production here. Yeah. Even though we just sit here. Well, if you guys, if you guys have it, we'll see what we can do. But I think in the two man, wouldn't that be kind of cool watching? Oh, that's yeah, that's that would be it'd be awesome to see it from both both angles, you know. Who hits who? Who points? And yeah. Have you ran a two man before? You know, I did once. Uh, I, I had Jacob Prusman show down in uh, Webster, Iowa. Uh, 448 design he gave a raffle car away and a young man uh, by the name of Hunter Mart won it in Minnesota and uh, they got to choose a track shot live person to be the two man with them and uh, Hunter Hunter chose me so I was, I was privileged <coughs> and uh, Hunter is a wide open destructive driver awesome oh. young kid builds uh, builds derby parts and rims and everything like that a very faith based uh, young man and just a, just a really good person he is and uh, um, so uh, he chose chose me to be his, his partner in there, and and that kid held that throttle wide open till God, and um, I was praying to God that I got out of the car. So uh, that young man, it was it was a blast to do it. As uh, I can't thank him enough for choosing me, and and it was it was a good time. And I uh, can't thank Jacob Prusman from 448 Design and 448 Promotions, uh, you know, doing what he does for Demolition Derby in, in Iowa. Yes. Uh, isn't your wife swap a two person or is that not really technically? Well, I mean, not really because, you know, the wife swap, all it is, is uh, you jump in with somebody else's wife and they drive your car. So oh, it's, oh. that's all it is. You're just there for the ride. I mean, okay. appreciate uh, the clarification. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll never forget. We had, uh, Brittany Spink came on up, uh, and, uh, um, he, uh, we had, uh, I, I was looking for a wife to borrow because my wife did it this one year and she said she'll do it once and that was it. I begged her and begged her to run a derby car and she, she didn't want nothing to do with it ever and then she did the wife swap one year and then the next year I uh, I, I built my, my wife swap car and I put it out there. I was looking for a rental wife. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, she did really well though driving. Oh, she did amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I built the car for the wife, and then she got addicted, and then it took me a while to build another one. And but she's had it for a couple of years. It was uh, very, very costly. I think probably as much as her horses. No, oh, jeez, I, I <laughs> yeah. couldn't imagine. I mean, it's uh, we we sit there, and you know, so like my son started derby, and so I got him, and and uh, it's you know, I don't want to say thank God, but. He's on the cheaper spectrum of the derby world, so that's a, that's a huge bonus for me. Do you, think, do you think they'll re-wet this track for the... Or do you think they'll um, leave it? It's I, got it's got grease to it. Um, it yeah. It's got grease to it. Uh, as Okay, all right, as a promoter, Herm, I'm looking at this track. I'm not walking the track, but I've watched it from up here. Um, this would be a hard decision to wet this track. Um, there's going to be a lot of cars out there. And the weather, the weather's, you know, it's not hot. No. Nope. So, you know, you might play it by air. They've put a lot of water on since the, the derby has started. So you might go, you know, after this one, do it, then put it on right before the main, but not a bunch. Just, you know, yeah. it all depends on how it takes it. But I, I saw uh, you had Skinny Salvage as a sponsor. You guys got that derby coming up in two weeks, huh? Oh, oh yeah. Three weeks? Yeah. Three weeks. And April Ottawa, 27. Ottawa, or however you say that. Yeah, Ottawa. Uh, yeah. I see all your videos of your cars you're taking. Oh, uh, yeah. that Impala, that clean. Oh, God. It's a, I, if, actually, you know, I'm, I'm pulling. I am pulling. Uh, I'm pulling the go. front Can clip I, off. I'm going to bring up the yep, uh, announcer. Yep. Wait. Oh, he's still playing music. Give him a second. Yeah, he is. Yeah, watch that. But he, this is gonna be hilarious. I don't know what to do. He's playing music and talking. And I don't have I don't have the two man. The 20X! The Chardy! Sequoia! Frankie 34X! Sequoia! You got the two man stuff? Big Newman 530! It's a Ghostbuster! Watch out folks! 7D209! Jenny Jenny, what's your number? 
19X47. That 34X, I believe, is uh, father son. They ran a now two the man in Utah wheel before. Is where the driver is at. But the gas pedal and the brake is where the passenger's at. And then you got 70, uh, 70 the 209 is Casey Prill. And the X75. 70 wide, 73, black and red. It's Brucey time, number 48. Seven two nine. Jenny, Jenny, what's your number? <laughs> Here comes the donkey. Donkey. The anvil and the donkey. Yeah. yeah. Dude. This is going to be interesting because you have Cam shot. Like three groups up here. So yeah. the dynamics are going to be quite interesting. Yeah, there's like a whole town and that brought cars. And let's not forget the double zero. Well, you have uh, the whole family. They brought a couple cars. And the 1091. Peril is with uh, the donkey. Here comes 20. And, and all them. Question mark. Could be 29. The number 19, the Holt. They, they brought a couple Tabu of threes. Motors, Holt Racing. And There's here a lot comes of them. another Holt of FSU, the number 33. And the 34, it's a Holt gang. Thirty-one be Undertaker. Yes. I, I think I'm going to watch this one standing up. <laughs> yeah. I think there might be a lot of people standing yeah, up. You know what the problem is, folks? Mr. We're going to try to announce this thing. We're going to try to watch our TV screen, but we are going to be watching this derby tight. Yeah. I mean, you guys there's saw. Like, so there's 30 cars and 60 drivers. I think <laughs> the, intense, the, the intensity was brought up so much about this out here. Since it's never been here, so many people are so excited to see it. Well, right. we're super excited to see, and we've seen these things all across the country. I'm and on my we, edge. We know what they produce. Yes. They produce so. some great. I'm standing. I don't even go sit, guys. This is going to be just sick. Because when your only job is to run the gas, you're going to run the gas. If you run the gas, do you run the shifter? I think you fight over the shifter <laughs> normally. <laughs> <laughs> If you think about it, if you're if you're a, a, uh, you drive on a regular basis, you're going to be used to throwing your hand up there, and if you're going to reverse it, all of a sudden you go forward, it could be interesting. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's that's exactly what it is. Look at that drone footage. That's awesome. Oh yeah. yeah good job, Bill. And Bill's on top of it. He knows to operate that thing and do a great job with it. You know, it's like I say, without Bill, we are nothing. Thanks, Bill. He's the backbone. He is. And some. He is. That's why he's buying us dinner tonight. <laughs> nice. That's our guy. Uh -huh. All right. We are counting them down. We are excited. Uh, we are standing. Ready we are to go. watching this stuff. Oh, it's like 25 cars, I think. Great flag, and we are off. Let's derby. Wide open. Demolition derby. Oh, that one was, yeah. And it's a, it's a good variety of cars also. Right. Look at, that, look at that great aerial view right there. You guys can see at home. Uh -huh. Wild as Here we go. Whoa. Well, Bar well, Barbie's holding on. Just try to hold on, everybody. This is going to be lit. Sequoia's looking for his name already on the back of bumper. Hey, Tix, your, num your name's already rolling up in the back of this car. There it is. Red flag, red flag. So this car here, I painted Tix's name on the underside of the car, so as it oh, flips that's cool, up, yeah. it says Tix. I saw the video where it was on the side. Well, I started tagging that one. I showed him how talented I was. I could spell the only thing I knew how to spell, my last name. 
Actually, this uh, Cordoba right here that the Holtz are driving, that, we gave that away to the winner at our show last year. Oh, really? Yeah. That was a clean car. Yeah. I looked at the front of that thing. I, I had to take a picture of it and send it to Decker so that Decker could get he excited. He loves his Mopar. Huh? Oh, yeah. Decker yeah. who? Yeah. Walk, walk, walk. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to even call to the extreme one. It's just so much action flying. Yeah. It's a lot of cars on at one time right here. It's awesome. Two. Hold up, pause. Pause. Hold on, kids. Hold on. We're not ready. We don't have a green flag all the way around. Oh, yeah. Barbie's getting out. Uh, Barbie was hanging out for her life. Yeah. Uh, did you see her <laughs> gripping that steering wheel yeah. when they come by? Um, I don't blame that woman. I don't know if I'd want to be out there. I was uh, over there in the stands. They were actually going. Uh, I think he had earpieces. She was talking to him, and uh, one of his he drove a car and something else too. Three, two, one, let's go! Here comes the Ghostbuster car. Yes. Yeah. Good luck, buddy. Look at that Cordova's going down. Right. Here comes Duke. That was a good shot by Tim Shot. The anvil. You can really see the ticks now. Yeah. Where are they stuck? Ghostbusters stuck. There you Get go. Out of there. Oh, there. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> Here comes the anvil. Oh! Took off oh, the roof side. side. Yeah. Up over the back. You yeah. guys see that in the center of your track? The 23, yeah. the 48. I don't know. Should they stop it to be at that roof side off the track or no? I think he got some airline miles on that one. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. There you go. Now your roof sign's done. Here goes 150 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Big cheap. Nothing pretty is cheap nowadays. No. No. They're all stuck. Oh yeah, everybody's a friend trying to get these two unstuck. Oh yeah, they're bad. Oh yeah, those two cars are uh, the Holtz. Yeah. There you go, now you're free. Hey, they're standing in, everybody is. Yeah. You, you see your name over there? Sequoia on the back of that bumper? <laughs> Got you. Artie and Brian over there in the TSL car, the little donkey, they're doing awesome, breaking in that fresh motor. They really are. It's a donkey party. It's steaming a little. Fire, oh, big fire. fire. What happened there? Uh, I don't know, but they're trying to get out. Well, maybe not. Yeah. yeah a red flag in it. That was red a good flag. Fire. I red what flag. That was about. Probably transmission fluid on a header, or is that burning stronger, longer? I burned a little bit longer. That was a good flash flare there. That was like fuel. That was quick and fast. You said the motor that already has a new one? Brand new. Oh, wow. Yep. What, is, what is it? Uh, I think it's a 355 they, they put together. It's a center bolt cover Voltec head, you know. So, yeah, it's yeah. they said it's brand new and already said he, he goes, if I wreck it, I can rebuild it. It ain't no big deal. He yeah. goes, I'm not planning I'm not planning on shutting it down because, you know, Brian's got the gas over there and, you know, his foot's What's Bill showing a replay? Yeah. Bill's going to show a replay. That foot. Hold on, check it out. We'll see which one he shows us. The sky high, going for the miles. Yep. Oh, there it is. Good replay, Bill. Got that thing right. Perfect timing. Good shot, yeah. Sequoia. Driver and passenger stepping out. Good you're production, gonna, guys. Yep, you're going to make your mom proud, Sequoia. Good job. 
They are safe. Whoop, whoop. It's just crazy how quick they can bring that back, too. Oh. You know? All right, we got another red flag. More cars. More people getting out of cars. I was, uh, we've been contemplating, depending on how the cars look, possibly adding this as a filler class for Cinco de Mayo. Oh, this is, I mean, you. this class is always wild. It's yes. crazy. always wild. It's so wild. I actually, you know what? I forgot. I ran the two man out in New York. Also, um, that was that was absolutely awesome out there. We had a blast, and that got wild. That got straight up wild. So, if, if, what would your option? Would you rather be the steering or the gas and brake? You know, I did I did steering both times, and uh, I like the steering, but. Uh, um, the gas and brake is kind of feeling a little more comforting at times. <laughs> and we're back. Ghostbusters coming in. Ghostbusters is sending it. Oh, here comes the T Bird. In that 35 car, it's a father and son, and the, the father hasn't derbied in like five or six years. Even, I think longer than that. Woo. Wow, great shot. You guys just see from the camera. Woo. There is two of them coming in at the same time. That 1091 just took it. Yeah, that's Duke and Cam shot. Well, he dropped the lowers on that 03. Oh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Just dumped that rail in that 35. What's that? That's, that's Trenton and his dad, Trenton Kemp's. Yeah, they blew Ooh. the back body bumps right out of that thing in the back seat. Whoa. I love it. I just see him ticks just coming right at you. <laughs> <laughs> This, uh, the 1091 that Ryan Duke loves is uh, Cordoba's. Him and Decker would get along. Nice. That 20 car's looking pretty good. Red flag. We must, must have lost a bumper somewhere, huh? should pick up that sign uh, right now. Yeah. yeah. These rules were uh, pretty much the same oh, as the- Oh, uh, look at all the fire in that. Oh, Which the one? X-75? 75 throwing out all kinds of stuff on fire back there. I mean, I would jump out. I, I, yeah, yeah, because the fire's <laughs> by your gas tank. <laughs> He's patting it with his hand. The driver's coming out of that car. Driver's okay, had a little I noticed there's a couple of note have headers, you know. Yeah. This one has a distributor in the front. Oh, yeah. Is that uh, after, uh, after Lynn, Kansas, and that last fire I had, uh, I, uh, I, I'm a little scared of fires again, I'll be honest with you. I, I think you, everybody should be scared of fire. Oh, my God. That was a that was a hot one. You're like, those guys are fighting their own fire in the back of their car under their gas tank. It's like, uh, no. we have professionals here. Let's let yeah. them take care of the fire. There's still a lot of good cars. Let's there be. Well, Ghostbusters is done, huh? Yeah. Ooh. And then you think about it, you both have to try to turn around and look. You're fighting to look backwards. Exactly. You're hitting each other's head. Yeah. You, know, when you look at Brian and Artie in <laughs> yeah. those cars, they're big boys, you know, I mean, you know, Brian, Brian takes up his portion of the car and Artie, he's not a star. Oh, here, 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 here. Oh! <laughs> Artie felt that one. Oh, broke his tire off. 
They got a broken tire. These dudes are just going straight nose up now. Ooh, that's... How was that? That was a door. That's another door. Oh, oh they're gonna, they're gonna go off three wheels right here. Come on, get it. This is old, huh? Uh-oh, here we come. What? Oh, he might be timed out. That three might have been timed out. Maybe not. Ah, that's a, wow. that's Donny Case. I don't know who's with him, but that's like who's Donny Case. He won the first year here. Donny Case. Yeah, Donny Case did. Yeah. Yep. And a caddy. Here comes Ticks. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy thing is, really, they want you to lay off each door, and I mean, there's only so much of a car. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. And especially when it folds up, there's even less car. Right. You come with the Crown Vic, you got a smaller one to start with. Nice. They're tearing it up. Yeah, they're sending it. Dude, that was yeah. a nice shot. Nice wheel shot. Yeah, right. Good solid one right in yeah. the wheel. Oh. No doors and you just wheel. Yeah, that was good. There's another one. If they have a mad dog, it'd be interesting who you pick here. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, it's all of them. They are putting on an amazing show. I don't think yeah, they, they are left anybody disappointed of how the two man show is gonna be. You know, Cordova's going sky high. Oh, yeah. I like them headers. That's Cameron special right there. Oh, wow. God, the front of their car is hard. <laughs> Artie and Brian. Hey, it might be, uh, oh, down to three. We got a well, fourth over there. Cordova's uh, header's coming loose. Oh, yeah. The uh, driver's yeah. side. Yep, driver's side. Well, Artie's motor has to be running pretty good to push them two around. <laughs> <laughs> That car that Prill's driving there, I think he drove it home when he bought it. Wow, oh, really? He put a battery in it and drove it home. It was a nasty, like, poop brown. Cool. 
That's a brand new motor too that's in uh, Pearl's car. What is it? Everybody getting brand new motors out here in California? Was it's the, gover uh, the government giving away? They raised, no, uh, yeah. raised minimal yeah. wage and they're giving free derby motors? It's uh, That one's actually Tim Esmond. He built that. I believe it's a Mopar. And he got that, I think, a week ago. That Esmond, he does everything out of his garage. No kidding. Yeah. Look at him. He's going to catch fire right here in front of us. Yeah, I think they're timed out, too. Like, oh, yeah, but yeah. they've been trying to start it ever since they've been timed out. Oh, I don't think he goes in park. Oh, there it goes. And then here comes the sparks. DJ fired back up. Seventy-two oh nine, still in there kicking. Listen to that thing. And the guy that uh, built the one that motor in the seven D two oh nine. Yeah. Mitch Carlson last year hit him up about a motor for Gold Rush, and he pretty much said, "Hey, I'll send it to you. You run it. Let me know what you think of it." Oh, cool. And didn't didn't pay for it or anything since then. I think wow. I, I think Mitch got down to like third or fourth in the uh, in that stock of the singles. Hey, that was a nice paint job on that 1091 right there. Yeah, that, that was the last one we yeah. did last night. Tix is like, bring it up here. We're going to paint it in front of everybody. The way you did, like, the colors on the Duke is just, like, to put it all together, it shines. Thanks. It's blunt. You know, it just puts it out there what it is. At least burning it down. Nice. You notice uh, his car doesn't bounce very much when they go. Right, <laughs> right. He gets all the traction. Low, low center of gravity. This is a great derby. Absolutely. This is great heat. Look at that Cordoba with it all the way up there. The header just swinging. Old Cam shot. Trying to get the first place. Junking some cars in California. No yeah. doubt. <laughs> oh, swing and a miss. Uh oh, I hear something. That's oh, a different yeah. motor sound. It's getting hot. He's just pushing that tire locked up. Oh, it's so hard. I think it been up perfect though. He's able to see through the hood and the, the fenders and the and the, uh, <laughs> the bumper. Yeah. I don't know about you guys at home, but we are standing up from start to finish here. This has been an amazing show right here. Great action. Great action. And I think Cameron in the 1091 Cameron, their cam shot, he's driving. And then uh, Ryan Duke has the gas and brake pedal. Uh, the throttle. But still has plenty of steering. Managed to turn that full 180 almost. Tim Esmond is the builder of that yes. car, and he is the EPE. passenger. He is the passenger in that car. GSS still giving all the power he's got. He find, he's very, very meticulous. It's kind of crazy. Oh, oh, that new fire, that new motor is getting really hot. That was a pretty good fire, Michael, in the uh, donkey car. That's not the fire you like. Oh yeah, that's no. That's what it looks like when you start a barbecue. He didn't bring his marshmallows, so they got the fire extinguishers out there. Hey, and then they spray that. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. 
I think you guys were talking about it the last show or that. Yeah, you know, when you spray it. The one that we're talking about when they spray it, it takes your breath away. I'll tell you what, that whatever yeah, chemicals in those fire away. extinguishers, you get a motor sprayed down, it gets in your carburetor, your, your plates rust up and seize up, and it is just corrosive as heck. It takes all the oxygen in yeah. the air, you know? And, and yeah, it takes it right out of your lungs. 791, banging on the door going, okay, now we got a fire. Fire here, fire there. And, and actually, the, the passenger in the 1091, he's a, a dozer dozer operator for Cal Fire. Oh, really? Yeah. Artie, Artie and uh, Donkey, they're both involved. They do the, uh, the dozer operator and water truck stuff for the uh, fires during the winter here, or summer, sorry. I want to remind everyone to please join us tomorrow night. We have tub trucks and mud bogs. Grease yeah, y'all get to watch that tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow. We enjoy that stuff. We still have our main <laughs> Here comes the roof sign. Taking that home. Oh yeah, that's his. Uh, that's the driver. That's that's uh, Cody Thompson, the one that looked, uh, you know was very very talkative. It's his roof sign. Oh. Oh, it's not over. Not over. Like. Oh, that morning no. sounds hurt. There's like fire at the Hey, the front 1091, of the it looks like the Olympic, the flame for the Olympics. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they got flames down on the bottom side where that manifold yeah. is. Yeah. To make a hit, I guess. One. Yeah. Oh. Uh, there it is. Oh, big fire. Big fire. Oh. Now he, now he, if it's two fires, the other one, that'd be, yeah, it's interesting. Two fires, you're out. We'll see where this one gets called. But 1091's on fire over there, too. <laughs> they just didn't put that one out. Yeah, so, I mean, if, if 1091's able to move, it changes the whole thing, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, technically. Talk about two this is where being a promoter and official is not. This, not is, this, yeah. this is not good at this point. No. Right, but the you thing catch is, you on second fire when you make the last hit. The whole thing of it is, is that fire that they had in that car right there was just from the exhaust on the bottom side. Mm -hmm. It would have went out if they would have shut the car off, you know. So it's like as soon as you made that hit, I would have shut the car off, and the fire would have been gone. It's done. Hmm. It's tough. We're waiting to see what the final call is because all we have is opinions up here. That's all it is. <laughs> Just opinions. So Sometimes shitty opinions. Yep, exactly. <clears throat> we have two cars still moving. We're going to go to the review board. And some of these guys. Oh, well, they're going to the tape. Some of these guys have to get out of their car and go drive another car. Absolutely they do. Hey, you see Fushi Speed and Fab right there. That car, the donkey car over there, has those low-cut custom headers right there. Those are from Fushi Speed and Fab. Um, huge shout-out to Adam and what he's got going on in motors, headers, and other great parts. Uh, top of the line right there. You guys get a great opportunity to get a hold of Adam at Fushi Speed, speed, speed and Fab. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Tongue twister there. Sorry. His um, to Take a look at it. His car, uh, they had a raffle car that at the uh, expo that he had a motor in, and he had a motor on display there. Yep, that's mm. for uh, that's for the points for uh, Mark Elliott. You know, that's uh, Unified Point Series right there. It's another sponsor, right? Yep, yep. Unified, we've uh, we've always shared with Unified and TSL. We've always had each other's backs, and for many many years, continued sponsors and. And I'm uh, super proud to say that they're they're part of TSL and we're part of the Unified Points. When they show their videos of their uh, motors running, it looks like they had a pretty nice place out in the country. Yeah, yeah, they it do. It's awesome. You know, you got to go back to years and years ago, you know, when, when uh, Adam was running a lot more, running with Daryl Monroe and everybody, and, and uh, he was part of the guard, gro uh, guard group and everything. And, uh, you know, he's got a lot of, a lot of research and, and uh, a lot of, lot of knowledge in those motors and stuff like that. So, you guys, please feel free. 
get a hold of Adam and take a look and see what Fushi can do for you. He's uh, uh, been around in the industry for a long, long time, been around the sport forever. It's a great guy, great family, uh, adorable family that they got, young kids and, and everything. It's it's pretty awesome what they got shaking. Well, they had the one video where the kid started it up and then hit the throttle. I was like, that's yeah. awesome. Oh, yeah, that's 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 just how it is. Yeah, I, mean, I guess we should sit down. They don't think they want to look at our... Yeah. <laughs> We've blo yeah. been blocking those yeah. guys. Nobody can see what was going on there. You know, Otis Motors right there. You want a wild, insane scream, and that's uh, that's another one right there. You got uh, got another great Otis sponsor, Spunk Joey Lanky, yeah. Joey Lanky, and Paul. So, sure, his dad's a character. Oh, it's yeah. I I've never had the opportunity to meet him yet. I just uh, just just heard heard plenty of good stories about him. Ah. Uh, Heck yeah! Last year, the year before, they came out and uh, Dale, they and, and uh, Joey came out and his dad. They and uh, Joey ran a car out here and his dad came out and was just mesmerized that the body bolts unbolt. Yeah. And so he we went to, we had to go to the junkyard for something. He was just walking around. He took a body bolt home to show everybody that it had threads and everything still. Huh. Yeah. Well, that's that's kind of the funny thing about it. It's like you know you get some cars like that and it's just like like holy crap. I haven't seen this. I mean, you know, like I say, you know, you, you, these these old iron cars up in Minnesota, they've been rusted to the ground. I mean, there ain't nothing left of them, you know, and, you know, for the last 20 years. You know, you go find something sitting in, the, in, in a, a back 40, well, it's going to stay in the back 40. It's been mm, there way too long. That's crazy. So. Now, if you get one from the coast or whatever, they could be rusted here. It, well, you know, it's kind of funny. You know, you were talking about the Impalas that we're building for Skinny Show. So that red one is from Hawaii. That's your, the yeah. roof is rotten on it, but I mean it's 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 jet black everywhere else. I mean that frame literally, you know, is 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 black in spots. And it was funny, uh, you know, I was talking with Josh Tag, and he's like, "You got to cut the mid rails out and put Buicks in their wagons." Or he's like, "It's a stock show, you can't do that." You know, it's like, you know, that still is like, well, I'll, I'll guarantee you, the inspectors will know that that car's got C channel rails in. Now, it, did it know? have a, a vinyl roof? Is that why the no. just? Oh wow. Nope, just uh, just sat and sat by the ocean. There's your 448 designs again. You were talking about a minute mm -hmm. ago. Yeah, AB Cat Tech right right there. Uh, you know we bought some catalytic converters down here in California, shipping them back home. You guys, uh, you guys got any questions or concerns about catalytic converters? Hit us up. Let us know. I mean the market's down a little bit, but it's still good as a 10 year average. So jump on board and uh, let us let us see what we can help you out with that AB Cat Tech. All for him. That, uh, that uh, all for him racing. I was watching that one that uh, down in uh, Kentucky. Yeah, mm -hmm. he was down there. That's yeah, he did an awesome job too. Nathan yeah. American Outlaw, right there, another great sponsor that stepped up on the higher level this year. First year in Brian's Machine Shop. You know, been with us for a couple of years, uh, enjoying what we're doing, having fun with those guys. Another great sponsor that keeps coming back year after year. Yeah, I saw the table. Uh, Joey or uh, Fatty did a video of how long the table was stuff he had. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Bull That's shirts, awesome. you guys. You're looking at apparel. You guys need shirts for your events or anything like that. Jump on, grab a bull shirts and see what's up. Cactus Company, great tavern over in Micah's neighborhood. Nice. Bull shirts did my uh, the shirts for us and did them quick. And I mean, it was reasonable. Shipped them, ate them, or got them. Awesome, yeah. That's cool. The designs, whatever color you want. Alex from All for Him was just on my Cash on the Hood podcast where we talked about. Demolition Derby, art and hustle, entrepreneurship. So that happened to be his very first interview. Um, Alex hadn't been interviewed by anybody yet, so I was like, "Wow, uh, that's a shame on Derby World." <laughs> so uh, I brought him out to Pittsburgh. He stayed uh, the weekend, and we talked about what it takes to do his YouTube life. Oh yeah, um, and it's pretty cool. So him and I are co-sponsors. Uh, we are collaborative sponsors in our. His all for him racing videos and my cash on the hood podcast. Yeah, it was neat what he was doing. I mean, it was just kind of interesting, you know, with his videos and everything. The, the oh yes, he he puts in the he puts in the weekends. He leaves from Indiana and drives straight through Ohio and gets to Pennsylvania wow. and does it. And then as soon as it's over, he turns around and just drives right back and you know edits the video during the week and you know he puts in that work, you know. Yeah, and I see you guys uh, have a podcast, right? Was that? Don't you guys have a podcast? Uh, there's a couple out here. You got a uh, TDM or, or TDTM. Uh, they put a couple out, and then there's uh, West Coast Podcast or West Coast Demolition Par Podcast, I believe it is. Mm. They uh, they haven't done any. Josh McClure that was out here in the 19 car. Uh, him and Andrew Ryan do the West Coast Demolition Derby podcast. Oh yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I got a, one of Andrew's friends has got to pick up some plaques for me. For uh, Merced. Merced, that's yeah. it, yeah. That's a, that's almost a full-on um, all MWFA cars. Really? Yeah, they're going to uh, do like three heats, I believe, and uh, pay pretty good. Pay, I think, top five or three or four cars. Wow. Um, you know, I mean, just for what I've heard, maybe 2000 to win a heat and then wow. like a – then a uh, run what you or not run what you brung, but like a uh, cleanup, a last chance at the very end. You mm. can go out there and run over. We have nice. So, well, that, yeah, I, that's really cool. You guys are you have your own ideas of demolition derby in California, and you guys are uh, executing the plan. It's obviously you know it's definitely behind times compared to back there, but it's this is what California's had. It's what. We use and what worked for us, you know. I wouldn't say behind the times. I'm saying it's just it's doing what you guys want to do, and uh, you know. And until people start building in that way, you know. Oh my gosh, we are almost. Once as we clean this track, we're gonna be heading towards a ten thousand dollar. Yeah. Stock I saw, show. I saw the uh, the housing housing hub sponsor come across. Yeah, that's odd. You know, we can't thank those guys enough. They've jumped in. They do all kinds of stuff. They did, uh, you know, the world record attempt up there. They had nine cars up at the Minnesota Throwdown for the world record MWFA. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that was it was it was so cool to have. You know, I mean, these are these are office people. These right. are, that's you know, awesome. It's like, and they come on out there. You know, Joe and Tom. Um, you know, they have an amazing. They're the owners, the CEOs of Housing Hub, and they put together uh, an awesome group of people that work together. They're they're family orientated. They're I mean, they they really take care of their people and stuff like that. So you had um, the uh, CEO in a 2015 Nissan station yeah. or <laughs> Nissan yeah. minivan. But that's what the MWFA class is perfect for. Oh. And that thing, that thing was stupid hard. Solid. Stupid hard. And they Solid. had, uh, they had one of their guys made it down to what do you get, fifth or sixth yeah. place? Yeah. Well, he was the last one on that far end of the track, mm. and uh, that I mean, that was great seeing those guys do that. And then next thing you know, it's it's just it's it's unbelievable. I have a, I have a question for you. Like tomorrow. It's amazing though, the spot. You know, American Outlaws. I actually picked some tires up from them when I was in uh, South Dakota. Right? Yeah. They, uh, they're good sponsors. Uh, we're blessed to have a ton of sponsors. And you are, if you are considering being a sponsor, uh, please please, uh, please consider calling Tix and uh, talking to Tix. Tix and, Tix and Fatty, right? They both, uh, yeah, they're doing pretty good. I'm, I, what is this? When you're, when you're in the uh, crowd of people, sometimes people are pulling you away from the table. So Tix, for some reason. Yeah, he's uh, signing autographs over here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's shake, shake of hands and kissing babies, they say. That. That's that's him. That's our guy. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm excited for your show. I know that uh, Fatty was out there last year. Yeah, Fatty and Joey came out. And then uh, uh, Cannonball came out because he hadn't been to California. And he ended up going to, uh, he was going to go to Red Bluff. Nice, and Anthony. So yep. Out, yeah. Yep. Anthony's doing good really good for. Track shot live. Uh, he's been really kicking it up with the TikToks Absolutely. and stuff. And uh, you know, that's Demolition another. Demolition Derby has kind of transitioned to TikTok. That's, uh, that's another guy that you literally you could talk to him, call him, and he'll do anything for you. If, if, obviously, we're out here; he's out there. But I mean, just to give the give your shirt his shirt off the back for you. Oh yeah, I wonder how they're doing out the expo. They probably should be done by now. Yeah, the they expo, might be. Uh, oh yeah, expo is probably ten o'clock, ten thirty by now. Yeah, I'm sure one of them sleeping and snoring probably. Ha ha. Hey, that means if the expo's over, we have everybody watching Demolition Derby right now in the world. Yo. On free 99. You guys just showed up for a $10,000 to win right here, Yuba City, Spring Extreme, Williams Enterprises, LLC. Uh, Blaine flew out to, what was it, Mini Madness or San Filippo to hang out with us, kind of see what Track Shot Live does before he went ahead and hired us. Mini, uh, uh, mini Meltdown. Mini, mini Meltdown. And uh, we've been working and friends with this guy ever since. He is a proud, uh, he's proud sponsor of the Youth News, Youth 
national class that happens. So, yeah. uh, you know, getting drivers here uh, out to Frankie Guy's show, that's pretty good. That's pretty good stuff. So uh, it's nice, Blaine, to reach out here and do that. And, uh, again, salute the promoters. Uh, the promoters take the risk. They rent the fairground. They buy the insurance. They put everything together so you can come out here, build your car, and come out here and put on a, a show for the fans and family that love you. So uh, I I want to just always say I salute the promoter. You know, you guys really do the work. Um, you know, that you guys really make sure that there's a fan base for Demotion Derby by creating and renting these venues. You know, that's that's something pretty pretty awesome you and, know and for him to do this is ultimately as a standalone you know it, it like from the one that we have is is a fair so the fair the, the community just comes to watch the fair yeah and then it just sells out um but to do this as a standalone and i mean the, the, there's a ton of people here yeah and you know the first year he didn't have as many but there's a lot i mean it's gonna get it's growing and growing um but andrew ryan actually messed me it's a ten thousand dollar total purse okay all mwfa cars nice that's crazy that's what he was telling me, me when he when he came out to Pittsburgh. I need to Tenda. find me a Kia Kia minivan. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Toyota Camry is what you need. Dude, that's yeah, crazy. You, you that's small, well. though, man. You can do really well in a Camry in the most one of class. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, it's just like you go from this to that. You go from S10. You can go to a Dakota. You could go to an Explorer. Mm -hmm. You go to a Mercedes. The one we had a guy bring a BMW. Yeah, that well. was turbocharged stick. Sweet. Yeah, well, it was pretty crazy. We were talking about it earlier when we were talking about that Mercedes, you know. Uh, uh, um, Indy, Indy CNC at, uh, at the Minnesota Throwdown. If you bought anything from Indy CNC, a can koozie, a sticker, anything, your name went in a drawing. And he had uh, a SUV BMW there and gave it away for free. So Todd gave that away. That was an awesome thing that he did up at our show. And I will tell you what, if that BMW wouldn't have broke the oil cooler line, that thing was nasty hard. And it yeah. was sending it, just sending it. So there's like a rivalry with him and, like you know, uh, uh, Cannonball. So maybe Cannonball needs to get a car and do the same thing. And in Indy CNC, they both can paint it. And like a, like, oh, yeah. 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 I mean, you imagine how many TikToks would be about that? Oh, yeah. no, there's yeah. no doubt about it. Love yeah. that battle. Those <laughs> yeah, guys. those two, back and forth. They never, they never yeah. quit. It's awesome. But you have to understand, those two are best of friends. I oh, mean, absolutely. Those guys truly are awesome. And it's like people, people, it is like, what side are you on? I'm like, I'm on the side of I love what they're doing for our sport. It's entertaining in so many different ways. Uh, 100%. You know, like, he, that's when he came when I met Cannonball first. First mm -hmm. off, I thought, it was, I thought that was his last name. So I put his hotel oh. room. Anthony Cannonball. Yep, yep. I still have it on my phone as Anthony Cannonball. Mm -hmm. Anthony Cannonball <laughs> and, uh, Wallace. But yeah, That's he right. said it's just you know he goes hey he goes you know we'll, we'll make these TikToks and everything but he goes you know the, the bond that they have is is huge. Oh mm. yeah, that's for sure. And you know you know one of the other awesome things that you sit there and you, you look at is all the different things like I, I mean I know Todd has given parts away to kids. I know he's uh, you know helped out in tons of different ways and and Cannonball's done the same stuff. Um, you know like we were talking about you know giving parts away at your show and stuff like that um, uh, up at Red Bluff and. Uh, you know, it's it, they they truly want to see the the sport um, succeed in different directions. Absolutely, and that's that's really neat with those guys. Mm -hmm. No, it's wonderful. We went out there and filmed with Bobby uh, his last uh, track shot live video shoot out there at Indy CNC, and uh, we didn't realize how important that day was going to be. But uh, we had a good time out there. Uh, my man Clutch showed up two hours too early. He didn't hear the call time. He heard it. I don't know what he thought. I'm like, I'm driving from Pittsburgh. You think I was going to be here at eight in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> so, so now that we talked about it earlier, the way the track is, what, what do you do now? I would actually put a little grease on it. I would grease it. I, I'd run a, I'd run a grease around the, you know, maybe across the middle. I'd run. I wouldn't wet it down. I would just run. I'd run one circle stripe through there, and I think that's what I would it. call it. Yep. I, uh, I don't even think you're going to get that opportunity because the water truck is parked next to our car or gone or wherever that water truck once was is no longer. It's yeah. held up. It's held up well, though. And th th this track is this track is a dime. This thing is a dime today. Um, you know, congratulations to uh, Heavy Hand uh, Handyman 
uh, for doing what they did. They put this track together. Last year, yes, they, they fought it a little bit, but you know what? Uh, all these drivers that we talked to, they came here prepared to change tires, change suspension if they needed to. They knew what was happening. They knew what the opportunity of, of track failure was, and they were ready for it. Um, and, but today, you know what? The, 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 uh, the crew gave us a dime to Derby on. Yeah, so that was congratulations, yeah. you guys. I saw a couple cars with 23s out there, and 23s are not popular in California with the way like when you talked to Tag the other day, we do we do do uh, on rodeo arenas, you know. Mm, yeah. Uh, but this this, this uh, got sticky. Yeah. Oh, this 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 it is hands up. down. This yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. Um, you know they put enough water on it. I mean, you know, it's like you look at the first heat that went out there. I mean, it was dusty at first, and they put that first water on there for the first heat. Uh, we never once got dusted. I mean, you know, like look at this table, you guys. I mean, there isn't hardly. I mean, there's a tiny little bit on it, but I mean, it's not like that there's a film going around so you know nope. a plus on the track and guys. It, the weather yeah. i think helped out too with feels real hot i've been dry a lot faster but i think it turned out really really good yeah yeah it'll be great for the main yeah oh for sure for sure now uh coming into the main how do you think it's gonna go you think i mean last year uh i mean it started off wide open and then it paused a little bit what are you thinking it's gonna be again i think you'll have few a couple that are gonna, probably going to go fast pace but a lot of are going to be slow roll <laughs> And here comes a donkey talking to uh, ticks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he he took a little from driving for a long time, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and then uh, he had been talking about getting back into it. And I think last year he ran one car. <laughs> nice donkey power. He, he said the donkey was laying it down. Yeah, uh, gave him all the donkey power. Yeah. <laughs> I actually want to cut the side of that car off and bring it home and put it on the, the Jason Sowers Minnesota art wall. That's a good one. That, That's that a good one, piece right there. That would be that cool, yeah. Awesome. That's a good piece. I love that one, you know. TSO and the donkey. Yeah, that's the that is that's a trip. <laughs> Man, what we get away with. <laughs> I swear. Yeah, I just sit back here chilling on a chair looking at a spray painted donkey. It's, I, I just like sour. He goes, you think they're going to be okay with it? Just go for it. It's already. We'll talk them into it later. Yeah, I was like, I want a really goofy donkey. Nothing like real nice. They're like, his, his, his wife or Shrek donkey. Long-term girlfriend is uh, into the horses too. Oh, really? So is Artie's. Oh. Like, it's crazy. Like, there's a group. There's uh, We all, all the, the derby guys, and then their significant others into horses. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can mention the list. Right, Don donkey lovers. Yeah. Well, you gotta have if you're gonna have horses, you gotta have a donkey. Is, is what I'm told. My well, they, they my cousin ha my away. cousin keeps a donkey with his horses because he says the donkey protects the horses. They some do. And then you got the miniature donkeys. You see the miniature donkeys? They're crazy. Yeah. Oh, they're straight up mean. They, if they don't like something, they'll 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 do you in. It's like an alpaca or whatever. They spit at you. Yep. So we've got a we got a bunch of horse stables around us in the you know south suburbs of the Twin Cities of Minnesota and and uh, um, right up the road from us there's a pretty fancy stables for they do uh, uh, they do like those prancing horses or whatever. Corsage or uh, yeah. I don't know what they are and, and but they have them when they go out to, to pasture. I mean most of them, 99 percent of them are indoors. You know they're oh they're, yeah they're in in, in stalls. But uh, you know when they have those ones out there. They've got two donkeys, one in each pasture, you know, because we have a lot of coyotes in oh, that yes. area. Yep. So, and that's exactly it, that those donkeys keep the coyotes away. Yeah, because the horses are social animals, and donkeys are too. And they, uh, they're they good friends, I guess. I learned about this. This is all my horse knowledge. I'm two more sentences, and it's over. Uh, the <laughs> prospect, his daughter's into horses too. Really? Yeah. He, he uh, uh, if, if, if he's watching, he loves Palominos. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. That's she his just, favorite color she horse. She just had her birthday the other day. 15. And I, I told her, I says, feel free to give your dad hell today, you yes. know. So, uh, at Abby, right? At, at Addy Abby. I think it's Abby. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm bad. I'm so bad at names. I apologize. Um, they Have they picked the winner yet from this heat? Abigail, I think. Yep, Abby. Yep. Um, um, I haven't heard. I, I'm pretty sure because Brian was awfully happy that, that Artie, Artie told him, he said, I'm not starting the motor back up. And Brian looked at him and says, you don't got a choice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, What's you know, 
Artie said Artie said car? that he was uh, he was ready to re ready to, to what about send it? it and wreck it. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, go run the raffle car. Yes. Oh, there we go. Let's talk about it again. This time it's your turn. I talked about it last time, so are you talk about the raffle car? All right, gun. let's uh, buy some tickets to this raffle car. Skinny, send it for Skinny Salvage for an imp. Our man uh, driver is. This was given to us or donated to us by our man Frank, and uh, so they. You can buy tickets for this beautiful driver. I believe it told it's oh, a '66 yeah, Imperial. The '66 Imperial, you can win and drive it. I hope when you do win it, you let me spray paint Skinny's uh, portrait on it. I'm going to probably try to win it. You know, this will make a nice daily driver. Uh, I think it's pretty great. So April 27th, you know OG Buckets. Uh, we're going to be doing that. And you, pay, you get your name on a popsicle stick, and it goes in a bucket. You pull it out, you win a car. I'm not sure if there's a second place wins cash or not, but... First place wins this car. Sending it for Skinny. That's our guy. April 27th, right in Ottawa, Kansas. Um, you know, normally we'll be at Dead Man that show, but uh, schedules, everything changed up a bit this year. So this year we'll be at Skinny. There's our schedule again. Um, April 27th, I believe Josh Decker Arthur. is going to be That's picking me up. That's a bad one if that gets on him. Um, they're going to pick me up. And uh, hopefully paint some cars. Uh, Fatty wants me to paint Penwell's car as I head across uh, Ohio into towards Kansas. So uh, we got a great season, as you guys can see right here. Um, you know, we've already done some great stuff. So again, we're in Yuba City. We're one heat away from being done with the one, day one of two. Tomorrow, Tomorrow is tough trucks, mud bogs. Uh, tough trucks go over obstacles, which is pretty rad. You hear me talking? I got this until Mike Tix comes back in. That's it. It's all you, man. It's all you. That's you're doing great. I, 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 I'm, you know what? I'm going to go get tacos or something like that. I want to get tacos. <laughs> <laughs> you you had tacos earlier. How are those? I, oh, they're hotter than hell. Oh, my God. They're spicy. Oh. Uh, you guys have a lot of Mexican food in uh, where you're at? You know, we actually we really do. We, yes. We've got a ton of Mexican food I where, love where Mexican we are. I love Mexican food. Um, yeah, it's it, and uh, you know so like we like now like when we went to Southern California, um, you know we had some true authentic, oh, yeah. you know. So like our salute to uh, Dolores. Yeah, uh, yeah, Dolores. There's your housing hub right there. Yeah, right there's housing hub exactly. Um, well, but I mean that stuff that we had down there at Dolores at that street side was unbelievable, the yeah. best I've ever had. Yeah. And uh, you know like to go up to Minnesota and get like some hardcore true like that. Um, there's a couple food trucks that, that have it, but um, and there's a couple really awesome uh, Spanish delis that have some awesome stuff. But I mean, the majority of our stuff is I, I like I always tell everybody it's northern Mexican. It's, it's Americanized. Super good. Yeah, it's it's super good, but it's uh, it, it's nope. just not it's not the same. So mm. I mean, you oh, live yeah. in like one of the most diverse. So I believe. Uh, Artie, Artie and uh, the donkey, the don uh, won it, and then 1091 was second. Hey, good for business. They painted both cars. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. <laughs> sour, sour, sour got it right there. Nice, nice run. Nice. <laughs> so, so each one of them only got one trophy. What do they got to share them? Ha ha! You get it. You get it for a week. It's it's like a uh, child custody. It's a trophy custody. Yeah. Oh yeah. You get, there yeah, it is. You get it for Cup. one week. Yeah. You get it for one week, and then you have to give it back. <laughs> Congratulations uh, to those drivers. That's really cool. Awesome show. Yeah. Way to go. That was a great heat. Every heat's been just nothing but banging here in Northern California. I love it. Yeah. That's. Uh, Bill, Uncle Bill's starting to get chilly. I see him tucking in his hat. Uh -huh. uh, you got to put the hood on. It's getting real. It is. I thought I thought we were in California. I wanted to be in shorts. I packed I packed hey, multiple weather, pair of shorts and this I. Weather's I, crazy. I man. brought I only brought one pair. And that's just for our evenings alone. <laughs> I just wanted to see the flamingos. That's all I've been waiting for. I brought you polka dots. I wanted to be classy yeah. this time. Actually, no, it was the crabs, wasn't it? The lobsters. Yeah, lobsters. Yeah, the lobsters, yeah, lobsters you know? sound better than the, yeah, yeah. the crabs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just say, the lobsters yeah. sound better. 
But you I, know, you know, I had I, I broke out a, a sour outfit for him here in California a couple of years ago. You know, yeah, I, I, I went yeah. I went character for sour, and uh, thank you. You know, we need to I need to get that back out. I'd actually, you know, um, I, I hope the wife the wife didn't shrink it in the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's that's, that's not uh, how it shrinks. That's the guy that built uh, Mitch's motor, and then the one that's in that seventy two oh nine. Oh, uh, that's that Tim yeah. S mod. Yeah. That's nice. He works over in the bay. Look at that. 1091's going to drive off, you guys. You think? He just fired it up. He's stoked. No way. He's, oh, he was going to give it. He was trying, man. He's There's trying. no doubt about it. Look at that. Yeah, hey, yo, uh, shout out my friends, right? Shout out Sickles, Clutch. Shout out Most Wanted Car Club. I love you guys. You guys really help. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out my website, I am a proud partner of the Black Demolition Derby team, mostwantedfineart.com. We have uh, all Black Demolition Derby team, builder, driver, painter, and we're going to five locations right across America this year. Um, that's something that I do personally, and if I have this brief moment to tell you guys about my community service, uh, it's something I do for my community in Garfield where uh, we've created not just the most wanted class, but we've created uh, some identity of drivers who uh, are really standing out, work hard, and they want to show off what we're doing. So uh, you're going to catch us at River City Rampage. Um, I'm going to bring Fed the God from Wiz Khalifa's label, um, Rostrum Records and stuff, and we're going to bring TY again. And uh, we're going to start our season just outside Chicago there with Toast Promotion, and I'm super stoked for that. And I appreciate you guys letting me tell you my stories of uh, being a good steward for Demotion Derby and the community. Thanks, guys. Yep, and actually, uh, uh, you're 100% correct. Yeah, for $5, Sour will give you a shout out for that. That's all it costs is five bucks. Five bucks? <laughs> I can barely get you two tacos. <laughs> hey, that, the car club owes me 10 bucks. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, we owe thanks to the car club because every time we are on, they pile in everybody. And they fire up the devices and they watch us. They are the most faithful. I'll tell you what. Hill job. You know, Mike Hill right. right there. Can't forget about him. He's doing all kinds of things. But, uh, yeah, like I say, once again, the car club, I'm super proud to be part of that group. And you guys, the, 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 the base camp of the car club is right there in PA. And thank you so much. You guys miss you all. We need to get well, back out there. and uh, You got the, the most party. one in North, buddy. That's yeah. you. You're, yeah. the, you're the cover. You got the Cause Ticks van out there looking really rad. Uh, yeah, I, we just have a, a group of friends that like to daily drive derby cars. Yeah. And uh, it happened to be 55 of us across 20 states, and uh, we're a part of a giant group text message. Well, the Costex needs an oil change, so we're just going to derby it. So we got when you come out in the fall, we're going to do a new one. I'm trying to figure that's, out what we're going to do. That's kind of how they start. They get two years on the street with the paint job, and then they hit the derby. Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's about it. It's a ton of fun driving around, though, because people always want to know about them. You're going to turn heads yeah, every it, gas station. Yeah. Every gas station. I only put 20 bucks in it at a time just so I can make friends. <laughs> <laughs> California, that ain't going to get you much. Yeah, that's that's going to get you to the end of the parking lot. That's all right. Oh, I got to turn around and fill up again. <laughs> that's all right. I just circled the VFW gas stations. That way I can make friends and VFW gas stations. You guys have oh, no, no, I, the gas stations buy VFWs. Oh. That was like, I, that's how I make my friends. That way they're like, come on in, let's rip some tickets. Yeah. I don't have friends. <laughs> oh, they're expensive. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You're better off not having any. Mm, I, my, my, when my parents had the dairy, those were the cows of my friends. I, they could talk to them. They wouldn't talk back to me. Mm. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> you know, it's you sit there and uh, you look at all the different stuff that we do, and, you know, you laugh and joke about it, and you look at, you know, it's like, you know, Herm, how, you know, what, you know, you come from, from farming and everything like that and all the different places that, you know, that we come from and stuff like that. And we all get together, and it, it's funny how, you know, we can pick on each other and just enjoy it. And Absolutely. It's, just, it, it's, it's, it's an absolute riot at times. And farming's big up here. There's a lot of farmers that are out here derbying tonight. Oh, it's, I mean, people, you know, like, we, oh, you're, you're going to a derby in California. Where it's like, you know, we said this on the lives and stuff like that. You don't understand how much raw farmland yeah. is in California. I mean, and there is a Exactly. Ton. And they want you to know that at this derby, they're like, when you're on track shot, please let America know and North America and the world know that there's two Californias. Oh, absolutely. Well, and you, you hear people say they're like, oh, like when Fatty went to uh, Kentucky. 
he drove yeah. eight hours in how many other states he went through. Like, if you start in Southern California, San Diego, you might, you're not going to get to uh, Oregon yeah. border by in eight hours. Right. Hey, uh, what do we got? What do we got shaking here? I think we're going to put on. Let's let's look for the youth. Or I think that's what. Yes. Yes. Good evening. Something to drink. Yeah, I'm I'm good for now, but thank yeah. you. Good brother, how are you, man? I'm good. Good, thank you. Good, good. I actually just got a message from another buddy. Thank you, buddy. Oh, this is the man, the myth, and the legend. Yeah. yeah you guys yeah. wanna you wanna put him on? If he wants to talk. Yeah. You're you're coming on. We're gonna yeah we're gonna put the Wolfman on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, come on. Here. No, no, go ahead. You guys. Oh, this is your this is your family right here. All right, bro. What's happening? How are you? How's that? How are you? Good, good, bro. How's the family? Everybody's good. As you can see, they're all right here behind me. All the grandkids are here with me. I was gonna, now, hey, now you sat down. You tell us who, who are we sitting here? Who do we have the privilege? Ralph with Garcia. Here? So I'll Wolf tell you. Wolfman out of California. I was going to say, it's Wolfman. You can you can it's Wolfman. What's that? Look at the family. Group? Hey, guys, come here. Hey, guys, come here. Everybody, come here. Can you guys say your names real quick? Start right here from the oldest. We got Brody back there, and we got Holly, the other twin. Right here. This is one of the reasons why sometimes I don't get to derbies because I love spending time so much time with these guys. All right, look at this. They're giving the awards out to the kids oh, yeah, right yeah. now for the You're youth. You're going to be building these right pretty here. soon yeah. Yeah. for your youth. This one right here already said next year he's old enough to do it. So it? him and Goose, this is Goose's son. What's that? What were the ages? I think it's from 11 to whatever, so up 11. to 16. Yeah. yeah, it's 11. You're going to build him his own motor? So yeah, we'll probably build everything new from scratch, you know, for him. Yeah. To help him get involved well. Oh yeah, everything. yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna and he wants to do uh an LS. Yeah. I go, you wanna do an LS in the youth class, huh? I was like, okay, Let your choice. <laughs> well, I, I think you can find somebody that builds LS yeah, in your family. I think so, if somebody yeah. in the family does it, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, So, it's Wolf, man, what do you think about this youth class? I mean, you, I, hey, I, man, that's a great thing. I, now, you know, I mean, you've had your boys out there running and stuff like that, but I mean, you know, your boys had to come through running against the big dogs. Right oh yeah, off the bat, you know? yeah. So I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, California has never seen this until last year. I mean, right? I mean, you know, tell me about it. I mean, yeah, this is this, this is your yeah. State. This, this like this is the the step into the big boy class, you know, and, and it's a great step because it gives them an introduction. You know, not out there in a car by themselves with a parent or somebody, you know, a brother, whatever, sister. Um, and they get a taste of it, of the big stuff, you know. I mean, they go from basically running up to their nine years old, I think, in the power wheels. And then all of a sudden, two years later, you can step into a real car yeah. and then do it. I mean, how great is that? And a uh, lot of, I mean, the builds are close. So you're, oh, getting, yeah. you're getting that stepping stone of not just yep. the investment of the cars, but yeah. you're getting the... Same build and everything. Oh, yeah. And they're and, driving just as hard as the big and, cars. Yep. And not only that part, but the, the building part. Like, I already got my two uh, oldest grandsons right here, Jason and uh, Riley, where they're already, you know, hands-on with tools. They know what tools to use. They know what a grinder is. They know what, the, you know, how to weld. A 13 millimeter? Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> right. Hey, you know, they, they're great at being able to hand you tools and stuff. And, that, and, and that's something they're going to use in life. Like, that's life, you know? Oh, yeah. That, yeah. You're not going to get taught in school. No, no. That's that's life lessons that you're going to learn that's going to be carried on from grandfather to father to grandson and you can so buy him, on and so you on, can you buy know? buy his own tool set. Oh, yeah. Your grandpa bought. You oh, know? yeah. I, I went to uh, a cupboard I had. It was a little shed. And I had my son's first toolbox I ever set up for him with, like, to work on his bicycles awesome. and stuff. And I gave it to his son. Like, here you go. And then I, up in the rafters, I had his BMX bicycle up there still. And I brought it down, aired up tires, and he lubed it all up and was cruising. And I go, 
this has been sitting like for 20 years, that's and now you're riding it. I mean, how awesome is that? That's cool. Well, you know, that's that stories of uh, that you get to keep handing down and everything like that. It's like, you know, he tells us, hey, you know, Grandpa was in, in Las Vegas running a derby on the yes, strip. Sir. And, you know, it's like, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. met this short, fat guy from Minnesota. And, <laughs> what are you and, talking uh, you know, <laughs> But, you know what I mean? Like, those are all those things that are awesome like that. Dude, that we're going to be able yes. to make them stories and stuff yep, like yep. that. So, all of a sudden, you come out here, man, and it's like, next thing you know, it's, you, you know, say we're sitting down. It's like, Tix, what do you need? And we got waters. We got this. We got even Yes, like, yes. It's like, when we sit here and we talk about family, it's like, you guys... I met this man at a derby on the strip, you know, having mm -hmm. some some entertainment. Yeah, and, yeah. And I mean, you know, you know, your family was there, and, and we got to know you. And the next yeah. thing you know, we're out here doing demolition derby. Yes, and, and it's awesome state. seeing you guys from year to year, man. Yeah, no, that's we, that's class. We just can't say thanks enough. I mean, you guys. No, you're welcome, man. This is the way that 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 California treats us. This is the way that demolition derby. You got treats that us right. This is the way, way the derby world treats yeah. people. I, I'm just a little part of it, man. I mean, all these guys out here, they're great dudes. I've derbyed with most of them for 30, you know what nine years probably if not more and i just keep running into more and more people as i'm walking back there because usually i was on that side for the last two years yeah. you know and here i am on this side i was hoping to be driving but that didn't happen for whatever reason but um that's a whole nother story but just being out here and running into people it's just great, man, because yeah. usually on that over there i don't it's, get to see anybody it's, it's talk your to other them. family that you have you that's know? it man yeah yeah so, well, you know, and you got a rambunctious set of grandkids. My goodness, oh, yes. they got energy. We need to be getting them stripping cars. You know, I, <laughs> you bet. You, you, oh, they were. They were over there. They're over there with, they don't care. They got hammers and pry bars and <laughs> screwdrivers. You know it, man. Oh, that's, yeah. That, that's perfect. I, I I love seeing that kind of stuff, you know. And as, like oh, I said, yeah. You know, it's like coming on out here and, and seeing you off. I mean, it's just like, you know, thank oh, you thank so you, much man. For, for doing this for us and everything like that. I mean, you know, to all the all the promoters out here in California mm -hmm. that are fighting to get us out here and uh, keep working and investing in, in, in Demolition Derby in many different ways. Yes, sir. Um, you know, we are so proud to let the world see what the West Coast has got out here. Yeah. I mean, it's, yep. it's, 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 a, it's a different world. It is, right? I mean... I don't know if it's a better world, but it, it's a you know it's a different. It, just, it, it is a little bit different. There's pros and cons everywhere. I mean, right, California. Right. I mean, yeah, you have your expensive gas and expensive cost of living, but the environment and the atmosphere is mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, yeah, for got, sure, man. You got mountains. You got the coast. You go if you know. Got yeah, a little of everything close yeah. by. I mean, you, you don't have to go far to get to the snow. Don't have to go far to get to the ocean, you know, to the beaches and stuff. So you go to L.A. and go to the happiest place on earth. There you go, right? <laughs> That's where all these kids are like, Grandpa's going to go win the Derby and we're going to go to Disneyland. And I'm like, well, Grandpa's not <laughs> driving. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't make it. But you can still go to Disneyland. <laughs> oh, oh, we're still going. We're still going. Believe me, we're, we're still going to that for sure. They look forward to that every year. I made a promise when they got old enough and we started taking the first ones that as, you know, the family got bigger – that we're going to do a family trip, try to do one every year, you know, somewhere where they like. And you know what? They love Disneyland. It's a, you got a big family. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, when we bought airline tickets last year to go in June, I think it was, or they whatever. Bought the, they bought the whole plane. <laughs> exactly. Basically, the whole back of the plane was, you know, all the Garcia family clan. <laughs> <laughs> they had so, a, they had to kick Taylor Swift off her own jet yeah. so they could get there. You know that's how the Garcia yeah. family goes. Right? You know it's like uh, they they just but, call up Taylor and say, "Hey, we need your jet for the weekend." Yeah, <laughs> we have the kids are Swifties. Like, you get a little fly in your plane. Yeah. Are you a Swiftie? No. <laughs> no, senor. <laughs> no, senor. No. I don't go there. <laughs> hey, he makes. Hey, he's an awesome cook. Oh, oh, God, oh, dude. Goes down, oh, yeah. oh, man. Yeah. You know. I should have I should have done that, Herman. I should have brought that some chile verde here, How like about I Los did. Benos? Maybe Banos. I, I mean, I've taken the car there to drive, yeah. but I could maybe you know do something like oh, that for there. Tortillas, oh, I made homemade tortillas, chile verde, and beans. Oh. oh man, it was some rice I threw down. Yeah. And we took it all up there, and, man, we had a good feast He's before like, the derby. Isn't, this isn't that good. And I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, we were just talking about Spanish food, you know. So, like, you know, in the upper Midwest, we have mm -hmm. Americanized Spanish food. You know, I mean, it's great. Yeah. You know, we got some good, we got some good, uh, you know, authentic delis that, you know, we go into. And, you know, they can't, they, I don't I don't exactly understand what they're saying to me. Yeah. You know, gringo, I get that. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it, it, anything more than that, I'm Fill lost. Fill my belly. So, yeah. Well, you <laughs> called it, call it a deli. Like, I would think it would be a taqueria. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> Yeah. Right? Uh, they put deli on it so the, so, really? so the white people walk in there. <laughs> oh, you know? man. So, 
But no, it is. I mean, we have some amazing places, but I mean, when you get down to the heart and the soul, it's like when yeah. you get a family that just, you know, that, that cooks, you know, and mm -hmm. they take care of you, they, they bring their culture into their food, and oh, yeah. it's it's awesome. Yeah. The, lo I mean, the yeah. love, the love, yeah. the passion they put right, in the food. Right, right. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, I know. I love the action out here. I really wish I was out there, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, they're putting on a good show, and um, what did you think you know, of the two men? That was fun. That was fun to that watch. Cool. They did, they, everybody did great, man. That takes some coordination to do, and it looked like everybody was on board doing a real, real good job with that. So, the coordination uh, or luck? Uh, oh, well, <laughs> probably both. You know, hey, what's derby anyway? Oh, you know, eighty percent luck. You could, you could build your car to the, I mean, the best ever, but you know, if Lady Luck isn't on your side, oh yeah, you know. Yeah. And that's and that's the dirty truth of it. Oh that is that you God! You have to accept that. I mean, it, yep. it doesn't matter. No. Nope. Um, you know, like a huge shout out to William Enterprises here because you know these guys. I mean, they've cleared the track. They've got it going. Oh good. yeah, they, it's a nice track and, this year, and it's, it's fast. Very. They're moving it fast. And oh yeah, like that. So I mean, that's great. We got a little stall right here because mm -hmm. we're getting all the feature cars lined yeah, up yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. trying to get them ready. Yep. So I mean, you know, they're giving them just a split second for a couple more things mm -hmm. and. Uh, but, I mean, great action all the way through. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, shoot, I mean, look, at you got all the grandkids, and they're still intrigued. Oh, that man, so. they, they can't wait for that main event to come. Oh, they, they're, they're waiting for it, and they're ready. How do you think the, the main's going to go down? Oh, well, like I said, it, Lady Luck's going to take a big part of it. A lot of the cars, I, I can see that some of them got hurt really bad, but then other ones walked out of here cherry, yes. man. Real cherry cars. There's a couple that. So, but you know how it goes. It, it all just depends on, you know, keep their head on. I've always had this saying, use your head more than your car. Yeah. And it's going to take that. It's going to take, you know, a lot of skill to there, get to the end here. There was a lot of good builders and drivers that use, that drive very well, that drove out with a very good car. Yes. And drove yeah. out with a good car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, um, I mean, when you say, oh, yeah, well, maybe, you know, it, it all depends on how well they run. Well, guess what? Everybody runs good now because everybody's got excellent drivetrains. <clears> I <throat> mean, there's nobody out here that has a slouch of a tr drivetrain. Yeah, yeah. Everybody out here is, like, on par with that. Even in the two-hand, there's a lot of top par stuff right oh, there. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's just, sending it. It's crazy what it's gone to, you know. It's no more like, you know, oh, just throw an engine together or whatever. No, we're talking about some horsepower now, and, and all those motors got longevity in them, you know. They can lose water and they can still run, you know. So you're, you're talking about luck. You got horsepower with a stock rear end. Yeah, but you know, that, that's for sure. Yeah, it turns just, spines splines and easy. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's a lot of so, people were asking on on questions. You know, it's like why do they got to pull an axle? So you got to run a stock. You got to run here. stock axles. <laughs> you know, yeah. no, no funny chromoly stuff. No funny brass. No, no you, you, you know, can't all have that stuff. aftermarket nothing. You know, no, you can't change your ball joints out. You know. Everything, if you change something, it's got to be stock, and it's got to be cleared by the techs, you know, by the stock by Blaine. Stock it's gotta, it's got to be okay because some stuff, you know, like you can't, you know, change new body, uh, new body bolts. You've got to have your 60 or, you know, 50-year-old body bolts in there. You can't change nothing out. I mean, we, I know that very well as, uh, you know, tech for, for him for before. So, I mean, there's all the kind of stuff that we're looking for, you know. Well, and, you know, it's crazy because, like, you know, where we come from, uh, I mean, 80% of our body bolts are, are ready to break. Right, you know? yeah. So it's like that's kind of the thing. So like you guys come out here and it's totally different. It's yeah. a whole different beast. But, I mean, you know, as people come, you know, don't be afraid to travel to come on here and, oh, yeah. and, and, and run. I mean, yep, you know, Blaine, sure. Blaine talked about the team driving and, mm -hmm. you know, there's no holding, no pin to win. No, you right. Know, so it's like, you know, so it's uh, – and, and if we talk to you about team driving, you know, you got one warning. If you don't, you know, if we're going to break your sticks. Yeah, so, going to throw the flag at somebody. Yep. Break the so, stick. So that's really cool. I mean, so it's like, you know, somebody can come across that mm -hmm. range from the east and, and uh, jump on into the valley here yes, and sir. have some fun with you guys. Uh, you know, don't be shy to, to travel on in here and be part of it because, you know, Ralph, you've been on the inspection side for, for Blaine. You've been on yep. the driving side. You've yep. been, you know. Um, you know, I remember watching you guys get honored one year for, for all you old veteran drivers. Yeah. You know, you antiques, you know. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> that's a perfect word for it, Dicks. <laughs> yeah. You ain't kidding, man. I mean, who would have thought that, you know, would still be around this sport, you know. I thought, oh, I'm just going to give it a chance and, and try this out. 
And then here we are 39 years later, and you can't shake that passion. Mm -hmm. well, oh, mean, my God. You know, just watching, you know, you and Emery. And, I mean, just all just, just the group of guys that are mm -hmm. out there. And it's like, you know, you you would have added up the years of experience of driving. I right. Mean, you were talking 500 years of experience. Right, you know? right. I mean, you guys were a fossil at that point. You know, with that knowledge. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was awesome. Yep. And, and uh, you know, it was so cool that we were here. And you know what? You guys can go back, and you can see that on Track Shot Live. Yeah. Go back in the archives and the YouTube, and you can see – you know, Wolfman out there getting that recognition and everything like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, that was really cool. That was a really unique yeah. thing. And, and yeah. uh, you know, TSL was awesome to be part of it. And I oh, think, yeah. You know, yeah. I, I just can't tell you enough that, you know, how mm -hmm. privileged that I was, you know, to, to sit down and meet your family and the boys Thank you. and everything. Thank and, you. And, I mean, you know, we're years it's later. It's always a pleasure to talk to you guys, man. He's very well respected in the Derby world. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah, you, man. Absolutely. Yep. The old Dr. Derby's helmet that yep. he had. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. whenever yeah. we were all signing it and stuff. You know, and That's I got cool. all my old helmets from the past except for one of them. And I got them on the wrap, yeah. and my wife's always like, are you going to throw those away? And I go, heck no. Yeah. And then after I saw what Dr. Derby did, that's a great idea. Yeah. You know, hey, get one, one signed. Thank you. Turn up number four. Number four. Number four on that one. Turn that up. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. Turn it up. Keep going so we can hear the announcer. Keep going. More, more, more. Trying to get us so they can hear him. The zero, there we Josh go. Tang. All right, you done? Number 75. Hey. Uh, you know what? I'm going to let you guys do your thing. It was great sitting down with you guys. I appreciate the time. Mr. Garcia, and we love hey, you, brother. We'll look forward to next time, man. Yes. Every year. Yes. There you go, guys. Have a good time. Thank you kindly. That's Wolfman. Ralph Garcia, one of the absolute legends here. And the number 35. Please put your hands together for Isaac. Fragoso. All right, let's do this. Let's ten thousand dollars. Another Emory. That's Austin Emory. In the eight X. There's a lot of history, a lot of good Fletcher. driving right here in this class. Oh yeah, twenty-eight cars, and huh? Number fifty-one. That's gonna be a full track. Hunter in the number 16, the brightest man in the world, Robert Bray. And number 59, we're in the open and face. The 14, yeah, yeah. Uh, Severa. Yeah, yeah, Brian Severa. I heard he has Becca. a heck of a collection of cars. I was told that also. Sauer and, and I are going to try to get back right to Oakland the and uh, hang the out with the seven. Tag family. And, and, and uh, Brian invited us to come on down and... So tomorrow we're night, yeah. Tomorrow night, we're going to leave and, the and uh, race right on down there. Oh, awesome. And, Maybe do dinner with them and stuff like Another that. Another you know? Emory. We got a triple threat out there. That's Dave Emory. And the double nickel, the number 55. It's starting to get chilly. That is yeah. DJ I, 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 it just Like the last five minutes I was, you know, so. In the 104. Tim Brosio. And looking like a shark, feeling like a shark, the number two, number 32, do, 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 Richard do, do, do. LeVay. And the number 70, making his way out on the track right now, Mike Doyle. And the 3X. That is the black 3X. Yeah, there's a few 3Xs. Yes. Mad Mike and Emery, right? Yep. Put your hands together for Bob Arendt. Bob Arendt is one of the 3Xs. And the number 77, making his way down the track right now, Mark here. Yes, Mark. The 13X. Uh, that's the Put famous florist. For that's the florist, yeah. Brian Chitwood. No relation to Joey. Yeah, they're saying he's saying this is his last ride right here. And the number Who? 34. Seven, March. Seven. Josh, Mar yeah, March. Really? He said it's his last one. Why? I don't know. And we make our way to number 82. That's sad. He said, that's he said business is getting Shivers. busy, and then uh, his parent, I think his parents are getting older, so just, you know, stuff like that. And the number Life. 50. Yes, absolutely. Put your hands together. Well, good luck, Mark. Jason Yamamoto. And now coming out on the track is the Reaper. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh, yeah there's we a lot of good cars too. Yes. Uh -huh. A lot of gold old iron. Let's give a big shout out to the Tag family. Matt is getting married at the Giant Stadium today. Congratulations on that wedding day, Matt. Tag of the right that's, a, that's a cool spot to be married at. That's I couldn't believe that. Overlooking that the bay right there. It's yeah. And it's an older stadium, but still beautiful. All, all yeah. the brickwork. I seen it. I seen it this week for the first time, and I was absolutely impressed. Just amazed yeah. at it. All right, we're standing up to watch this one. I had to stand up. My legs I'm were too shivering. chilly. I'm too chilly to sit. <laughs> all right, you guys. We are standing up because we are cold, but we are also standing up because we are excited to see the dance. We are here. The feature. Everybody is earning their way to get here. Congratulations on the great run here. Three heats in a Conci, and this is what we have been waiting for. The feature of the night, Spring Extreme 2024, right here in Yuba City. You guys, look at this great lineup of cars. It's a lot of cars. Look. And there's some that Four, are not hurt very much. Three, right. two, one. Let's go, Here we go. $10,000, Yuba City, Northern California. Wow. We're sending, it, we're sending it already. Yes! Yes! Wow! Yeah! Right in the door pipes, but what a shot that was by the yeah. 22. Hey, he's saving it. Yeah, definitely. Not saving any car for tomorrow. No. <laughs> he doesn't want to go mud dogging. Nope. I already blew the radiator. Oh, yeah. 75 of flak. Coming in with a great shot. Doug Emery right in front of her, Dave Emery right in front of us there, looking good, taking his shot. Putting a, put a clinic on, driving backwards. Yeah. You got that 22 car on the top side of your screen, he got the Mad Dog in the Conti, and he is just giving it in the feature again. Yeah, red, red flag. Greg Hutchinson, Greg Hutchinson in that 22. I mean, there are guys just sending it out there, but that man is just doesn't yeah. matter what he's hitting. It is wide open. He's the only one out here in a Vic, ain't he? Yeah, I don't see. I mean, there's a football oval, but I think he's the newest. I was going to say, I think that's the only metric yeah. out there. New iron. And here Tix is talking to Artie. Party Artie. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Shaking hands and kissing babies again. That's him. He's running for mayor of, uh, he's going to take Gavin's job. Hey, hey, come on, please. I dare you. I knew that I was going to say something. <laughs> yeah. I knew that I set you up. We, we would welcome Michael Tix, mayor of Gov Governor, the governor. Yeah, president or the governor of California. Yes. Oh, look at here. Killer B racing with a good shot. Baca. Yeah, West Mock, his car looks good. Yeah, he does. And the Emery's, they all drive backwards. And here he's, I mean, how he picks his shots is just strategic. Zero, zero, 007 just coming in there. You guys seen that? David Haggy. Yeah. Here we go. The number X car coming in on the 8X. You've seen it on the bottom side of your screen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, West Mock. Number X.
number 50, he sent it in too. He likes it. He likes the skinny pedal. Oh yeah, definitely impressive. That's our buddy from Canada. I was yeah, yeah, he's a Canadian. Came yeah, right he's, in he's, that wide window. He's going for that mad dog. This is a good pace for a ten thousand yeah. dollar derby. Oh, really good no pace. Doubt. No doubt. No doubt. And, and not a heavy build either. Hey yo! Make sure the camera's good. I can't it tell. Turned the whole thing. It turned it all the way around. Oh, oh there you go. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they're going for it. I mean, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what, if this isn't entertaining, I don't know what is. They're driving like a 10,000 for Mad Dog. No kidding. Yes. I'm impressed. Good job, California. Well, Josh Holt, his car's had to go through a beating to be here. Yes. Oh, shivers in the 82 right there, stuck in there. Yeah. That was a new motor too, I heard. Got a fire on Doug Emery. Red flag. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a good fire. That looks yeah. like a loose header. Don't you love the visors they put up? Oh yeah, it's That's, always, yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's just one of those classical yeah. things here that's just a trademark, you know. We all throw them out and they're welding them on the car. Yeah. Whoa, there goes your radiator. So dramatic. That's a Yuba City geyser right there. Yuba City geyser. Right here, you guys, you're seeing this feature brought to you by K-Pro Headers. Thank you so much for stepping up and being one of the headline sponsors this year. You guys get a chance, get on there and take a look at what K-Pro Headers has got to offer. This feature right here at the Spring Extreme is brought to you thanks to them. Uh-huh. K-Pro Headers. Yes! The barrel with good shot. Yeah. He has, that, a, he has them flappers. Yeah, that number 59 out there. That's Brian, him. He is running a wide block Mopar in there. That yeah. is awesome. Yeah, isn't it from like 1962 or something? Yeah. Heads up. We got a bumper on the track. Red, red flag, flag. Red, track. flag. red flag, red flag. Look how clean Emory's front end is. Oh, just look at all. I mean, that far left side of your screen, you're gonna see the number one car, Dave Emery up there. The rear end of that car is rolled in. It's grabbing the rear window bars. That thing is locking in tight just tight the front end is untouched just square all four tires are up and square even uh palacious 104 it doesn't even look like his bumpers move no nope. the 51 you're seeing there on the tie on the right side of your screen in the center towards there you know he's looking good He's uh, the back end's rolled in real nice, and in the front end, same thing. But he's got a tire that's folded over on that right front. It's uh, it, it got a little bit of whack. It's tipped in, but you know it looks like it's still holding. Yo! 
He's a little warmer. He was getting cold. Yeah. Ooh, that was a nice one. Yeah. And he didn't even see it coming either. No. Still non-stop. Yeah, shivers looks with the little tires on the back. Look how little look how little they are in the that's back. That's the one I saw when I pulled in. I was like, oh man, depending on the track, if he's gonna be good or bad. And his track's held up well. I mean, it's hard enough if you have a tire or a rim with no tire to get traction. Look out, Mark. <laughs> Left side of your screen right there, you see Mark Hare, the florist, right there, still running good. He says this might be his last, last ride. ride. Yeah. Come on, Mark. Get it, buddy. Our Canadian coming through the center of the screen right there. Yeah, Look, still in the game. Looking good. The back end of that uh -huh. car is doing great. Front end's good. Nice hit right there on uh -huh. the reaper. He said he's not used to driving old iron. He drives 03 and up. Oh, yeah. Oh, number seven's right front tire is laid over into the car. Good times are still in it. I mean, Emery's look good. Wes Mox look good. Lauren Shitwood's running looks good. Wes Smock is the one, if you guys seen the interview him earlier, go online, take a look at Smock Fabs and the parts that he's doing. He did some really awesome trophies out here also last yeah. year at uh, in Red Bluff. Uh, the guy is a very talented builder. You know, take a look at what he's got going on. Smock Fabs. Yeah. I got a few of his items in the very, very nice. He's a very humble person, too. Very, very. nice. Oh, here you go. Yeah! Oh, oh, yeah! I'm still going! From Canada! Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow! I don't know what that tire ever did to him, but I, yeah. do, I, I don't ever want to do that to him. What a ride! I think he won. I don't think the tire won. He's still going. Yeah. I think he put the smaller tires on the back of his car, too. I'm, I think he did also. Yeah. Those definitely look like 23s yeah. back there. He's letting her eat. Oh, here comes Tag. He's back. He is not <laughs> running good there. Tag, no. Tag, you're it. He's been uh, battling. I don't know what he's been battling. Weak transmission or something. Hey, half the battle is just getting here. Right. The other battle is making the main. As his dad says, if well, you, you can't win, it's a break, bonus. You can't break the stick. Oh, that's, a, that's a tough stick. Redwood out here, you guys make it out of. It's a hard wood. Doyle's uh, lost his front end. He's going down. Hey, 
Heads up. That's another thing with that truck going up. You got to be careful backing up too far. Hang yourself on a uh, tire. Yeah. Yeah, Wes's front end looks good. Yeah, look at that. That's a brand new motor in his, too. A lot of cars still in it. Yeah. Yes. And a lot of good ones. And a lot of cars that are locking in. Yes. I think the first red flag will really show uh, who's left. Oh, he's out of there. The Canadians running the LS in that. Yeah. Ryland, right? Ryland Prox with 199 from Canada. Hey, his name's like almost like mine. You take the Y out, it's the same last name. <laughs> and I, I kept I, I kept calling him Proach. I, I, I thought it was an H out of the end of it. It's like, I don't know what his last name is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here's lining them up. Yeah, he's choosing who to pick now. Oh yeah, they're picking choose. You see it now. Now, now it's they're a chess like. Match. Now they're thinking, who am I blasting off on? They slow down a little bit, but not much. Yeah, the really crazy people, crazy ones, I think, are already knocked themselves out. Oh, the floors. Mike Devil 07, a gee. What a great night watching that 007 car drive. Oh. I've had a wonderful time watching a gee drive. You guys seen how big Moose is? Yeah. The, the 17X? Yeah. Oh, those two back <laughs> with Shivers again. That's how it happened in Heat 1, those two, Moose and Shivers, back and forth. Remember? I was like, those two just battled each other the whole time on Heat 1. Now here they are, nose to nose. Back again. Back seeing again. Back <laughs> seeing what it's going to be. I think we were just here earlier. The insulation sponsor, he ran uh, the Benton Kentucky Derby, right? The one that's on the screen? Uh no, he wasn't down there. Actually, he's running today. That I believe they're at Chaos today. I believe that's Gemini Strelo and uh, Xavier. Green Strelo. flags. And two, 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 one. one. Let's derby. Yes. Come on, Mark, get it started. Throw some flower dust in it. Come on, Mark. Oh, I think his uh, stick broke. Is it? Yeah. Uh. Woohoo, Mad Mike. Good. Plenty of power left there. Absolutely. Yes. Yamamoto's still in it. Yeah. Still putting in the shots. His back end looks good. with 
no water. Yeah, so you hear a little bit of feather out of her though on the Reaper car. Yeah. Yeah. Do what you can when you have the time. That's exactly it. Enjoy it. Yeah. That's life in general. Enjoy it. The axle smock coming around, giving a nice Red shot flag. on the scene right in front of us. Start doing jumping jacks. Yeah, I couldn't do very many of them. Trying to get warm. <laughs> Mark, Mark's looking at you. I think he, he's going to wave back at you one time. Yeah. I, I tell you, come on, Mark. He's eventually going to wave. He's going to see me. Yes. I love him. <laughs> Whoa, that Emory hits hard. Horn's motor's starting to sound a little bit, too. Rylan out there. He's still sending it. He's still sending it. Good time to still in it. Nice. Yes. Oh! Yamamoto. Heads up, didn't see that one coming. Yeah. Hit him right behind the shoulder. Your tire. Wow, what a shot by yeah. the Reaper coming right in there. Yeah, that Reaper Four isn't quitting. Heck of a derby. Here comes Rylan, 100 mile an hour. Yeah. Yes. Oh, coming back. Oh. Pulled up a little. Stuff it right in there. That had oh, had enough. Wanted some more. <laughs> yes, I like he that. Loves, he loves that skinny pedal. Oh, the car oh. jumped. The oh, car yeah. jumped. Oh, crazy hard. God, wow. he got right onto that rear end. He that did. bumper's on the ground, and he got into Emery's rear end like that. It did yeah. not do any damage, yeah. so. Buried right in there. Oh, Solid wow. hit on that rear tire right from the underside. Oh. Mike Doyle. Red flag. Yeah, that number 70 car, Mike Doyles, is in a dangerous position to do some major damage on a car with that bumper being on that ground that low. And he is moving around still pretty darn good. Yeah. But with that bumper that low, somebody's going to make it all the way to his carburetor. No, no doubt about it. I mean, no doubt about and it. I mean, they're going to give up. forward to that car. You don't go backwards. But with the, you know, stockish build, it's letting it flex to where the rear tires are still on the ground. Right. He's fighting his steering there. He's trying Three, to get it figured two, out. Three, two, one. Let's there be. Yeah, look at Emory's front end. Just something clean, nice. Thank you. 
All right, here we come, Rylan. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Yeah, good thing he put them tiny tires in there. He got yeah. that whole car <laughs> completely smashed in there. That's like them little donut tires that American Outlaws do does. Yeah. Yeah, he's about to spit that tire. That's the metal is all the way into it. Yep. Red flag Red again. Flag. I think this Some big chunk of metal of right here. That looks like one of my sculptures on the ground right here, Michael. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Take it on the plane. It could be part of it. I'll send it home with the catalytic converters. <laughs> That's literally how I make my, my art right there. <laughs> oh, that would be a beautiful piece too. Nice, the way it's good, good, good yeah. job. Yep. Nice film. You got it. Good job. Two, one. Let's derby. That tire's still holding on. It's the tube that's going to kick out. Moose coming in hot. Yeah, his, his bumper's rolling up, too, in the front end. Well, that's with them short bumper brackets. That's what they're going to do. What's that? The front ends are rolling up. Like, you look at Moose's front bumper, how it rolled up in front of the horn. Oh, oh yeah. The spring pocket. Like it, like, rolled in like this. Little private battle down here. Uh oh, our Canadian stalled. Come on, black smoke gives hope. Come on, hey, he's put it through work. Come on, puff, 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 puff. Come on. It's like a little engine that could. Buff, 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 come on! Oh. He's trying, he's trying to get it running. He's eating shots too while he sits there. Yes. And not, not, not small shots either. No. Head banging off the, head he banging just, off the. He just looked back and said, who's that? Ryan just pulled up in front of us here. His front end looks good. His front end looks so good right there. That bumper is a straight. You can put a level on it. Well, the way they build, I'm sure he put a level on it a couple times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there is no doubt about it. The Shivers, they built some beautiful pieces. Does it sound like it's struggling? Is this the car that sounds like it's struggling? Yeah. Do you hear uh, it? Yeah. It was steaming earlier. I think that's a newer. I heard. I heard that, or somebody heard. Or I overheard it that that's a new motor too. Uh oh. Yeah, Doyle's is. Uh, he's struggling. His. Well, that was a nice it. wheel oh. shot right there. Yeah, yeah Austin, right there. Austin just, got his uh, that three X's wheel. Yeah, I just snuck it right in. Like, oh, he's about to hit it again. Oh. Here comes Yamamoto. That was a nice wheel shot. Oh, he's down yeah. with three wheels anyway. You hit one blue car, the other blue car hits you. I was gonna say it's kind of a round robin effect there. <laughs> Ryan came in with a good shot there. Oh, broke All the right, wheel got a wheel out on the ground yeah. now, yep. Left it exposed. Ryan coming in for another one. Both blue cards only have one rear tire. Well, they got something else. And it's the opposite out. tire, too. If they get together, they could have. I think Ryan stalled on that last hit. Yes. 
The blue, the blue car is pulled goes. away. Red flag. The pace is still great. Yes. You know? Yeah. It never stopped. No. The pace has never stopped here. Absolutely amazing feature. Absolutely amazing feature. Yeah, good job. I'm entertained. That's what we're here for, to make sure you're entertained, Sauer. Well, if I'm entertained, then everybody else should be entertained, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> my nose is getting chilly, Mike Ticks. I had to put my hood up. Oh, yeah, that's smart. Isn't it colder where you guys are from? Sure. Not normally? right now. No, not, not right, right now, but <laughs> normally. Normally. I didn't, I didn't bring warm clothes to California, Herm. Y'all got snow. <laughs> yeah. I can't pack a big coat on the plane. <laughs> yeah, you had Ryan to with a good hit there. Red flag again, red flag. Red flag. We got more junk on the ground. Yeah, you had to bring out trophies for us. That's why you had to pack light. Ha 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 Let's go. Yeah, we have something else on the truck when we get off. One more tire. Oh, we got a tire. Two bumpers and three tires later. And that yeah. Hunter Elkin, uh, West, that, his motor is Westmark's old motor that he built. Oh. oh. Yeah. Um, is he running? Is the can, is Ryland running? And is Thick still on his car? Uh, like I don't think he. I don't know if he's running. Or is they it just, just cooling yeah, off? They might not have broke his stick yet. He has his phone out, so I don't think he's running. Okay, never mind. He's making a TikTok. Haha. <laughs> oh, he's, he went live on Facebook from his car. Nice. All right. Looks like we're down to the last 10 cars for $10,000. Another red oh. flag. What a shot put on by Emery right there on the number 70. Here we go. We're back to Demolition Derby. Shout out to my man Skinny watching from home. We love you, bro. Here we go. Oh, look at that bumper hanging off. Oh, my. That's quite a bit of steel hanging off that car. Oh, it's oh, already on the track. It. They lost it. It's already on the track. We've, we've, I think we've reached critical weld. Yeah. I'll <laughs> I think, tell you what. With these guys hitting at 80 miles an hour in reverse, I don't know how a bumper would ever stay on there. It's a lot of reverse driving. Oh my God, intense. It's pretty great. I'll tell you what, I thought Crown Vicks and Fords drove backwards hard. Yeah. That ain't nothing like these things. This is, this is wild. <laughs> this is lovely. This is wild. Look how small the cars are getting. They're just shorter and shorter. Yeah. These little red, white, and blue uh, galaxies are just... Dave Emery? Yeah, they're look, uh, they're like Honda Civics at this point, but they but they jump like when it gets good traction, that car will all four wheels to get off the ground. It's pretty crazy. Let's go back to Derby. Yeah.
There it goes. Uh oh. So yeah, there's even a drum off of his sitting yeah. on the ground. Yeah. We got more and more parts coming on the track. Who knew? Dude, careful of that drum. It's pretty hot. You know. And we got a spare tire and a bumper. All right, who do we got standing with us now? We got somebody new in the house. Uh, yeah, we got Cameron Wilson here. Cam shot. Yep. Duke. Uh, One. Let's derby. And we're back. We're back doing Demolition Derby. Thanks for joining us up here. Yeah, no problem. Heck yeah. So what did you think of this track tonight? This track was awesome tonight. There was a great mix of being able to move and being able to slide, freaking, it, dude, that's some really good dirt right now. Yeah. Way sure. better than last year. Oh, it's a we're dime. We're speaking Mandarin by now. <laughs> yeah, it's a dime out there. So what car were you running out there? The 1091, that Doba and the two-man. Yep. So uh, you got to talk about that thing. That thing folded up and buckled up front, and you guys weren't giving up. Oh, that yeah, you awful. could see right through the hood. Oh, yeah, no, we were hitting, say, with the pulley protector for sure. <laughs> yeah, no yeah. doubt about it. So have you ever run a two-man like that before? Never. So what's your thoughts about that in California? That was the funnest I have we go. time I've ever had. In a oh. Turning into a circle track race. All right, people are starting to pick who's going to be friends out there. We're coming down to the top five or six right now. This is where it is going to be decided. You got Emery's, you got Smock. Uh, 51 out there. Hunter Elkin. And then uh, the other one, the 101. Listen to that little galaxy go. 104, I'm sorry. 104. Tim Mad Mike. That Tim is Tim Palacious. Tim Palacious. So it is looking like we are down to the top five here right now, you guys. All five of these are going to get their axle pulled and their frame cut. Yep. For $10,000, you can cut what you want. If that's my car, I'll take the check. Yeah, we were all joking the first and second in that two man, and we're like, well, you don't got to cut anything. You can see in the end of both of our frames. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, swing and a miss. The crowd leaves a groan. Oh, I love it. Dave is absolutely lethal with that thing backwards. Oh, absolutely. He is just pinpoint on it. And that thing is all rolled in, locked in, tight. Like, he, I mean, he has got a long ways to go on those things. All right, as soon as those things are packed, let me tell you, I've been hit by those. With him on the other end of it, it does not feel good. Oh, <laughs> There's I, zero give on that thing. Which I, car are you talking about? Uh, Dave Emery in the one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Woo. There's still some power out here being pounded. Uh oh. These few cars left, that's uh -oh. definitely measuring thousands. <laughs> uh oh. A little stuck. stuck there. A little stuck. Just a vicious 45 shot on the 104 by the Emery. Spock's coming through, gonna come after him. We're gonna see where the where the allies are turning here, you yeah, guys. Well, it's now it's time to, to put floor. someone over a tire. Now's the surprise over the tire shot. Let's do it. Oh, listen to that motor just pull purr out there. I love it. Oh, oh I love it. Yeah, the motor in 51 does sound really nice, Hunter Elkin. Yeah, that thing's just thumping right along. It don't sound hurt at all. No, no. West Smock in the number X, the blue car down there on the right-hand side of your screen that you can't see right now. Woohoo! You got Emery's down here in this bottom end with 51. Uh, looks like Smock is done. 104 has been sitting there for a minute. X, 
X. Yeah, Tim Palacios over there isn't doing too well. You're waiting on X to move. He hasn't moved. Well, they'll take the fight to him. That's nice. Yeah, that 60-second shot clock isn't very long out there. We are down to three. And there's not much steering left here in the number one. That right front tire's down and something's happening. Almost got hung up getting through that traffic. There we go. Get that car out of the way. Yeah, we got father and son out there now. Hunter's got his hands full. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh there it goes. Oh, the and there it goes. Kind of nailed the coffin on that one. That thing stuck hard. Oh yeah. Yeah, but one one hasn't made a competition hit in a minute. There it goes. And it looks like the patience of dad's gonna pay off. <laughs> yep. Well, I'll tell you what, though. Dad sure did some work for a oh, long yeah. time out there. That was the 1X and 3X. That's Derby Dynasty right there. Yeah, it's beautiful. I think it's a requirement to be famous in Derby when you're in Emory. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. Well, you know what? As we're watching All this right. finalized down, who do you want to give a shout-out for the help on your car and everything like that? Because <laughs> you guys put on one hell of a show, and you deserve to give some shout-outs. Yeah, I mean, it was just me and Ryan Duke built the whole car. And actually, funny thing, that car's still not even paid for. <laughs> oh my. The guy that owned it was here. He's like, can I repossess it? And I'm like, <laughs> checks in the mail on Friday, bud. <laughs> nice. There are your $10,000 winner. Out here doing donuts. Congratulations. Absolutely, that's what it was. Well, there you guys go. You've seen something new come here to California. You got a local driver that had fun out there as a two man and uh, just happy to be part of it. And I mean, you guys put on one heck of a show out there all the yes. way through from start to finish, just like this feature right here. These guys drove all the way out here and they had done from start to finish, they put on one heck of a show. This is definitely the hard hit, hardest hitting spring extreme there has been. Oh, not absolutely straight. In every heat. Yeah. yeah, it was definitely it was definitely it. So, um, no, that, it was great. It was great entertainment. Hopefully everybody at home enjoyed it because all of these oh, California Still sending it. Yeah, they're these get to still give her some more. Doesn't want to wreck a tire, but you know there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Congratulations to all the drivers out there. What a great one, demolition right derby. There. One heck of a show. And I tell you what, I really hope they have that two-minute extreme in a lot more shows now. That was yeah. the most fun I've ever had in a car in my life. Anything you love doing, if you can do it with one of your best friends, that's the one heck of a night. Oh, for sure. That's right. really cool. Right there it is. Dave Emery is not waiting for anybody. He wants to get off that track, pull the axle, take a look at the car, and get that $10,000 check. Congratulations yes. on that. Wow. That was absolutely amazing right there. So that was great. I, I <laughs> Can't ask for much better than one, two with your boy. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's, that's wonderful. For darn sure. And, you know, uh, what's his, uh, Austin, right, is his son? Yeah, Austin. Austin. Austin was down at that far end of that track just lighting people up for the oh, longest yeah. time. I mean, he was not afraid to use every bit of that power and every bit of that car. So you look at that slant window just pound, pounded back in. Um, that was that was a real deal right there. You know, congratulations to all the winners, all the competitors here. Um, what a hell of a great show. Oh, yeah, Williams Enterprises right here, Yuba City, California. Spring Extreme 2024 is in the books. 
uh, barring some axle pulling and some frame cutting. Uh, right now, that's really good demolition derby. I'm glad everybody stayed up late with us across uh, the world. Uh, if you're on the East Coast, of course, you're up late. And that's really cool. Oh, come a hot lap all yep. the way around. This is great. Dave doing a parade lap till he sees that bumper over there. Yep. Yeah. Full wonk. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with us, Track Shot Live. If you haven't already liked, shared, and subscribed, please take the opportunity. If you love the program that you saw tonight and you haven't done any of that, if you could, please do that for us. Yeah, that, that is a very important thing. Will do, sir. Will do. Nice. All right, yeah. TrackShotLive.com. Sequoia and Bill on the decks. Without them, we don't have anything. we got to sit down to give our send-off, says Bill. Oh, my God, the chair is cold. I don't want to sit on it. Yeah, it's getting it's brisk out here today. Yeah, it is. Yeah. At least it's not windy like last night. Oh, that's, that's the whole thing. What's that? All right, we'll do it. Call you. Catch you later. All right. You know, it's uh, we're sitting here and we're doing the fun thing, everything like that. We uh, we cannot thank you guys enough. Seriously, that's that's truly what it is. But as you sit here and you look at all this stuff, I mean, you got carnage, you got uh, you know some bad luck, everything like that. You got the full rounded demolition derby right here, you guys. You've seen it from start to finish. Started <laughs> off in the beautiful sunshine. It got a little chilly right here, but I mean, this is California. Oh, um, beautiful! Super yeah. This is the real here. California. Yeah, yeah, right here. Not what is advertised. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. No, that's for sure. That's for sure. But you know what, you guys, we're sitting here. We're looking at it. We had a great, wonderful day. The 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 track was a dime all the way through. It, Absolutely. It, it was, there was no problems with it. Um, you know, them not watering that track going into that feature was awesome. I, that, that was the right call. I would have made the wrong call probably. Uh, but that track was starting to get dry. There was starting to be some dust spots out there. Uh, but it was absolutely perfect. The it action ripped. was great. I mean, my goodness. All uh, right. Let's well, dig it up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's get dig the excavator and, yep. out here and start digging this mud pit. Yeah, we're going to make holes now. We're going to make obstacles. But, hey, you guys all at home, thank you so much for watching and following all the TikToks, all the live streams, all the, the, the Facebook lives and everything like that. Thank you for all your comments, all everything that you guys were doing. We, we appreciate the heck out of it. Don't forget to find and, and find the, uh, you know, Track Shot Live Dippy. Uh, book right there uh, great piece of article that uh, the MCC they all got that stuff all going um, so uh, you guys I'm just I, I, this was awesome today is that the coloring book it's a children's book oh, okay. that has coloring pages gotcha we wrote a story a nice narrative and we want but these are the last two here that is on the wicked. property on that the is, west coast well how much are they they're 10 bucks each they're 10 bucks I got you Thanks. There it is. See? All right, we'll, we we'll we'll sign them and <laughs> sign them and give them. There we go. go. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. Um, you know, seriously, you guys. So that's where we're at right here with uh, with Spring Extreme 2024. The Demolition Derby portion of this show was off the gall darn hook all yes. night long. Yes. You guys, hopefully you enjoyed everything that you've seen at home. Thank you so much. Hopefully you guys started and finished and watched it all with us because it was real. So you guys, uh, tomorrow, 3 o'clock, we're starting. We have tough trucks. We have mud bogs. And, uh, you know, it's a nice three, four-hour show. Yep. Uh, and it, they got stock. They got modified. They got wild, crazy mud bogs. They all got that stuff. Hurricane Katrina. Yeah, we'll see her tomorrow a little bit more, I guarantee you that. And uh, you guys, so please join in tomorrow because this is only day one of two days of Yuba City right here. We are doing the awesome stuff, and uh, you guys are the best. So please like, share, follow, and let everybody know that we got another day of great stuff going on. Everybody making the travel. Thank you much. We appreciate it.
<laughs> I just videoed it. I'm gonna send it. <laughs> Everyone had to be mature, be butts and nuts, and then there's Bobby. Fucking Bobby. Bobby don't like us. 